to my ears anyway. Um. Oh, that's gonna have to do. Nice, not accessible. Um. Oh, yeah, it has the audio. Uh, it could be a little louder for you guys. There you go. Are you Twitter because you're chirping until the X turned you horny? God damn. There we go. Full screen. Yay. Everyone's favorite. Let's start. Oh, I get to pick my pronouns. Fuck yeah. I love that they, them pronouns are there too. Yay. Yeah, I love this shit. This is a shit that I stand by. He, him though. Episode one, pilot. Let's go. Z, 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 z. Hunk shoe, hunk shoe. Punk you, me, 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 me. Hey, don't just lie there. Get up. Just five more minutes. You're the star of the show. You can't just sleep through it. Okay, but like, what if? Are you finding love or dying trying? Because some of these girls, I see you're not simping, not simpable. And we'll find out. We gotta meet them first. God. Watch me. Punk you, me, 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 me. Oh, that's how you want to play? It's on. Ow. <laughs> Rise and shine, sleepy head. I like her skirt. And her top. Honestly, her outfit is good. <laughs> how, uh, how? Did you just hit me? Nah, I just got here. I just chased off the person who hit you. Ah, I see you're a different person. Really? You should be thanking me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was you. They forgot- you forgot my- what my pronouns are? Huh? Wait. My pronouns- are you uh, saying that my pronouns are they? Because they're not. My pronouns are he, him. If there was any doubt for whatever reason. They're literally in my tags for stream. Um... Anyways, back to the game. Um... Hmm... I'll trust her. Thanks, I guess. Don't mention it. It's all in a good day's work. I didn't choose they. In game. No. I chose he, him. I was just appreciative of the fact that they, them was there. And that you could pick your pronouns at all. Because representation's important, even if it's not representation for me in particular. That's all. You can't see shit because Wi-Fi in here is so bad, so the graphic is bad. I see. Well, maybe get better Wi-Fi, Shiro. Anyway, what was your name again? Oh, my name's... I can't remember my name! Wait, what? I swear I didn't hit you that hard. So it was you! <laughs> so you did hit me! <laughs> That's not important. Try to remember. If you can't remember anything, we're both gonna be in big trouble. Why's that? We can talk about why after. What was your name? It's... My name is... Name! Just kidding. You're on vacation, not home. Well, sounds like a skill issue then, Shiro. Um... What should we name ourselves? Because I don't feel like using my name. I want to come up with something random. <clears throat> Your home Wi-Fi is better than a vacation. Strange randomly Wi-Fi. Hmm. I should name myself X. Just kidding. <laughs> Lowercase X looks better. Um. Num 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 num. 
<laughs> skill issues as the one who ain't going to get girls in this game. Bet I got the best ending possible for the character I roam with to have a full boyfriend. Without any guides, I think I'm going to do fine. I will... I will name myself Torapon after mine and Hifumi choose Arcade Prize Sun. My name is Torapon. It's Torapon! Which, by the way, means tiger bread. You need proof? Proof that I'm gonna romance a girl successfully? Pocket. Yeah, sure. That's what we're here for, right? Well, I should try hitting my account at some time. Oh boy. Do you remember where we are? What you're doing here? No, I can't remember a thing. Everything's so foggy. It's just like me, for real, for real. Alright, I can give you the rundown. You're on a reality TV show called Find Love or Die Trying. Though we just call it Find Love for the uninformed. That's fair. I'm with the producer. The name's Kat. Kat, you're adorable. Um. The premise is that you, the suitor, are living with five beautiful women, and one of them is your soulmate. Is it you? Can I romance you, Kat? I haven't even met them yet. How would you know one of them is my soulmate? That's show business! <laughs> That's just how it is. Welcome to reality reality TV. You'll get to know two of the girls over the next six days. Over three dates with each of them. Then on the seventh day, you'll have to ask one of them to marry you at the end of the final ceremony. That seems... straightforward enough to me. Not so fast, partner. The girl you choose will be given a choice. Whether or not they accept your proposal. If she says yes, you two will get to fade off into the sunset in a gold-plated yacht on the last day. Yeah, it is. It's reality TV. The genre of reality TV isn't necessarily just... ...like, things that happen all the time. It can be... ...this sort of format. Like, a lot of dating shows do, do exist, and that is a form of reality TV. Like, The Bachelor. Like, this is the Bachelor type of... ...show. I don't know if you watched Oshit no Ko, but there's also a dating show that's in it too, in the anime. In the manga too, but like, specifically is included in the anime. Happily ever after, forever. Except without the yacht, it's a loner. <laughs> if she says no, the music dropped. Well, we're gonna have to kill you. Wait, what? Killed? You're joking, right? No, that's the reaction I wanted to see. Question marks? Really, you look like I just took a shit in your cereal. Kinda did, man. What's going on? Who are you? Oh, where are my manners? My name's Damien. Damien Black. Wow, creative. I'm the CEO of Royal Black Media, the biggest network for Royal... Battle Royale games on the planet? Okay. Battle Royale games? Like, computer games? Been living under a rock stink ass armpit? <laughs> God damn, okay. Real people killing each other is in the season. What? Well, was in the season, I swear. I put in hard and honest work into making top of the line killing shows. And what do I get for it? So we're trying a new kind of killing game. Spicing a little romance on top for the people who fart dreams and bake cakes out of rainbows. That's where you come in. And hey, it's not a bad deal. You might find love or die. Whatever. Just put on a code show for me, hmm? Excuse me, Mr. Blake? What is it, one? We're missing one of the aerial cameras for the backfields. Well, that's my cue. The intern ain't gonna shoot himself. Give him hell, Kit Kat. You don't need to tell me twice. Look, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm getting out of here. No, stay. 
for starters, I can barely remember my own name, let alone if I already had a partner. If that's what you're worried about, you didn't. And not for a lack of trying. How would you know that? Cat sighed. Look, you don't have a choice. Damien will kill you if you try to escape, or if you tell any of the girls about the truth behind the show. The girls don't know? They have no idea that your life is in danger. They just think it's a regular dating show about finding your soulmate, called Find Love. If you tell any of them the truth, you won't just get yourself killed, you can get them killed as well. How could you? I don't make the rules, Torapon. I'm sorry. Really? You're a pretty serious person, Torapon. Most people would be a little happier to hear that they're alone in paradise with five beautiful women. What's there to worry about? Oh, you know, the whole getting executed thing that the girl I ask says no. The little bit with not remembering who the hell I am. How about this? I need my show to be successful and run according to plan. And you want your memories back. And presumably, to leave this show alive. That depends on what the memories are, but yes. If you'll be a good suitor for my show, show, I'll help you get your memories back. It's really not a bad deal. Most people would kill for a chance like this. Seriously, all you have to do is get to know five lovely women and ask one out. I'll be with you every step of the way, off camera. Before you know it, I'm sure you'll be having lots of fun. Who knows, you may even fall in love. You wouldn't be the first. But if you survive the whole show, I promise that I'll tell you everything you want to know. Pinky promise. How does that sound? Sounds like a deal. Let's go. Let's go romance up some women. That's the spirit, sugar. Who knows? Might even be thanking me for this one day. We'll see about that. Trust me, I'll make sure that this show will be the best time of your life. It will be so great that everything after will feel like a disappointment. That's a depressing. Blah, blah, blah. That's a depressing way to look at it. What if I ended up with one of the girls after the show? Anyway, without further ado, let's get started with the show. Follow me. I'll take you where you'll meet our lovely contestants. Cat grabbed me by the hand and pulled me along. Remember, you can't tell anyone the truth about this dating game. No matter what, just smile. Got it? Got it. Here we go. We stepped out of the bar together. I didn't realize it at first, but it was a bar in a small airplane. I guess I must have been flown here. We walked until we saw a mansion in the distance. Wow, it's huge. I can imagine how expensive this place is. <laughs> You'd be surprised. And since we're all the way in some forgotten corner of New Asia, the land comes pretty cheap. New Asia? Have you never read the news in this past decade? Memory loss, remember? Right. Well, I'm sure you have ever gone on how to talk to girls. Five, four, three, two, one. Wait, what? It's We're, we're starting already? Not quite. To give the world top tier enjoyment. To protect our ass from unemployment. To make the world believe in fate and love. We work like slaves for the shills above. We're the brothers five. One, two, three, four, five. Prepare to... Get the set ready. I want to start filming yesterday. Oh. I guess we're not important enough to finish our intros. Whose idea was it to work in the TV industry anyway? This wouldn't have happened if we just decided to be accountants. Wait, by the mansion doors. And thank me later. It's showtime, people! Let's get to work! I walk to the doors. Hey, Torapon, can you hear me? Cat's voice boomed across the island. He Though she was nowhere in sight. Cat? I wasn't kidding when I said I'd be with you every step of the way. As long as you're on this island, I'll be able to see, hear, and even talk to you. Just think of me as a cuter and sexier big brother. That doesn't sound nearly as good as you think it does. 
Hey, how else could we film the show? You really want to meet the love of your life with the camera sticking out of your head? Good point. Anyway, head on into the mansion already and go meet the girls. I recommend checking out the library, the kitchen, the games room, and the backyard. Wink wink nudge nudge. From here on out, the cameras are rolling. Don't be stupid. I'll see you later, sweet cheeks. Cat out. Alright, I'm finally here. There's only one thing left to do. Open the door. Anybody home? My eyes are drawn to a girl wearing a white dress, pacing around the lobby. Hey, what's up? Well, didn't see you there. I'm so sorry. <sighs> oh my gosh, it's really you, Torapon. That's me. How did you know my name? It hasn't been that long, has it? It's me, Yui. Yui Fushikawa. Question mark. We went to the same high school way back? Come again? Yeesh, you haven't changed one bit. Always forgetting everything important. Grr. Wait, calm down. I know how it sounds, but I've got amnesia. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? You can't lie to your student council president. That's perjury. It's true, really. I wouldn't lie about this. You really can't remember anything? Really, I wouldn't joke about this. Promise. Oh. I can't believe you forgot. On second thought, that may be a good thing. How on earth could it be good to forget everything? You know, moving on from the past is the best way to live and all that. Everyone has things from high school they'd rather forget, right? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's good to see you, Torapon. You haven't changed. It feels just like what we used to fool around back then. Or fool around in a family-friendly sort of way. Pinky promise. It's good to see you too, Yui. What brings you out here? Oh, you know. To be honest, dating apps or shows aren't all that really... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. To be honest, dating apps or shows and all that really aren't my thing. But I saw that you were... Oh, what are you making me say? Um, besides that, welcome to the mansion. It's ginormous. I'll spare you from embarrassing yourself asking me and show you where my room is. Oh, wait a second. I haven't cleaned it up yet. <laughs> she rushed off before I could get in a word. Somehow, I got the sense that this has happened before. I guess I'll see her later. Um... Library. Oh, the portrait, damn. And the library was like a library out of a movie. Grand. Majestic. Nothing like your average library, which becomes a porn set after closing time. Haha. <laughs> I took a few steps forward and noticed a girl with red hair at the back of the library. She was reading a magazine, or so it seemed from first glance. If you craned your neck a bit to the side, you could see another book hidden behind the magazine. A slash B testing after the apocalypse, first edition by DB. Hey, what are you reading? Oh, this? Just another elementary. I mean, an absolutely fetch truth T-bomb. Yes! Dots. Can you believe that this one celebrity would, like, date another celebrity? I can't even. It's almost like they're people. I can see what you're actually reading, you know. Oh gosh, that's so embarrassing. Why would that be embarrassing? The book you're reading actually... The, the, the book you're actually reading sounds like a lot more interesting. Where I come from, people make fun of people who do what I do, I guess. To them, a library is just a place to film porn, af porn after closing time. That's nice. Um, good to know that is a common belief in this world. And by good to know, I mean that's really sad. Um... <clears throat> I'm Scarlet, by the way. You're Tartapon, correct? That's me. It's nice to meet you, Scarlet. 
It's nice to meet you too, Tarofan. What is that face just making, goodness? I am curious. So what are you actually reading? I thought you'd never ask. Here, let me show- Ah! Scarlet dropped the magazine and the book behind it on the floor, revealing a second magazine in her hands. Oh boy. Ah. She ran away so fast, I didn't even have a chance to say anything more. Guess there's not much left to do here. I'll head on down to... Okay. Um. Let's go to the games room. Ooh, green. As I walked into the games room, my eyes were drawn to a girl playing on the handheld game device. Tots. She looked deep in thought as her fingers moved to press buttons at lightning speed. Boo, new high score. Aw, shame. It's a shame I can't submit it. Changed the voice I wanted for her. Oh, sup, dude. Do you know what happened to the internet? What? Ever since I came to this island, I haven't been able to get any signal at all. I'm literally going to die at this rate. You okay? Tell my followers they were the best. Bleh. Okay, I'm already in love with Terra from that alone. What does a person even do in this situation? Are you okay? No worries, Torapan. She'll be fine. Oh, hey, Kat. What's up? You had to turn off all the internet to make sure no spoilers for the show get out. Ah, uh, that's fair. Terra's just a bit overdramatic about it. He'll get used to it. Yo, t you tell me I'm being overdramatic when you literally set us back into the Stone Age? With games and electricity and other things, but still. Oh, I was so excited to stream for everybody when I got here. <clears throat> the little sad face in the text box. No. <laughs> You're a streamer? What a coincidence, so am I. <laughs> Yes, sir, that I am. I'm mostly a variety game streamer, but I also stream real life, too. Okay. When I have my HDMI cable, same. But for now, it's just a variety game. And I can't now. Maybe you could just record things and post them later? I guess that will ha that, that that's what I'll have to do. But that's so last year. By the way, what's this whole show about? Wait, what? Honestly, I have no idea what I got into regarding pretty much everything to do with this show. You didn't even do a little bit of research before you decided to come here. Hey, hey, don't get in my face about this. From what I heard from Kat, you didn't either. Hey, amnesia and not doing a little bit of research are totally different. I forgot to do my due diligence and you forgot your life. Same deal. It's not the same deal. Anyway, it's a dating show called Find Love. Kat can explain the rules in more detail, but it's pretty much what you expect from any generic dating TV show. And my name's Tordopon. I'm what Kat calls the suitor. Huh. So it's like a visual novel dating sim game, except I'm stuck in it, rather than getting to play it myself. I guess so. Well, since this is a game... I'm gonna win it. I'm not sure that's the right way to approach dating, but... Look out, world! Terra's coming! And she always wins. Thoughts. Terra ran off with a fiery look in her eyes. I've got no idea where she's headed. But who would? I guess there's nothing left to do here. Might as well head on over to... Mm, backyard first. We'll save the kitchen for last. Well, calling this a backyard is like calling what happened to the Titanic leak. The field goes farther than the eye can see. My eyes were quickly drawn to a girl running laps across the field. She's quick. She's getting closer and closer and... She slid to, to a stop in front of me. Oh, she's so cute. Wait, I love her outfit. Howdy, I'm Allie. It's nice to meet ya. You're Torapon, right? That's... Uh, I don't really care. Care for a jog, though? You know what? Fuck it. Sure. Sure, that sounds... Alright, let's go! 
She got my hand and pulled me with her at a breakneck speed. Ah! She's so fast. It takes all I have to just keep pace with her. The wind on my face feels nice, though. For some reason, I feel like I've missed this. I actually don't think I've ever gone this fast. Come on, come on, keep it up. And we'll have you in tip-top shape in no time, soldier. Whatever nice thoughts I had floating in my head were thrown out by my newly assigned drill sergeant. I thought I signed up for a dating show, not a fitness show. <sighs> alright, alright. Starting to hit a comfortable pace. Is that all you've got? Ellie was widening the distance between us with a smile on her face. Call me simple, but I started to run as fast as I could. Ah! I gained more speed and more speed. I gained more and more speed, and watched as Ali slowly fell behind. Whoa, you're running even faster than my dad did when he left! <laughs> I unconsciously slowed down, my face contorted with shock. In just that single moment, she caught up and quickly surpassed me. I'm kidding, jeez, no need to take everything so seriously. The bastard died before he ever got a chance to, damn. Oh, I'm so so- don't be. I killed him myself. More power to you, girl. What? The look on your face is hilarious. Don't worry so much, what I'm falling. I'm kidding, kidding. Okay, I think Ali is over my new favorite. <laughs> or am I? I feel my heart start to give out less from the running and more from the emotional roller roller coaster. That's You finished jogging a few minutes later. I'm completely out of breath. That was fun, Torapan. <sighs> Let's run again sometime. I fell to my knees to catch my breath, and watched as she walked away effortlessly. But you'll have to be faster than that to keep up with me, suitor. I laid on the grass, like an obese war walrus gasping for air. <laughs> Is this how I die? I don't think I'll have to be worried about telling Ali the truth with how hard it is to breathe. <laughs> I think I'll live. At least for now. I rolled onto my back and relaxed for a moment. After I cut up, I guess I'll head on over to the kitchen. Oh. One, these ribs are well done. Thank you, ma'am. They were supposed to be medium rare. Please remake them all before the hour is up. I knew we should have just kept blah 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 blah. I knew we should have just worked in accounting. Then I was just the opportunity for you, one. I just bought one of the neighboring islands, and I needed someone to balance the books. Please have that finished by nightfall, and don't forget about the ribs. I take it back. The side dishes are magnificent too. Keep it up, you diligent worker, you. Aw oh, shucks, you're too kind, ma'am. I don't get what you're complaining about, bro. Violet's amazing, and she's even volunteered to help us slowly, peons. This loop is simply delightful. Could work three. The Thank you, Violet. Man, she's a hundred times better than what four bossed us around. When four bossed us around. I couldn't agree more, bro. One, if you insist on taking us alone on the meatballs, perhaps we'll use your meatballs instead. Just kidding. Though, upon further thought, you never need them anyway, so maybe... She's such an angel. Are we even talking about the same person? <laughs> hey there, got a second to chat? Pardon me, I didn't see you there, just one second. I've got to clean up the soup that once set on fire earlier. Is that even possible? Anything's possible if you put your mind to it. Evidently, the same is true if you lack a mind completely. <sighs> Public education. Just kidding. Hey, that was uncalled for. Actually, we think about the same. We think the same about you on a daily basis. <laughs> oh no, I can confirm that. I wish your mom never had you guys. <laughs> oh dear. Apologies for the delay. I'm finished now. I'm Violet. Violet Valentine. The pleasure is yours, Torapan. You already know who I am? I imagine each contestant does. Well, I'm called away out here for a whole week for a blind date. And what could be that? That's unintelligent. Sneeze. 
question mark? I do hope you're worthy of being the suitor. You'll find that courting a lady is a different sport than the other girls. It's true. She's one of the two daughters of the Valentine family. Three even richer than Royal Black Media. All right, three. Your pay is cut by 50%. Enjoy your even shittier instant noodles. Is it too late to go back to school? I am, how to say, fascinated. I like to see what makes you so special. You look fairly average to me. I guess you'll be in for a surprise, Violet. I do like a... A deafening explosion blasted through the kitchen. What did they do? <laughs> Thoughts. The spaghetti tonight will be, how to say, a little different. I hope you do not mind. You're not really putting one on the menu, right? Thoughts. Thoughts. One, why is there a hole in the ceiling? It looks like they'll be busy in the kitchen for a while. All right, all right, enough messing around. If you're on the show and you're not underpaid grunt, come to the main entrance of the mansion. I guess that includes me. I should start heading over. That includes you too, Tara. I can see you playing, you know. You're not the boss of me. What have I gotten myself into? <clears throat> the beautiful lineup of girls. By the time I got there, Kat and the girls were surrounding a blackboard covered with scribbles and math equations. And that's why Torapon is the perfect soulmate for each of you. I'm sorry, you just threw a bunch of numbers and symbols that don't mean anything. It's like the bullshit math they show on screen in a movie. Ah, oh, you're late to the party, Torapon. But you're just in time for the first alone time segment. Alone time segment? You can't find your soulmate without having a little alone time together. It's time to pick your first soulmate candidate. One of two lovely ladies will get to spend time with this week. So without further ado, who is it going to be? Wait, I have to choose already? I haven't even had the chance to really talk with any of them yet. Don't think of it that way. Think of it more like, well, who do you want to talk to the most right now? Alright, I guess. Um... Allie. We'll make it happen. Well, let's get the cameras rolling, people. We're in for a bumpy ride on day one. Yes, ma'am. Now be a dear and give us a minute to start up the scene, hmm? How I let Allie talk me into this, I'll never know. You sure this is a good idea? Oh, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? Allie grabbed my hand and pulled me towards the slope of the hill. Relax, Torapan. What's the worst that could happen? Um, well, I could die. Would it be too much to ask to be on a TV show that didn't end up with me dead? Yes, yes it would. Hello, Nero, what's up? Nice to see ya here. Don't worry, I've got you. Oh shit. Ali slipped on her rollerblades, pulling me down the hill with her. I tried to step back up, back up on reflex, but it was all I could do to stand up with the rollerblades. Oh fuck. They started rolling down the hill faster and faster and faster. Ali was rolling down the hills backwards at full speed. I could see panic in her eyes. I couldn't figure out how to stop. We were going faster and faster. I screamed. Ali laughed and pointed at me. Gosh, your face is priceless. I love it. Ali turned around effortlessly and somehow glided next to me without ever having to let go of my hand. No. Our breakneck pace became slower and slower as she steered us back and forth repeatedly. Before I knew it, we were gliding down the road smoothly. The wind felt so nice. Now you got the hang of it. You got a funny way of teaching. The best way to teach a bird to fly is throwing it off a cliff, no? That's definitely a way of looking at it. Don't worry about it, you weren't ever in danger. Have you been rollerblading for a long time? Nope. I actually just learned how to today. Er, what was that about never being a danger? Shh. 
You're quite the daredevil, aren't you? Hope I gave that away. She laughed as she slapped me on the back. You know, you're a pretty quick learner. You picked up rollerblading almost as fast as I did. Well, I've got a pretty good teacher. It was a lot of fun hanging out with you, Allie. Shucks, I feel the same way toward a pawn. It's great to be around someone willing to go on an adventure. The world's gone crazy. We're all gonna die. You might as well be around people that make life worth living. I couldn't say it better myself. You know, I bet you can't skate backwards. Allie reversed and started skating backwards, as if to taunt me. Oh, why is that? I just think it's a bit too scary for a person who screams and they start going down a little bump. I'm Totopon, and I can't handle a little bump. Ah, help me. Come on, it was a hill. Yeah, yeah. I felt a fire light inside me. Bring it on, Allie. Oh, are you sure? Did I stutter? There comes a time in every person's life where we know we're taking a stupid bet, but do it anyway. By the power of a misplaced confidence and adrenaline, I jumped high into the air and... Hmm, I can either attempt a backflip or a 360 rotation. Which I'm not fully sure what's the difference. I guess the access you're rotating. Um... Backflip. It did a backflip. Wait, am I doing a flip? Or is the world flipping? I'm not sure. Then it dawned on me. Oh, fuck. No, I won't let you kill Tor upon. What? You're going to wish we had. What just... What the hell? You're up. You okay, Tor upon? Try not to move. You're a little banged up right now. But you'll be just fine in no time. Kind of how I treated your injuries. Pretty well, if I do say so myself. What? What happened? You, uh, well, skated backwards. We're definitely skating quite liberally, huh? How did I get here? I carried you here. Oh man, my head. Take it easy. It's only been a few hours since you KO'd yourself. Um, well, it's sort of my fault, but... I made you some food. It should help you get your strength back up quick. Thanks, Allie. That's really nice of you. Don't expect it. something that Violet would make. All I can promise is that food is probably healthier than my last suggestion before you knocked yourself out. <laughs> I'll take my chances. I took a bite of the food cautiously. Yeah, I- <laughs> I'm- I'm dying. <laughs> For a moment, while well, he was wide-eyed with shock and horror. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. The food's delicious. Thanks, Allie. I just figured I'd get a little bit of payback. You know, no one forced you to jump. She laughed and slapped me on the shoulder. I ran her hand through my hair and scratched it. I found myself smiling and admiring the blue of her eyes. I'm looking forward to our next adventure, Tordopan. But promise not to be too stupid again, okay? I'll try my best. But people can't help but do stupid things to impress a pretty girl. I guess impressed is what we'll call it. We spent the rest of the day making fun of each other for how stupid we were being. Somehow, some way, Ali could take the ordinary and turn it into the into an adventure. I was laughing so hard I could barely feel any pain. Before I knew it, it was nighttime. Ali was a good choice. I stumbled back to my room and plopped onto my bed. I was just about to close my eyes when I heard a knock at the door. I shuffled over in a haze. Hey there, Torapod. Sorry to bother you this late. It's alright. What's up, cat? Don't mind me. Just gonna make myself real comfortable. Cat walked by me and comfortably sat herself on my bed. Oh my god. You have no idea how much better your beds are compared to the staff. You think the ones actually working here would get treated nicely? I closed the door then sat facing her on the opposite side of the bed. I'm guessing you're not coming to my room to start a workers' union. I wonder. What would you want me to come to your room for instead? I could think of a few things. You'd think five women would be enough for a person? You're incorrigible, Tordovan. Anyway, as the producer, I'm obliged to help you survive until the end of the show. Just until the end of the show, I'm heartbroken. 
<laughs> being your babysitter doesn't pay well enough to make it a long-term gig. I'll be checking in with you each night to let you know how you're doing and give you some advice here and there. That's nice of you. Thanks, Kat. Well, to be honest, finding a new person to take your place would be a recruiting nightmare. Back to topic. Her audience has really left her date with Allie today. You and Allie were the fan favorite pair, I gotta say. She knows how to make exciting TV. She's got potential for her own show, now that I think about it. You were saying? Ah, uh, sorry, got sidetracked. The whole world knows that Allie is your first soulmate candidate, and they're hungry for more content. That said, we need a little more drama in the mix now. A love triangle. So tomorrow, I will need to find who your other soulmate candidate is, and ask them on a date. Uh... I do want to go on a second date with Ali tomorrow, but I'll follow the rules of the show and say all right. All right, sounds good to me. Really? Since you had such a great today, I'm surprised you agreed so easily. Well, it is a bit weird, but... Now that I'm of the day, this is a TV show. You need ratings to survive. You're exactly right, and more specifically, you need those ratings to survive, or they'll axe the show before the last day. What happens to me if that happens? Well, it'd be as if you didn't end up with anyone at the end of the show. Ah, got it. Well, that's simple enough. I'm impressed at how well you took that. Have you been on a life or death killing good dating show before? Um, I've been on plenty of dating show. Well, not dating, killing. I've been on a healthy mix of both separately from each other, I guess. Life or death shows? Yes. Killing shows? Yes. Dating? Yeah. Been through all of these. Just separately. This is the first time it's all together. Can't say I have. Well, that's pretty much what I needed to tell you before tomorrow. It's getting late, and we've both got big days tomorrow. How about we call it a night? Sounds good to me. If it's worth anything, I'm sorry. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Totopan. Good night, Cat. She left my room, closing my door behind her. I went back to laying on my bed and closed my eyes. I got thinking about Ali before I slept. Dots. The sound of waves crashing against the shore. Hey. Question mark. I can hear a woman's voice call out to me within a dream. You can't probably hear me in here, there, but... I try to respond, but no words come out. Torepan, promise me one thing. Don't forget. Don't you dare forget. You promised. Promises are unbreakable, right? That's what you told me. Dots. You promised. But you lied, didn't you? Uh. All right. Oh my gosh, I heard about what happened yesterday. Are you okay? Wrong voice. Um, no worries. I'm good. Thanks, Yui. I'm so relieved. Should you not be resting after yesterday? Nah, no need. I've only got a few scrapes and bruises. I'm surprised that both of you aren't dead after what you pulled. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> me too. Wait, what? I mean, <laughs> no worries, Scarlet. I've been rollerblading for longer than most people have ever. Technically, that's probably true, but... You should teach us how to rollerblade, Allie. It seems like it'd be fun. Uh, you sure, Tara? I feel like that might not be a good idea. What's the worst that could happen? Hmm. I like your attitude, girl. Come on, let's hit the road. Allie grabbed Tara's hand and pulled her away. Sometime later. Hey Tara, how was skating? Thoughts. There's no words. I think Ali broke Tara. Scarlet waved her hands frantically in front of Tara's face, as if to check if anyone was still in there. Tara, you in there? Hey Tara, the internet's back. Thoughts. I guess nobody's home. Oh, is there a medic on the island? Thoughts. Luckily, Tara was fine. After that was resolved, he spent the rest of the morning playing video games as therapy for Tara. She still doesn't remember a thing about what happened. What did you see, Tara? I guess we'll never know. Amazing. Uh, 
Oh, there you are, Torapon. I've been looking for you. It's time to decide who's your other soulmate candidate. Hello, cat. You remember what we discussed yesterday, right? How could I forget? It's not like I've ever gone about anything before except for, well, everything. Save the snark for whichever poor girl you end up seeing today. How oh, that stings. This is between your two soulmate candidates from here on out, so choose wisely. But wait, really? So if we don't get chosen, what are we supposed to do? Well, for starters, we're in a tropical paradise. Think of it as vacation. Soulmates aren't real anyway, so it's not a big deal. They're not real? Oh boy. Shut up on. You might want to pick your second soulmate candidate quick. Wait a minute, cat. Will we be splitting up the group after today? Nope, don't worry. They'll still be able to hang out together. And who knows where that'll go. Phew. Good to know my battle plans will still come in handy. <coughs> I mean, friendship plans. Good to know I still get to see my new friends. Yes, sir. So, without further ado, Torapon, who's the unlucky girl? Uh... Hmm... Hmm... I feel like Violet could be interesting. Hmm... Hmm, hmm, hmm. I might have to go for Yui, actually. Because the childhood friend, that drama. Yeah. Yui. Yes, I made a bet with four you choose Yui today. Great choice, Torapon. I knew I could count on you. Thoughts. All right, all right. Let's get this show on the road. The forest to the north of the house was as serene as could be. With each step forward, I felt the soft earth give away beneath my feet, and the wind caress my skin. Green as furrows that I can see, and her, in a flowing white dress, standing in the middle of it all. Hey there, Torapon. What you doing all the way out here? I could ask you the same. I guess so. Here we have the cutest giggle, the kind that instantly put a smile on your face. Care to join me for a walk? I'd like that. We started to walk down the forest path together. I couldn't help but be fascinated by her hair, flowing like water in the wind. I don't even remember, but... I've made... Uh, I'm from way out of the country. I grew up surrounded by animals, nature, you name it. It was just me, my grandma, my sisters, and the pacas, and my bunnies, bun and bun bun, and the chickens, and too many farm animals to count. To answer your question from earlier, nature takes me back home. Do you still live there? Yep, I wouldn't have it any other way. Though I had to move to the city for a bit way back when. You know, that's when I met you. How did we meet? Well... You know, one thing I hate about the city is that everyone's in a rush. People just walk by each other as if they're obstacles to get past instead of, well, people. I came to the city alone, didn't know left from right, and I got lost. I swear every building looks the same. I'm gonna say that again. I tried to ask people for directions to where I would live and where the school was, but no one would give me the time of day. Except for you. I helped you. Yeah, you didn't even know me, but you took the time to help me figure out my way around. Gosh, I've never been so embarrassed in my life. Why were you embarrassed? Uh, you know. <laughs> shy. Question mark. We found out later we went to the same high school, but we never talked too much after that. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. Oh, it's not your fault, Tordopon. I had to move back home pretty soon after, anyway. Well, I'm happy I'm getting a second chance to know you better, Yui. I feel the same way, Tordopon. You're just like how I remember. Well, actually, the whole trying to date five girls at a time thing came out of nowhere, but life is full of surprises, I guess. It shouldn't take long to remove them from the equation. 
sorry, what did he say? I couldn't hear you. Just a little joke. <laughs> I was just saying, I'm so happy to see you again. Here's to the future. We spent the rest of the day talking in the nature and making up for lost time. Apparently, I always ended up in trouble. I was always ending up in trouble back then. I guess not much has changed. Something about you made it so easy to open up. I found myself almost telling her the truth about the show several times, oh god. Even though I couldn't tell her the whole truth, I could tell her just enough of what was worrying me to make me feel at home and at ease. Whatever's risk getting you down, I'm sure it'll all be okay. No matter what, I'm on your side, Torepon. I was about to enter my room when I felt a familiar tap on my shoulder. Hey there, Torapon. Got a minute? I want to make Ali and you be jealous. It'll be good for ratings. Sorry, what? You're no fun. Anyway, she opened the door to my room and walked inside. I followed suit. I've got some good news. I'm all ears. Turns out my strategy worked. We've gotten enough ratings to avoid early canning. But don't get me wrong. People loved it when you and Ali were the main ship, but... Now with UVS, some serious competition? Let's just say online threads went from optimistic and united to downright murderous. Well, I'm glad to hear I got to live another day. For now, at least. But that'll change quickly if our viewers don't feel like your relationships with both of them aren't progressing. <laughs> Cat laughed and then took a seat on my bed. You know, I'm curious about how you're feeling about Ali and Yuvi. Between those two, do you have a favorite? Honestly, Ali. I think I have a better connection with Ali right now. She makes every moment exciting and I can't get enough of that. Uh, I had a feeling you'd say that. <laughs> You're right to say that. Well, we'll see where things go with her. Something tells me you'll get a chance to hang out with her again tomorrow. Anyway, that's it for today. Keep it up, and who knows? You might just be the first one to make it out of here. Night, Torapod. Good night, cat. She left my room, closing the door behind her. Guess it's time to turn in for the night. Thoughts? Question mark. I see waves crashing soundlessly against the shore and dissolving to nothing before they reach my feet. This must be my dream. She's next to me. I can't make out her face or even hear her voice, but I know it's her. The way the pale moonlight dances in her hair is so nostalgic. I feel like you've seen a ghost toward upon. You. Somehow, I can't see your face nor hear your voice. I know it's you. I'm fine, don't worry about it. I hear my own voice, speaking as if we were coming out of old cassette. Are you thinking about what's going on out there t now? Ten bucks that's better on this side. Out there, every day is a fight to stay alive. Here, at least there's food, shelter, and a place to call home. And most importantly, high speed and unlimited internet. I reach for her hand and hold it tight. I have people that love you. I know. And I love you too. I know how lucky I am to be here, but I still want to see the other side. Why? You wouldn't survive a day out there. Same goes for me. Because it's real. It's real life. Where things happen that aren't planned by some producer. Where living isn't just following a script. I'd do anything for just a taste of it. And you've been over this. I know. I'm just so tired of this. I. What the hell are we doing here, Torepan? I felt the same way she did. But there's nothing we could do. Not if we valued our lives. There's none escaping from here alive. We're living another day. But what are we living for? I sighed. Do you really want to see the other side that badly? Yes. I laughed, but she had that look in her eye. I knew there was no convincing her otherwise. Even if she had to go home, she'd see it through. And I loved her for that. Guess you'll owe me ten bucks pretty soon. She laughed. You'll be the judge of that. Oh.
Oh, damn. <laughs> Take some sippy sips. You guys haven't been saying anything, right? I I know I've accidentally ignored chat in the past. I'll check the. Okay, yeah. My iPad isn't being silly. <clears throat> in the morning, the girls and I decided to hang out in the garden outside the house. Oh wow, there's all kinds of flowers here that I've never seen here before. Really? You've never seen a tulip? Grandma and I only grew high sense back at home, so no. Not even on the internet? And I thought I had to get out more. I can believe that. The only flowers I ever worked with were Venus fly traps. What do you do with those? Well, we do a lot of experiments at the lab. Don't you ever find yourself thinking, wouldn't it be cool to make a Venus flytrap that could walk? And talk? Dots. Literally never. Ah, uh, it's whatever. She ran away two years ago. Both my neighbors lost their pet cats the same day too. No! I miss you, Fluffy. You sure they were lost? Tea's ready. Thanks, Violet. I got a cup for everybody. The room up for the tea really worked up my appetite. I've prepared some treats for us as well. Please enjoy. We spent the rest of the morning eating delicious treats and sipping on delicious tea as we theorized to what might, hap might, might have happened to Fluffy. Personally, my money's on the felines being the culprits. Every cat I've met has had a nasty surprise up their sleeve. No oh boy. I figure it's about time to talk with the cat about my next date, but I felt a tap on my back. Cat, is that? I turned around and the girl in front of me was as surprised as I was. Cat? No, this is Allie. Oh, wrong voice here. Uh, sorry, Allie. What's up? She looked to see if anyone else was around before she spoke. Have you noticed anything weird lately? What do you mean? Don't get me wrong, I had a lot of fun on our date earlier, but something about this show is weird. I went out for a walk in the forest last night, you know, because it's gorgeous and all, but after I caught there, I must have dozed off for a minute. Taking a nap in the forest at night? You're preferred the most, Allie. Let me finish. When I woke up, I was back in my room, on my bed, and I swear I don't remember ever walking back. Huh. That sounds pretty crazy if it really happened. You sure you didn't just have a weird dream? Now that you mention it, I tried Scarlet's cooking for fun last night. That was a big mistake. Maybe I'm just imagining things, but... Did you notice anything strange happen last night? I don't think so. It was just a regular night. I had a conversation with the cat in my room, but that was it. <laughs> Damn, five girls to date wasn't enough, huh? Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Well, I guess I'll just be staying away from Scarlet's cooking and chalk it up to a weird-ass dream. Thanks for listening, Tortipon. It's my pleasure, Allie. See you later. She ran off just as fast as she had come initially. Someone's in a hurry. Hey, cat, I was looking for you. Afternoon, Tortapa. Same here. I wanted to ask, did you guys do anything last night to Allie? Not that I know. Our staff leaves the castle alone at night. I guess there's nothing to worry about. Kat's been honest with me so far about everything. Question mark? Right? Anyway, more importantly, it's time for phase two. We done pretty decently with setting up Allie and Yuva as their soulmate candidates. People are eating it up. Their romance? Whatever. More importantly, every time they're all on screen, we get one hell of a ratings boost. From here on out, you'll be going on dates with either of them. They'll be your best bet to get out of here alive. That sound good to you? You almost make it sound like I have a choice. 
I'm glad we're on the same page as always, sort of fun. But enough with the pleasantries. Who's the unlucky girl today? <laughs> I guess I like this one today with Ali. Really? No. I'm surprised considering how you KO'd yourself last time. But that's none of my business. We'll start filming down at the beach. See you there. <clears throat> Howdy, Torapod. You ready for round two? I figure you want to hang out somewhere where rollerblades don't work. Oh, I spent all night dreaming of the next chance I could use those two little death machines. Then I think you'll love what we got in store today. There's no wheels where we're going. What do you mean? You'll see. Follow me. Ah, first, I'm gonna need you to close your eyes. I'm not sure I like where this is going. Nothing to worry about, Dorevan. I'll be right here next to you the whole time. Because that's always gone well. Hasn't it? Ali moved behind me, covered my eyes with her hands. Now, let's just keep walking forward. Trust me. Right. It'd be long if I said I wasn't somewhat enjoying this. My heart skipped a beat when she wrapped her arms around me. I cautiously, cautiously took step after step forward. First, I felt dirt, then sand, then water. Are you trying to make me drown myself? Of course not. Though, I have to admit, this does look a lot like how they killed people back in the day. Uh, you're gonna want to take a really high step forward next, or it's gonna hurt. I raised my right leg as high as I could, then stepped forward. Something changed, like metal. Next, I brought over my left leg. Keep your eyes closed for just a second longer. I just gotta do one thing. Ali let go of me and took a few steps forward. Brace yourself. Wait, what's... I was knocked off my feet by the sudden movement and opened my eyes on the reflex. Water sprayed onto my body as I struggled to regain my balance. All aboard the SS St. Alley. When and where did you get a boat? Pretty cool, right? I found this baby in the back of the mansion this morning. This morning. You just found it? Anyway, I asked Kat if I could take it for a spin. She said that as long as we stay within a few clicks of the island, we're good. Or the engine will automatically shut off. So I thought, why not have a little joy run around the island? I like the sound of that. And away we go. We cruised around the island for a while, taking note of the different buildings or covering the island. The mansion seems so far from way out here. Hours flew by as we cruised around. Nellie took a deep breath and sighed. Are you okay, Allie? You don't seem as chipper as usual. I guess I'm a little homesick. It's nothing to do with you, promise. I just... I'm just worried about my old man. I'm sorry, it wasn't your father. Uh, yeah, he's long gone. You know the old story about New Asia? It's talking about Bill. He was a good friend of my dad's, and has taken care of me and a whole lot of other kids. Sounds like a cool dude. You have a way with words, don't you, Totopan? I don't dwell much on the past. It just slows you down. I couldn't agree more. Is that the amnesia talking? Who knows? She left as she put her hand tenderly against my cheek. I'm more worried that he'll get himself into trouble if not around to keep him in check. What's he like? Let's just say that a lot of how I act is from him, but I'm much more restrained. You're like this. I guess I wouldn't survive even a single day hanging out with him. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing at all. I only made a sharp turn. The sudden force almost threw me out of the boat. Hey, what was that for? Oh, nothing at all. I couldn't help but smile at her. She was practically shining when she had that devilish grin. I'm sure he's doing just fine, Allie. He's probably watching right now, just to make sure you're safe. You're probably right now that I think about it. You always waste the day watching shitty reality TV shows. Which gives me an idea. What's that? With one hand on the wheel, Allie turned to me and kissed me on the lips. I kissed her back. It felt like lightning was running through my veins. 
The boat started to rock back and forth more and more uncontrollably, but we didn't stop. <laughs> That's got to give Villa a heart attack. Seriously, what kind of father lets her daughter go on a trashy show like this? I couldn't help but laugh. Eh, whatever, it's been a fun ride so far. And here's the next one with you, Torapan. She kissed me again, sending the boat into an erratic frenzy. We spent the rest of the day together cruising around on the boat until we ran out of daylight. No. I was about to turn in for the night when I heard a knock on my door. Hey Kat, I thought you were going to come over tonight. Sorry about that, I got tied up in some things. Is everything okay? Good as always. Care to join me for a walk? Sure, that sounds nice. Then away we go. We walked at a relaxed pace, with Kat slightly ahead, leading the way. So, how are you feeling about day three, Tornapon? Uh, I still like Allie the most. Allie's still the girl I like the most. If anything, getting to meet another other girls made me like her even more. It's all I can do to just keep up with her, but each moment with her is so worth it. Aw, that's cute. Also a perfect answer for the cameras, thank you very much. I guess you'll be giving her fanbase some more things to go rapid over soon, hmm? You can say that again. Perfect. Well, I'm happy you've got one girl you're really interested in, but it helps you've got chemistry with both. Tomorrow, we'll make the slug of triangle by having you date the girl you didn't today. Sound good to you? I'm noticing a pattern making it sound like I have a choice when I really don't. None of us have a choice nowadays, I'm afraid. Alright, I gotta get back to editing today's footage. You ready to head back to the mansion? Sounds good to me. Walked back in comfortable silence. Night. See you later, cat. Dots. If we get caught trying to escape, there's no telling what would happen to us. It's a chance we have to take. I know, but we need to know what we're up against. We know the island is better than anyone by now, Torepan. We'll be fine. I'm not so sure. Damien's brought in that scientist for his latest experiment. All I've heard is that she's the one who built the prototype. The Damien... The one Damien used to turn six into a vegetable. Not to mention the old tests the audience is too. Shit. I think they must have killed at least a hundred people by now. And they still haven't perfected it. If we get caught. I get what you're trying to say. Are you still with me on this? It's not too late. You don't even have to ask. Of course I'm with you. Who are you? Somehow, I know you're close by. But every time I try to see your face, the dream ends. Intense. A beach scene? Seriously? Not only gratuitous, but oh so predictable. Oh come on, it's the beach. Don't be so negative. I guess you're right. It's not every day you gotta go to the beach. Are you alright, Tara? You've looked better. Tara was practically crawling on the beach sand, like a zombie with one arm, oh god. Sunlight, my worst enemy. We need a gun, you piece of shit. <laughs> There's some shade under the beach, umbrellas over there, Tara. You look like you could use it. I swear I've never seen Tara move so fast. <laughs> Let's go in the water, come on. Scarlet grabbed Violet by her hand and pulled her toward the water. Ah. Uh, but I didn't bring anything to change. Now that's the spirit. Wait up, you guys. And just like that, they're off. You up to join them? It'd be crazy to miss out on this. Just one thing first. Ali pulled me in with her arms and kissed me passionately. It's hotter when the other girls are around. You think they saw? I can't stop my jaw from dropping. The look on your face is priceless, my god. Try to keep up. Ali ran to join the other girls in the water. I smiled and followed the suit. We spent the rest of the morning enjoying the warm wa weather on the beach. <clears throat> oh, my head. You okay? You don't look so good. Not so loud. 
Oh, my head's killing me after I had a ton of wine last night. I still had to edit our broadcast after that, which didn't help. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the woman who decides whether I get to live or die every night. And she was very, very drunk when she ju did just that. Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. Clearly, you're still alive, Totopod, so it's all good. Believe me, you drank too if you worked here. Just look at the Brothers 5. Working at Futuristic Evil Corp TM. Has to come with some benefits, right? You'd think, but we still have to pay for dental out of pocket. Um. <clears throat> Before I forget what this show's all about, today's the day you got on a date with. Who was your other soulmate candidate again? Yui. How much did you drink last night, Kat? Whatever, I knew that. Just testing you. Duh. Right. Alright, let's get the second date with Yui started. Woo. Whoa, so won't tell the world to stop spitting like a bitch. I'm pretty fucked, huh? Cat is unwell. <laughs> um, there's something I wanted to double check. Hang on, loop you. Okay. Discord. Ah. <clears throat> Lots of throat clearing. It never ends. <clears throat> I could see Yui waving at me from the top of the hill. Hey there, Torapod. It's nice to see you again. It's nice to see you too, Yui. You wanted to show me something? Now that I was closer, I could see Yui was holding one hand behind her back. Believe me, it's the most amazing thing you've ever seen. Behold. It's the bunny. <laughs> it's so cute. The little pawsies. The itty bitty pawsies is so fluffy. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just a little guy. He just <laughs> It was indeed a bunny, a banui, a bunny. Any of the thingies you can say bunny wrong applies, because it's all correct. <laughs> Where did this little guy come from? To be honest, I've got no idea. I wonder if it's a wild one, or maybe somebody's pet. I've asked around, but it doesn't look like he wants to anybody. So I... I've been taking care of him since I found him. I just couldn't help myself, you know? Yui's smile was as earnest as could be. Trying to tap things, it's not working. Eh. Didn't you have a pet bunny back home? I had two. Bun and Bun Bun. Both of them are total rascals. But Bun 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 here is a good boy, aren't you? I love her naming sequence for bunnies. Top tier. She nestled against Bun Bun Bun's head. Yes, you are, Nuzzle Nuzzle. We played with the bunny for a little while. She picked the bunny up and held it in her arms. Bun 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 looked quite content. You know, you're pretty amazing with animals, Yui. Now, I've been surrounded by animals my whole life. Back at my house, well, to be honest, it was more of a barn than anything. Since my sisters were too young, and Grandma was getting up there, I take care of all the animals. Grandma's taken care of them ever since they were born. My parents were supposed to take care of them after Grandma retired, but... Well, you know, life happens. I'm just glad to have what I have. Ah. Bun 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 had managed to squeeze out of her hands and ran off. No! We gotta catch him. Let's go. On it. I ran as fast as I could after Bun Bun Bun, but it was no use. The distance kept widening. Before long, we couldn't even see him anymore. Sorry I couldn't catch him. 
is really fast for something so small. That is what bunnies are known for. Huh, don't worry about it. Fun Fun Bun likes to do this all the time. He's a bit mischievous, but he won't do anything dangerous. We could take our time looking for him. If you're willing to help. Of course, Yui. We started walking towards where we saw Bun Bun Bun, right after we caught our breath again. Gosh, isn't it so nice to be outside? The smell of fresh air, the breeze. There's nothing like it. There really isn't. I smiled. At first, I was really excited to go to the city. There's so many people, so many things to do, so many beautiful things. And most of all, I got to meet you. Shucks, you're gonna make me blush. She laughed and touched my arm. You might so, and this today's just not my thing. It's a little bit funny. Though the reason I had to come home all of a sudden was terrible, I... A little part of me was glad to be home. Ever had that kind of feeling before? I have. It's strange. But sometimes, there's good and the bad. And sometimes, that good can outweigh the bad. Exactly. You got it, sort of fun. My family's never been closer. And that's all I want. They told me to make a lot of money in the city. Make something of myself, all that. It might seem old-fashioned. But I just want to put the people I love first. That's all you got in life, really. I'm curious. What do you put first in life? Banui. Um... Happiness, honestly. Happiness. If you don't have that, what do you have? Oh, is that so? I think we'd make a great team then. We talked for several hours about what we wanted out of life. We seemed to match up perfectly. I was beaming the whole time. It was hard to believe that. It's Bun 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 Bun! Yui pointed in front of us, and sure enough, there was Bun 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 Bun, chomping on a bush. i never seen anyone move so fast. Yui descended on Bun 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 like a hawk and grabbed him in an instant. You're going back to your den, you little bad bunny. But I'm happy you're safe. She nestled her face against his fur. Bun 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 was practically purring with delight. Bunnies cannot purr, but that's okay. Then she looked right at me. I can't promise I could give you the most exciting life, with the most twists and turns around every corner. But I can promise that if you chose me, I'd, be, yeah, I'd always be by your side, no matter what. Wherever you were, I'd come running, always. She took a step towards me and kissed my cheek. We locked eyes, and for all that time, all I could see was her and how beautiful she was. <laughs> bon 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 seemed to be a little jealous after that. Thanks again for the help, Torevan. Being with you made this all go a lot faster and made it really special to me. Anytime, Yui. I'm happy to. We walked back together to the mansion, holding hands and smiling all the while. That was, that was a good date. I was feeling too restless after today's date to wait in my room, so I went for a walk downstairs. Oh, hey Torupon. I was just about to go check in on you. Hey there, Kat. What's up? Huh. There's some fancy desserts here from last week, but I can't find them anymore. Guess I'll take that out of the Brother Fi's paychecks. How do you know it was them? They're like clockwork. Dots. Much. Ali looked like a deer in the headlights on the other end of the kitchen. Cat hadn't seen her yet. She made direct eye contact with me, then hightailed it out. Anyway, I've been meaning to talk to you. What's up? How'd your date with Yui today go? It was awesome. They got Bun Bun. It felt like it was out of a fairy tale. You and I spent the whole day just talking of the nature, talking about home and family. She's totally wife material. Isn't she? You is amazing. You know, before the show even started, she was my personal favorite. I could see why. She's got a big heart. I'm in awe of her. I really love that about her, that she can be so kind and thoughtful, even when life gives to her a losing hand. You is really one of a kind, especially nowadays. If you don't get the chance to be engaged by her by the end of this show, good luck ever getting a chance to. 
I've got a feeling that she has a long, long line of people wanting to date her after that show. They'll have to get through me first, though. Oh, but I still like Ali more. Oh, they will. Anyway, you're probably safe for at least another day. Thanks to the ongoing rivalry between Ali and Yui. The stakes are rising, and so are our precious ratings. So without further ado, it's time for Phase 3. You got only one date left with each of them before the final day. So make them count. You're not out of the woods just yet. Will do. Alright, good. Well, I need to get back to preparing for tomorrow's show. I need better rest up for tomorrow. You only get one first third date with the girl, okay? Sounds good to me, Kat. See you later, Torapon. Good night, Kat. And thanks for the help. I realize I'd probably be screwed without you. Don't thank me yet. I walked back to my room and plopped on my bed. Time to get some should I. Alright, we're out of the mansion. Next up, the beach. I told you the staff wouldn't suspect a thing. That's because nobody's been stupid enough to try to escape till now. Maybe people should have been a little more stupid a little sooner. Easier said than none. She got my hand and pulled me along. We'll go through the forest, come on. We ran through the forest as if the devil were chasing us. The truth was not far from it. Okay, I can see the pier now, and the boat. We're this close to getting out of here. She always put on her bravest face when she was afraid. We couldn't make it, right? Of course, the boat's just a little further, no one's on our tail. I can't believe it. We're finally getting out of here. We're finally... We're finally gonna leave Torapod. About time, if you ask me. Has she known this moment every day since... Who knows how long we've been trapped here by now? I never thought I could escape till I got to know you. I laughed. You're giving me too much credit. It was your idea. Why not any other same person they would have told you the same things? Same people didn't try to escape with me. I wouldn't have stayed sane if it weren't for you, though. She laughed. That was my favorite sound. Let's get back to the matters at hand. We both know that this is where the rubber meets the road. Yeah. Now it's just a mad dash to the finish. You ready to run? No. I'm kidding. Let's go. This is like a favorite sound of mine once more. I hope it's not the last time I hear it. Here we go. You've got to be kidding. My goodness, he really said that? Yeah, and he was all like, Whoa, what the hell is that? A flash of white right raced through the kitchen, sending the girls into a frenzy. Well, what the hell is that? Coming through, sorry. Yui practically bulldozed the other girls in the kitchen. What's going on? I take it back. Bubba is a bad boy. He just seems so well behaved. I thought I'd let him outside again and. Bubba Bun effortlessly swerved past Yui, under Violet, and leapt onto Ali. Oh no. Wah. Bun 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 somehow made his way up to her head and took her cap in his mouth. Hey, give that back. Bun 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 seemed to sneer at Ali, then leapt away and ran off. Get back here! Ali started chasing Bun 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 with all that she had, but somehow he always stayed one step ahead of her. This seems like a job for me. I'm gonna need a Venus flytrap and a few bottles of Bun 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 left onto Scarlet. Ha! Get it off! It's quite humorous that a mere bunny has eluded you all through this long. Think you could catch it? Why, of course. Watch a master at Bun 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 left onto Violet's face. Ah, get this foul creature off of me. Bun 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 sneered with contempt. Someone, do something. At that moment, I realized that Tara was recording Violet's struggles. I'm helping in just a second. Bun 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 left off of Violet onto the kitchen floor and ran out. Give me my cat back. I do suppose a nice rabbit stew is on for lunch today. Huh, I guess I should help too. You have to help, Tordopon? I don't see why not. Time for round two. Now quick, before he gets too far. I'm right behind you. We spent the rest of the morning trying to catch Bun Bun Bun. Emphasis on trying. The bunny is on something. I'm calling it now. We finally managed to catch him by beating him with some food Violet reluctantly made. And even then, he didn't make it easy. 
Let's hope the rest of today is a little more relaxed. Crazy. Morning, Tortopod. Time sure flies, huh? The show's almost over. You'll be back to good... You'll be able to go back to your regular life soon. No idea if it's gonna have any less headaches, though. Who knows? How strange as it sounds, I've had some fun here. The whole getting murdered thing isn't great, but it hasn't been all bad. I did mention that other people would kill to be in your position. On second thought, they haven't even thought it through enough. Probably not. Well, back to business. It's time to pick who you'll go on your third, first third date with. Who's the unlucky soulmate candidate today? Allie. To be honest, I'm not sure if your dates with Allie are really dates, or if just different kinds of transportation. But hey, whatever floats your boat. Literally. Let's get those cameras rolling. I found Allie by the beach, or more accurately, she came running to me. You are not gonna believe this, Toripon. What's that? Alrighty. Alright! Who took my keys? You got 10 seconds before I take it out of forced paycheck. Oh, come on! Er, we'll walk and talk, come on. Well, let's walk. Maybe more like, run like hell. Four is not gonna be happy when he pounds out that I... Ah, uh, whatever, come on, let's go. She grabbed my hand and pulled me with her into the forest clearing nearby. What's going on? You're not gonna believe what I just found. What's that? Well, I was wondering how to top the two previous dates when I stumbled upon... Ah, huh, wait a minute. It's better if I surprise you. I'm gonna have to close my eyes again, right? I love how fast you learn things to upon. She was singing as she covered my eyes with one hand and pulled me along with the other. She pulled me along step by step. I can't say I wasn't enjoying it. Is this... a staircase? It feels like metal beneath me. In the middle of a forest? Just a bit more now. Alright. You can open your eyes now. How on earth? We were inside a small plane. The very same one I'd been rudely awakened in on my first day here. How did you even... It was just sitting in the forest, so I thought, why not, right? I have so many questions. Wait a minute, are you planning on... Without even bothering to answer me, Allie rushed to the cockpit. Oh, crap. You're so hoping this goes better than the rollerblades. <laughs> huh? I wonder what this big red button does. Oh god, get me out of here. I ran for the door, but it's already shut tight. And away we go! The engine of the plane roared as we took off. It slammed into the side of the door. Oof. Come on, be honest. You were thinking the same thing! You put a big juicy red butt in there, completely unattended, and you expect a good citizen like me to not press it? You're bonkers. You got a good point. But do you have any idea how to fly this thing? Wait a minute. If you're talking to me here, then who's flying the plane? Technically nobody, but... Crash. The right wing of the plane smashed into a tree. We hit it hard enough for it to be slightly deformed. Oof. I slammed it to the wall yet again. <laughs> well, we didn't need that wing anyway. We still have the other one. Exactly like kidneys. Forget killer dating death shows. Forget Damien and Cat. Ali was going to be the death of me. I tried to run into the cockpit, but it was all I could do to stay upright as the plane teetered back and forth. I'm just kidding. I got this. Ali ran to the cockpit without breaking a sweat. Meanwhile, I did my best impression of a ball in a pinball machine. Alright, I got this. The plane seemed to stabilize in a matter of seconds. Oh, thank god. I really thought we were gonna... Crash. Oops. Once again, the right wing of the plane smashed into a tree. Somehow it was bent back into its original shape. Not so bad if I do say so myself. Alright, that was some luck. And you know it. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for. We started gaining altitude. Slowly at first, then faster and faster. Higher and higher. 
Before long, we were soaring high above the trees. Ellie let out in triumph. Woo! I joined it and yelled out with glee. It's a pretty great feeling, huh? Not dying in a fiery plane crash? Flying free. Without it, what's the point of living? You're talking about freedom? Or flying? Eh, why not both? That said, there's another reason I flew us up here. What's that, Allie? This is the only place I could find on the island that wasn't bugged. No one could eavesdrop on us here. And sorry for the turbulence, but without it, they might have heard me disable the bugs in here. Believe me, I looked for a safe place as hard as I could. That's why I got the rollerblades in the boat earlier, to find a safe place to talk as fast as possible. I'm guessing you know what the show is really about then. Unfortunately, yeah. What a bummer, am I right? Unfortunately, I don't think you do. And... I can't risk telling you everything either. What? Why? Believe me, you're better off not knowing. What? Allie, what are you hiding? Who are you really? Look, we don't have too much time before we'll have to land. This thing's already almost out of fuel. Sure enough, we had already started descending. Please, just trust me. I want your side toward a pun. I know there's so many lies going on around here, but I really want to help you get out of here. Though I have to admit, it wasn't on my to-do list at first. It's a good thing you're so cute. I'm kidding, jeez. Do you trust me? Yes. Of course I do, Allie. You know that. You won't regret it, promise. So what can you tell me? There's no time. Long story short, there's something on this island I need to find that the people I work with need. It's life or death. Not for just you or me, but for countless others. I came here to save you all, and I won't give up until I have. Though at this point, I've done all I can. It's in his hands now. Who's? No time to talk. We're almost back in range of the island's recording network. No matter what, don't tell anybody what happened here. Not even a little bit. Not even if you think you can trust them. Are we clear? Crystal. The plane flew lower and lower. Alright, we're about to be back in the recording zone. What else? What else? Ah. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. That really doesn't limit it much. I guess not. After we landed, Kat scolded us for taking the plane. Kat and Ellie seemed to exchange more than a few uneasy glances as we got off the plane. But luckily nothing came of it. Next, the production staff separated Ali and I. It looks like Kat had arranged something special for the two of us. I was told that I wasn't allowed to see Ali until evening. Apparently that's the nicest time to film. Hmm. Maybe something spicy? Hang on, I'm gonna stand up. I've been sitting for too long. Need a stretch. And stand a little bit. Oh god. I'm so glad I have a standing desk. Otherwise, all these days would have been that much harder. Um. Standing is good. Yes. <clears throat> Till then, the production team helped me look at the part of a romantic novel protagonist. I was dressed up to the nines. I must have sat through a few hundred photo shoots and interviews before they told me it was time to see her. But it was worth it. Wow. <laughs> Even for this island, this place is fancy with a capital F. Tell me about it, man. I broke one plate here, and I'll have to pay it for the, off for the rest of my life. I mean, uh, welcome to the Ocean Palace. Allow me to show you to your seat. Two gestured at me to follow him. We'd only taken a few steps when I saw her, and when I did, I couldn't help but crack up. 
you know? I kind of expect you to be dressed up too, given all the shit the crew put me through. <laughs> What's the point? It just get ruined. How would it get ruined? Oh, you'll see. Come on. She reached for my hand and put mine in hers, with a smile on my face. She pulled me along with her towards the door. Well, we stumbled against the table, which knocked a plate onto the floor. It promptly shattered into a million pieces. In case you were watching, Kat, that was two. I knew I should have just been an accountant. She left as she pulled me along with her to the outside. The night air had never tasted so fresh. Each breath for air as he ran along the road made my worries and fears just disappear. Eventually, we ran all the way to the beach. Come on! She tightened her hand and pulled me along with her to the water. And we just a. Uh, she left like a maniac and she cannonballed us into the ocean. My first instinct was to swim back up to the surface, but then Ali put her hands against my face and looked deep into my eyes. She smiled, then kissed me passionately. It was as if time had stopped. A few minutes later, we went back up to the surface. I figure you could use a fun distraction from everything that happened earlier. Was she doing this for me? I never know what to expect with you, you know? And you never will. It was a night to remember. After today's date, I decided to take a stroll around the mansion. The night was clear as could be. A light breeze made it just a bit chilly, but not enough that I needed to put on more. I found myself fixating on the moon, just without thinking. I thought I'd find you here. Why's that? Just a gut feeling and the island-wide surveillance system. You doing okay? Yeah, I'm just thinking. I can't believe the show's almost over. It didn't feel real earlier today. Time sure flies, doesn't it? You've only got the last third date with Yui tomorrow, then the final ceremony on the day after. Speaking of which, how was your date today? Awesome. Probably shouldn't tell the whole truth, but enough of it should be good. It was awesome. I don't know how, but the more time I spent with Ali, the better it gets. Being married to her will make every day an adventure. I like the sound of that. It sure'd be a venture, but the jury's out if, you're, if it's the one you'd walk away from. But I can see she makes you happy. I really, that counts for a lot nowadays. Though you might want to start wearing a body armor if you want if you want to want to stay that way. God, reading. I knew that three days were all you need to figure out if a marriage would last. If this TV gig doesn't work out, maybe we should become a marriage counselor. Hmm. Anyway, I'd love to stay in chat, but I've got to get some more work done tonight to prep for the ending of the show. You know what? I could use some company, and it's not like you were up for any- up to anything. Up to anything. Can't reach your hand out to me. I put my hand in hers on instinct. With her hand in mine, she pulled me with her to the library. Now, you're probably wondering... Why did I bring you here of all places? You like to read? Well, yes, but no. There's no interest for us goons, so here's where we store most of our information. Records of every single run of the show, building and security details, card schedules, and most importantly, salary records. It's hidden in plain sight as regular books. You need to know how to decipher them though. They're pretty useless to the average person. Interesting. And also a little unnecessary. Who's going to read a book? Oh, I knew the state of education was bad. Not this bad. It still doesn't answer why you brought me here. Well, you see, I have this lovely chair and table here that I do so love to work on. And it's truly, truly exhausting for me to get up from this lovely arrangement to have to fetch each book I need to reference. So, you want me to grab your books for you so you could just stay here? I'm so glad you understand. And you know, I'm doing everything I can to keep you alive. 
and it's just a teeny tiny favor. I can help a laugh at her mock pout. Sure, cat. That's the least I can do. Great. All right. To start, I need you to grab me the Princess of Avaranda, 100 easy recipes for a loss of her stone, and dots. I regret everything. This must be the hundredth batch of books I've had to deliver. It's been hours. Seriously, whoever designed this system should be shot. I tried to read a few of the books I was delivering, but like Kat said, they just seemed like regular books. And that's a wrap. Thanks for the help, Totopon. I'll send you a thank you card for when you're off this island or something. At that rate, that was pretty much slave labor. I like to think of it more as unpaid charity work. You got one last date tomorrow. Don't mess it up. How curious. What's the first thing you're going to do when you're out of here? Honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll try to figure out what my life was before. Who knows? That's as good a start as any. Well, I gotta get back to editing. Night, Toravon. See you, cat. Guess I'll head back to my room and call it a night. Thoughts. The alarms were deafening. We planned for every possibility we could, but it wasn't enough. We made it to the ship, but it still wasn't enough. Our one saving grace, the ship, wouldn't start. Someone tampered with it, and there's no time to fix it. Then, that's it, then. I couldn't find the words to say. I love you, Dots. I love you too, Totopan. I wish you could have met anywhere but here. She held me in her arms to the last of her strength. All that's left to do is wait. Goodbye, love. We Okay. Hang on. <clears throat> I will be right back. Package delivered. Save just in case. I will open the package here. And the dog thinks there's someone at the door, but alas, there is not. I had just opened it to get the package. I guess I'll be doing violin stream after <laughs> after we're done with this, which will be exciting. I really do have to um tune my violin though, so come on. Come on out. I also got wrist supports. Which is very, very, very needed. Oh, yeah, that's good. I love a good and rest support. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
Uh... Huh. Well, this isn't the worst place I thought I could wake up yesterday. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> she laughed and pinched my cheek. Well, it's been a blast, Torofan. I've uh, some more cruising around today. I think you got another date on your plate today. Yeah, that's just how the show goes. Sorry. She was gone before I even had a chance to finish. That woman is a force of nature. Forch. <laughs> Well, look who crawled out of an economy class airplane toilet. And good morning to you too, Damien. Torepan, don't mind my... Er... Don't mind him. Damien was just telling me the news. Your ratings are doing really well so far. At this rate, I really think you'll make it out of here. That's great news. I wouldn't celebrate just yet. Just because you've done well till now doesn't mean you won't jump the shark today. Your ratings today need to be higher than they've ever been, or you'll get axed. Axed literally. If I'm around when your number's up, I guess we'll find that out together, won't we? Later. Sorry about him. He could be a little mean sometimes. A murder threat's a little mean. Anyway. You ready for your last date with Yui? It's just this last date, then tomorrow it'll be the final ceremony. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Fantastic. Then we'll start filming right away. Good luck, Torta Fun. You'll need it. Thanks, Kat. I owe you one. It's time for my last date with Yui. I could see Yui from my room's window, walking around the front of the mansion. It like she was looking for something. I practically jumped downstairs and ran outside to see her. Hey there, Torafon. What's the hurry? You look like you're in quite the rush. I just wanted to see you a little earlier. Gosh, that... Gosh, that's really sweet of you. I've been meaning to see you too. Uh, I've just been doing a lot of thinking since you helped me get Bun Bun. Uh, how's the big bee doing? Huh, come to think of it, that's why I came out here. He ran out here in a hurry, and I was trying to catch up. But this already happened a few times, and each time he somewhat ends up back in my room. I sure is fine. I wouldn't be worried. <laughs> I can't just help myself, you know? You're a really sweet person, Yui. I love that about you. <laughs> You're too, Torapon. Do you have time today to hang out? There's something I'd like to do with you. Of course I do. For you. Even if it's a little boring. I'm not sure it can't be that boring if it's with you, you know. Whatever it is, I'm down. Okay, here we go. And so we walked together to the beach. And started fishing. Side by side. Huh, now this is the life. I have to admit, this isn't what I expected. This was by far the best way to pass the time out in the countryside. To be honest, I'm not much for crazy activities like skydiving or shopping trips. Shopping trips are crazy. I'd rather just spend my days quietly and with the person I love, talking from dusk till dawn. Just enjoying each other's company, you know? That's the best. Is, is this okay with you? Of course it is, Yui. Getting the chance to learn more about you, to try the things you like, that's where the real fun is. I'd also much prefer that to doing crazy things all the time too. Though I do think shopping trips aren't really in the same category as skydiving. When, uh, they're when you live deep in the country. Hey, are you up, you up for a little contest? Sure, let's do it. What is it? Want to see if you can catch more fish? Oh boy. You're on. <laughs> Apparently I had fanned the flames of Yui's competitive spirit. For the next few hours, we kept on at it, while we enjoyed each other's conversation and company. Yui was a natural. She was catching fish left and right. Each time she caught one, she would let it back into the ocean, and each time, I wonder what my first one would bite. 
I never ended up catching a single one. Well, that didn't matter. What it did was that we were having a ball. Thanks for indulging me, Torep, huh? Hey, I had a lot of fun too, Yumi. Don't worry about it. You don't have to lie. I know I'm not like the other girls. I grew up with nothing and in shows in how I spent my time and I wear everything. I love you so much, you know? If I had you, I'd give you all the love in my heart every moment of every day. I really would live for love. That's what I've always wanted. But I know I could never give you all the things everyone else could. The money, the acclaim, the excitement. Now I find myself wondering, what if you picked me on the second we leave this island? You realize that I can't give you the life you deserve, and you start to hate me. I don't know what I'd do if it came to that. So, before it comes to that, I want to ask you, would just me be enough? My breath was taken away before I had a chance to say what I wanted to. I saw something I've never seen before. I would never see again. The sky rapidly turned from bright blue to black, as if it were water being drowned in the darkest ink. Then the bright sky and the sun went out like a candle in the wind. The last thing I saw was Yumi screaming as shadowy figures grabbed her from behind. A second later, it was pitch black. I couldn't even see my hands reaching out to try to save her. Then I felt someone grab me from behind. No, not somebody. There must have been several people. They forced me to the ground and cuffed me behind my back. I screamed, but there was no sound. I tried to fight, but there was no way out. I screamed for Yui, for her to run as far as she could. But I heard no response. Then, nothing. I woke up on an operating table, the kind you'd see in a nightmare. Blood splattered on the floor and the walls, the smell of disinfectant and rotting flesh. There was a nearby table littered with metal instruments that couldn't make anybody talk. My first instinct was to get up and get off it as fast as possible. My neck, hands, and legs were cuffed and pinned down in thick metal braces. I tried to first force myself out with all my strength. But the braces didn't so much as budge. Hello? What's going on? Where am I? Yui? You there? All you heard back were echoes of my own screams. Wherever I was, this place must be massive. Hey, Torapan. Kai was holding some kind of helmet with thick wires extruding from the back of it. Don't worry, Yui's doing fine. She's just taking a little nap. Cat, what's going on? You've got to help me. I was just on my date with Yui when everything went dark and these guys fucking kidnapped us and... I know, Toreban. I know. She sighed. You did good, but not good enough. That's pretty much it. Would it make you feel better to hear that you're the best one yet? I don't care. Get me out of here. At this point, there's no point explaining. She placed the helmet on my head carefully. Even if I wanted to stop her from doing so, the brace around my neck made it impossible to maneuver. Please, cat, don't do this. I could hear the hum of a massive generator turning on behind me. She raised her hand, revealing a trigger switch with a single red button. I just want to get out of here. I want to get back to my life, whatever it is. Please. <laughs> Not today, Torapan. She pressed it. The sound of crashing waves, a world without time or color. I'm back. This time. It's as if I'm sitting in an audience, watching myself from afar. The escape had failed. I'd been separated from her and captured. We really never had a chance, did we? I find myself praying that she's safe. If anything happened to her, for a moment... The world exploded with color. Always the hero, aren't you, Torapan? What did you do to her? You should be more worried about yourself. You knew the rules. If you try to escape the island, you die. 
I didn't have to be like this, but you. I'm done talking. Goodbye, Torepon. Oh, well, you look at that. Looks like our little hero's got some life left in him. You know, Torepon, you're in luck. Usually, I just kill you for this, but a new opportunity's just opened up, and I think you'd be the perfect fit. Hey, don't just lie there. Just five more minutes. You're the star of the show. You can't just sleep through it. Watch me. Honk to teach you. Oh, so that's how you want to play? It's on. Ow. Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Ow, uh, did he just hit me? What? Me? Never in a million years. Anyway, what was your name again? Oh, my name's... I can't remember my name. Really now? You've got to be joking. I'm dead serious. I can't remember a thing. Who knows? It might be for the better. Luckily, we've got your name on file, Todapon. My name's Kat. It's nice to meet you. You're the star of our new show, Find Love or Die Trying. Let me get you up to speed. How on earth did I get into this mess? I'm somehow stuck on an island in the middle of nowhere. An insane dating show from hell. From what Kat said, I'm dead meat if I can't finish this show with a fiance or if the ratings aren't high enough. None of the girls on the show know the truth, and if they found out, they'd kill all of us. Why can't I wake up with no memories in a regular hospital like a regular drama protagonist? At least the girls seemed nice. At least quite something. Something tells me she'll be hard to keep up with, and that's not just from losing a race to her in the field. Scarlet's interesting. I've still got no idea if she was trying to read the magazine or the book hiding it. I'll figure that out later. Tara marches to the beat of her own drum. I like that. Violet's cool, but intimidating as hell. I'm sure she is about to cook one of the brothers for dinner. Then there's Yui. She seems like a really sweet girl. Something about her is so familiar. She says she knew me from before. I'll have to ask her about what I was like before as soon as I can. But for now, the show must go on. And that's why Torepon is the perfect soulmate for each of you. I'm sorry, you just drew a bunch of numbers and symbols that don't mean anything. It's like the bullshit math they show on screen in a movie. Ah, uh, you're late to the party, Torepon. Now that we're all together, it's time to explain the rules of the show. Torepon, one of the five lovely women here is your soulmate. You'll get to know three of the girls over the next nine days over three dates with each of them. Then on the tenth day, you'll have to ask one of them to marry you. So I've got ten days to save my life. So without further ado, who do you want to spend time with? Wait, I have to choose already? I haven't even had the chance to really talk with any of them yet. Don't think of it that way. Think of it as who you want to talk to the most right now. Uh... Alright. Well, I guess I like spend two days alone time with. Hold on just a second. I forgot to tell you something pretty important. She pulled me aside. And this should be far enough. So, the girls think you'll be asking any of the five of them for a date. But really, I only want you to be asking three of them. Basically, everybody but Ali and Yui. Why is that? Let's just say, we think we'll be getting higher ratings that way. And uh, you know how important it is to get higher ratings, right? I don't really have a choice, do I? Nope. Glad we're on the same page, Torapan. So without further ado... We walked back to the girls. Who do you want to go on your first date with? <sighs> I really wanted to go out with Ali again. <sighs> Let's pick green. Tara. Alright, we'll make it happen. <sighs> As I walked closer and closer to the games room, I could hear people screaming bloody murder. Help! You're not going anywhere. 
take him. I'm too young to die. I rushed inside as fast as I could. What kind of brother would sacrifice his own blood and flesh to survive? Life is tough, Buttercup. No! I'll save you, bro. Bro. Ugh. Is it the heroes that die first, you know? Bro. Where was I? Oh, right. One down, two to go. Get over here. They were playing a fighting video game. Oh, stop Toriopan. Give me a sec. I gotta do a bit of pest control. Two and three. Kill him first. Dots. Alright, alright. You all lost fair and square. As promised, you guys know what you have to do. And the brothers five grown as they put each put on some kind of futuristic helmet. You're incredible, Tara. You decimated those guys without breaking a sweat. I do make a living doing this, believe it or not. Though lately, it's been a little boring. Why's that? It's just same old, same old, you know? Though I do have something new in store if you're down. I'm down. For anything. Good. I'm just gonna need you to put on this non-suspicious at all headset. Tara picked up a helmet from the couch and placed it on my head. This won't hurt a bit, don't worry. Wait, why would it- It was like lightning ran through my head. And I'm in some kind of forest? Whoa, Torapon, you're here too. But where are we? I wanna go home. No, stop whining. You're just in a video game. Come on, this isn't the first time you've seen this happen in fiction. That kind of thing exists now? And it's been around for at least a million years by now. Get with the times. Uh, last I checked, I'd never heard of anything like this. Alright, alright. So maybe it was some kind of weird device I'd never seen before. Can you blame me for wanting to try messing with it? Wait, there's no way this could be a game. It looks too real. I had to admit, I had my doubts too. Everything looked as if it were really there. Hey, if you want proof, just try walking outside of the forest. Two took a few step put to the a few cautious steps forward, and some more. Oof. He's back to against some kind of invisible wall. There's some kind of invisible wall here. Well, it is a video game, huh? Actually, that's the wall of the game's room. I thought this console would be like a deep dive sort of virtual reality video game too. But it seems like everything we do here is replicated in the real world. Walk too many steps in a certain way and smack. Doesn't that make this kind of useless? I guess if you're allergic to fun. The sound of the intercom played through the forest. Hey, can you guys hear me? Cat, we can hear you. What's up? You guys need to walk out of the game right now. If you're in the game too long, we'll fry your brain. What? How? Why? Uh, long story short, it's an experimental how to say game console that we had in storage. No idea how Terra found it though. This show is always trying to find new ways to kill me, isn't it? How much time do we have? Before it fries your brain? No, I don't know. Maybe a few minutes? Maybe several hours? But it'll slowly sap your insanity the longer you're there. Just log out already! We don't know how. The brothers five and I looked around frantically, but there wasn't any way to log us out. Oh, I don't think you guys can see the logout menu. I think it's an admin only kind of thing. If you can see it, Tara, then come on, log us out already. She cackled like a B-movie maniac. Something tells me that she didn't have much sanity to sap in the first place. Why would it be such a shame to leave so soon? Let's play a game first. It just so happens that as an admin, I can change all of your avatars at will. Check this out. Bam! Question mark. I looked down to my hands, which had now become little, tiny little white wings. I looked at my face and... I have a beak? I became a bird? Oh god, what did you do to us? We're pigeons! Let me out! We'll never be accountants now. We're gonna die here. I think I've got a new fetish. 
<laughs> the pigeons fly ran around frantically, like chickens with their heads cut off. I can't believe them. I look up to Tara, who will seem like a giant compared to us now. Dog, what the fuck, dude? Chill. Now I'm sure you're wondering why I've turned you all to birds. I guess you could say that. Dog, shut the fuck up. Like, seriously, shut the fuck up. There's nothing there. Fucking hell, dude. It's funny, Torebon. Earlier you told me that this whole show was like a dating sim, except that you were in the driving seat. Now the shoe's on the other foot. She got gold again like a wicked witch. Welcome to Pigeon Dating Sim Battle Royale. Oh, had a full boyfriend, Battle Royale? Okay. You'll have to seduce me if you want to get out of here. With each day that passes, I fear more for humanity's future. And you wanted us to be pigeons for this? I mean, yeah. The ratio of human to pigeon visual novels is totally out of whack, man. I think we should balance that out. I'm trapped in a killer virtual reality game. I love that this is referencing Hotful Boyfriend, and we played that earlier in Subathon. I am also trapped on a killer dating show. To make matters worse, I am also trapped in the body of a pigeon. Now, I need to seduce a woman with my avian charm. You can imagine the kind of stress I'm under. Now, seduce me. One by one, the pigeons five fired pickup line after pickup line at Terra, but to no avail. Come on, come on, move those wings like you mean it. I tried my hand out a few too, but it was clear they had no effect. I can't imagine that being a pigeon helped too with that in any way. Hmm, let's try one more. How about... <laughs> Damn girl, you're a hoot. Damn girl, you're more addicting than quack. Damn girl, you're looking so... Fly. All of these are bad. All of these are bad. I like this one most. With my will to live at any all time low, I. Uh, question mark. The game went dark. A moment later, we we're back in the games room. What? We're back, thank God. We, I've got fingers. I can write. I can fill out a balance sheet. Aw, just when it was getting good. Wait, is something burning? The game console had smoke coming out of it. Guess it's toast. What happened? My mind's a little foggy. You okay, Tara? I'm gonna take a nap. She jumped on the couch and within seconds was fast asleep. Their brothers five and I decided it would be best to never talk about this again. Understand, we'll have a nice day. I'm gonna go back to sitting. How long have I been at this? Oh, that's the ultimate question. Hang on. Mm. Oh, I honestly didn't even get your... Uh... Message. I guess my iPad's malfunctioning again. As far as being updated with chat. Goddamn. And I'll make sure that it's still working. Okay, no. My iPad's still close that open that okay there we go okay it was only four minutes that's fine though um hi and bye catman i guess I'm not 
used to having a rift support for the mouse, so it feels weird. I'm trying to get used to it. checking things because yeah we've been at this for a little while okay um meow 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 so i guess i've been at this for two or three hours okay so we're decently through i stumbled back to my room and plopped onto my bed he'd be coming at this hour i shoveled over in a haze hey the terry pond sorry to bother you this late that's all right what's up cat Alright, I'm just gonna make myself really comfortable. Okay, so a lot of this is repeating. I'm just gonna kind of glance through some of this. Except that I'm surprised that anyone thought it was a good one. Can I really be picky with my life's on the line? Guess not. That said, I'm hoping we could sprinkle a little more drama into this show. Our aunt's love triangle are less pigeons. <sighs> Alright, sounds good to me. Expect more resistance, blah 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 blah. Good. She was gone before I had a chance to finish. Guess it's time to call it a night. The sound of waves. Hey, you're calling me, it's you. I love you, Toradapan. I always will. I always love you too. My mouth moves on its own. You know, there's so many other women on the show. It can never be you. I told her tight and kissed her. You promise? I promise. Promises are unbreakable, you know? That's what you told me. I meant every word I said. She smiled at me. Better have. Your face is becoming clearer to me with every day that closes by. I know you're here with me, but which one are you? It sounds like Ali, but... I'm not allowed to date Ali again. We kicked off our morning with a delicious meal made by Violet. So tell us more about your dream, Tara. I don't really remember much, but I was in a video game and I was getting hit on by a lot of pigeons. Uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? What if it was a sign? I'm sorry, but it was a dream. Nothing more. I don't see how. Hallie had a devilish grin on her face. I think it is a sign, Tara. It's a sign that you should try making video games. Roll needs more pigeon dating sims. You're right. There's no time to waste. Tara ran off. Oh my, are you certain that was a good idea to spur on her? Of course. Seriously, what's the worst that could happen? I felt a chin run down my spine. <clears throat> there you are, Torapan. I've been looking for you. It's time to decide who your second soulmate- Who's your second soulmate candidate? Kind of moved in closer to Whisper. I like you really have a choice though. So without further ado, Torpon, who's the unlucky girl? Scarlet or Violet? Uh... I guess Scarlet. Like I was thinking about Scarlet, so I'm just like, you know what, fuck it, let's stick with Scarlet. No point to second guess. Scarlet. All right, we'll make it happen. Hmm, let's have Tortapon start in the mansion. Ooh, I know where to bring Scarlet. Give us a minute to set up the scene, then go find her. Interesting. <sighs> it didn't take long to find Scarlet. She found me first. She busted in through my door, and it was trying to catch her breath as she slammed it shut behind her. Torepon, thank god you're okay, oh my god. What's going on, Scarlet? Long story short, I experienced, experimented with some of the local fauna on the island earlier. There was really nothing like it. It's really incredible, and oh, I messed up my intro with you earlier, and... Whoa, slow down. 
I made a new chemical compound that causes amnesia. It's amazing. Wow, that's not something you hear every day. Uh, the cool thing is, applying just the right amount to a person can make them forget specific things. Who they are, how to write, anything. The bad thing is... Something slammed into the door outside. I almost jumped up from the surprise. Give me brains and bananas. Applying too much turns people to rapid mold. Key zombies, hell bent on any human brains. And bananas. Dear God, not the bananas. The door slammed again. It sounded like it was about to be knocked down. We need to get out of here and fast. Or busted through the door and blocked our only exit. Give me brains and bananas. I'll get him out of the way. I'll give you time to run. I got a better idea. Scarlet blasted forward with a white powder, covering his face entirely. He flailed wildly for a few seconds, then fell to the ground, unconscious. What was that? Uh, let's just say... Or sing all the bananas he wants now. And we'll leave it at that. Follow me. We ran out of the mansion as fast as we could. How did this even happen? Oh, I was afraid you'd ask that. I heard from Tara that you lost your memories, and I I wanted to see if I could help you get them back. So I uh may have experimented on their brothers five to see if I could erase their memories and bring them back. I must have done the numbers wrong. I added way too much. I didn't realize their brains were so empty in the first place. In a weird way. That's really sweet, Scarlet. Thanks. Crazy, but still. Thanks. Crazy? I was crazy, but... I'll fix this. I swear. I just need time to make an antidote. Wait. Okay, I've been on this for... Two hours and 22 minutes. I just wanted to like, wait, I started recording. I check how long the recording files were. Okay, anyways. Selena said. Luckily, I left my tools and supplies pretty near here. We can stay there till we've got an antidote. Sounds like a plan. Lead the way. Wait, where are the other girls? Do you think they're still inside? They're actually trapped inside the library right now. Oh shit. I gotta go back and save them. Um, I don't know how to say this, but I accidentally turned them to zombies too. <laughs> but they were a little bit much, so I locked them in the library. <laughs> we're doomed, aren't we? Scarlet and I passed the time talking about the craziness that was going on and coming up with a plan to save everybody. She seemed to be quite frazzled despite seeming so put together but i could tell she really did care about the infected not enough to prevent this from happening in the first place but enough i watched her build a machine that she insists can turn them to back to normal but looking at it i can't help but be a little skeptical all right it's showtime you really think this will work you bet i made it after all it looks like the coast is clear here. We walked to the outside of the library undetected, but we definitely weren't alone in here. Alright, it's time to save our friends. Brains. They're coming right at us. Nothing to worry about. This is payback for you guys acting your introductions. I'm sorry, what? Oh, uh, nothing. You sure that's on to cure them? Of course, what does it look like I'm doing? Something told me Scarlet was enjoying this a little too much. Uh, what the hell? I take my eyes off the cameras for one second, and there's zombies in the house. Not for much longer, I promise. We spent the rest of the day administering the antidote to each person. Each of them knocked out as soon as he delivered the cure. I see. Not quite the first date you expected, huh? You can say that again. It was definitely your first, though. 
Kat told me to make the date exciting. I had to get your heart racing. I think I did a pretty good job at that. I guess that's technically true. But aren't there easier ways? Something tells me this woman is full of more surprises. Oh boy, oh boy, oh gee. Uh, yeah, tap on the shoulder. Hey, the turtle bone got a minute. Let's just make sure Tara and Scarlet see me come in here. Fan some flames. Sorry, what? Yeah, okay. Well, let's see. First, the good news. Thanks for playing. We've gotten enough ratings to avoid early cannon. People loved it when you and Tara were the main ship, but loved you more. Yep. Glad you got to live another day for now, at least. Between the two, do I have a favorite? <laughs> hmm. I'll go with Tara, because Tara didn't turn them into zombies. Say what you will about her. It's always exciting to be around her. I had a feeling you'd say that, and you're right to say that. Well, let's see where things go with her. Something else you get a chance to hang out again with her soon. Anyway, that's it for today. Keep it up, and who knows? You might just be the first one to make it out of here. Night door upon. Good night, cat. She left my room, closing the door behind her. Guess it's time to turn in for the night. Thoughts. Sometimes the most precious moments are the most mundane. It's just the two of us spending the evening together in the games room. I'm reading a book, and at the same time, watching her rage against an opponent in a fighting game. It's fun to watch her savor every victory, or explode with profanity when she loses. Life is good. It's a time like these where you wish life could always be this simple. Sometimes in those moments, people wish for more excitement, for fame, for future, fortune, for anything but the ordinary. The only one is the ordinary with you. Fuck you! I love this woman so much. No oh boy. Anyone else wake up with the world's worst headache? Tell me about it. What did we even do yesterday? Honestly, I can't remember. But I did have a dream that we were being chased by someone. Oh really? And who was that? I think it was... Scarlet. What are the odds of that? I think I dreamed the same thing. As did I. Huey locked us- She locked us in the library and then shot us to pieces. Whoa, that's the same dream I had. What, what do you think made you all dream up that? Either way, it was just a dream. <laughs> you would use me and glare. It's super effective. Right now, there's no point in getting upset at someone at what they did in a dream. Hmm, you're right, Violet. And yet... <laughs> I seem to remember you being there too, Tortapon. Oh man, how am I going to talk my way out of this one? Some way or another, Scarlet and I managed to convince everybody it was a crazy coincidence. At least I think we did. Violet was skeptical. Naturally, she had every right to be. Everything she dreamed really did happen. Let's hope this wasn't the kind of dream that comes back again. <clears throat> I found Kat in the same place she found me yesterday. Morning, Todepon. It's time to decide who you're last to soulmate candidate. Oh man, I'm gonna make a killing for today's bet with four. The poor guy. He doesn't know you've been rigging the show. What he doesn't know can't hurt him. Anyway. After you made your choice, it's just between the three soulmate candidates from here on out. Wait, wait just a second, what does- I thought somebody would ask, so let me explain. If you don't get chosen, we'll make the rest of the show a tropical getaway for you. You'll still be able to see the other girls and live at the mansion, so really it's no big deal. Tara did a little fist bump. So without further ado, Tordaton, who's the last unlucky girl? Oh, okay. So I get all three of them this set. Okay, okay. So does that mean I only get two dates to eat the them? Or no? Because it's nine days this time. Yeah. So it's still three dates with all of them. Okay. Violet. Alright, we'll make it happen. Give us a minute to set up the scene, then go find her. Okay. I, I get what's going on.
And I just got outside of the mansion to find Violet. When a white limousine drove up and stopped in front of me. One stepped out of the driver's seat and walked towards me. Torepon, good day. Please do enter. What's with the formal talk? Please just get in the car, Torepon. You already heard what she did to my bro. Question mark. He opened the passenger door and ushered me inside. I shrugged and went inside. What's the worst that could happen on a death game dating show? Hmm. He sat in silence as one drove for me to what looked like some sort of fancy restaurant, then escorted me inside. Bonjour, sir. I just my new butler brought you here safely. Yeah, he did. What's going on, Violet? I thought I would give you a chance to have some alone time with the star of the show, is all. I'm told this is what people do when they are courting. Have you never been on a date before? Uh, of course I have, and I've read all the manuals on the subject. I'll have you know, I've said every book of the lusty new Asian May series, and I know them all by heart. Impressed, I'm sure. Sure. That's, yeah, a word for it. Pardon my interruption, I brought your food. Please be seated and honored, guests. Please be seated, honored, guests. Mm-hmm. Well, and I sat at our table in the center of the palace, as one placed each dish onto the table one by one. He seemed to linger over the meatballs as he brought them over. Thank you, one. Please, don't hold yourself back. Don't think I will. This food looks incredible. and probably worth more than my life. You're right on both counts, Torepan. I'm ecstatic you like this assortment. I planned it myself. You're a chef? You could say that. What do you mean? Anyway, tell me more about yourself, Torepan. There's not much to say. Amnesia is a hell of a dog. Drug. Well, uh, you do not remember your past? Yeah, bummer, right? Then rest assured, I will find the finest scientist in all the land to help you recover your memory when this is over. That, that would be great. Thanks, Violet. Think nothing of it. It's the duty of those who th more to give back, no? Though, so, have you ever thought, perchance, that this is actually a blessing in disguise? Oh, what do you mean? Many of us would be happier not knowing what drags us down. That may be true, but still, I need to know. You sound just like the reference examples in the romance manuals. Consider me impressed. You know, those manuals are just regular old fiction novels, right? <laughs> You're quite funny, Torepan. Not a real trait to have. I like that. Thoughts. Anyway, you haven't told me about yourself, Violet. Who are you? What do you do for fun? I'd like to know. Being the scion of uh, Valentine's does not leave much time for fun, I'm afraid. Even on this show, I spend most of my waking hours managing the Valentine's restaurant business. Is. <laughs> but I suppose if I have a spell of time, I enjoy baking. I don't get it. Why are you embarrassed by liking baking? Everyone has a hobby. Baking is something of a servant's hobby, according to my parents. When they found out I was enjoying that, well, they made sure to stop me from ever doing it again with all the restaurant work. It's a bit ironic, isn't it? You know what? I don't know of what, but what do you mean? Who cares what your parents think? Here, on this island a million miles out, they can't stop you. How about we find some time together to bake up for lost time? She laughed like a child. I would be... That'd be wonderful, Torepan. I'll make sure- I'll make some time on my calendar for you. We spent the next few hours enjoying the finest meal that money could buy. Each course was better than the last, just like each chapter of the lusty news Asian made, according to Violet. Something tells me that the same applies to every moment I'll share together with Violet. Short walk. Cat. What's up? No time to waste. I know Tara was your favorite till now, but maybe Violet has shaken things up a bit. 
Who's number one now? I'm sorry, I do like Violet the most now. How have I known her for the last time? I think I like Violet more. I don't know as much as I'd like about Violet just yet, but I know more than I think that I just want to keep learning more about her. I can't wait to see her again. You really do change your mind like the wind, huh? Doesn't matter to me though. I'm your producer, not your life coach. Anyways, I got good news that you might be interested in. What's that? My plan was a success. Having three soulmate candidates has worked magic for our ratings. Which, of course, means the show will go on. That's awesome, so I'm safe now. Just for now, yeah, ratings. Time for phase two. Over the next three days, you'll go on a second date with each of the girls you've already dated. Just imagine how much higher the rate our ratings would be if our viewers got to see even more of their favorites. Imagine the sweet had revenue rolling in. Mmm, yes, tasty. Did you manage to kiss someone in game while I was dying somewhere else XD? Uh, yes, actually, lots of kissing has happened. Um, I guess I could catch you up to speed what's happened, because we're about halfway through the game, and you'll probably be a little lost if I don't. Um, so we didn't get to any endings yet. Like I said, we're only halfway through the game. But... So at first we got to date up two girls. Um, the girl that I liked the most out of the two, we actually kissed her several times, which was delightful and really cute. Um, the second girl only kissed us on the cheek and that was as far as that went. But on our last date with the second girl, we both got taken away. I did not say I've played this game before. I've never played this game before. I played lots of... They, like, I played Hotful Boyfriend earlier. Like, I've played dating games before. But not this one in particular. But, um, after our last date with the second girl... So, before we got to, like, pick who was the one for real for real. Because it is a dating show sort of thing. Um, we got scooped away... And, yeah, I got a good ending somewhere else. Yeah. Um, actually, funnily, one of the characters in this game made a reference to the game that I got a good ending in. <laughs> so that was kind of funny. But anyways, it got taken away before the final day where we got to pick the girl, the girl. And um, as far as I can understand... Everyone's memories were wiped. And then we got sent back to the beginning of the show, basically. And now, instead of dating just two girls, we're going to be dating the other three. And we're not allowed to date the other two that we've dated before. Yeah. <laughs> so, we just finished having our first date with the third girl. And yeah, we'll see what happens unfair yeah like so far the one that was like the one that was my favorite between the first two is still my top favorite out of all of them so yeah There were kisses on the lips, just not with the second girl. So with the second girl, there was just the one cheek kiss. With the other girl, on our second date, she kissed us on the lips. First as a whole, like, oh, that'll send a shock to my um, dad at home. And then it's like, and then this one's for you. So two kisses are from that day. But then in the morning when we were with all the other girls just hanging out at the beach, she kissed us in front of them. But yeah, memories got wiped out so the character doesn't remember, unfortunately. It's very sad. So I'm really wondering what's going to happen after these um, three more days. Well, three, two more dates with each three girls so like six more days yeah very curious what's gonna happen um 
Go to check for a second. Sound good to you? Sounds like a plan to me. Good, that's what I like to hear. Tomorrow morning I'll be asking who you want to have your first second date with. Put some thought into that. Sometimes the order of content is just as important as the content itself for ratings. Will do. Thanks, Kat. I will hydrate. Yes, thank you. Thank you for the headbats. I actually finished my beverage, so I will go get a new one. I'll be right back. Meow, 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 meow. I'm back with Bev Wage. And I'm gonna bug Hifumichi to join us. <clears throat> Anyways, um, night. I gave to her goodbye as she walked away from the mansion. Guess it's time to turn in for the night. Borrowed a boat and went for a cruise around the island. I love the way the wind feels. Why is that? Feels like freedom. Can't get enough of it. No cameras, no people, nothing to stop me from. She pulled me close and kissed me on the lips. For a moment, time stopped and we were the only two people that existed. Doing what I want. I smiled. I'm pretty sure we don't need to be all the way out here just for a kiss. I guess you're right. After all, it's hotter if people are watching. Okay, this is definitely um, Allie. So this is the girl that I like. Because this is the way she was talking before in all our dates. Oh yeah, one of my other guesses is that like this just keeps happening that we get yoinked and memories wiped. So we left together as we cruised along till the sun went down. The world was ours. The sound of waves grows louder and louder, threatening to pull me back into reality. Well I know you before I'm taken under. I'm pretty sure that's Allie. <laughs> Then you set the meat at around 300 degrees for 40 minutes. Mm-hmm. Okay, got it. Tara furiously you scribble down notes. Wait a minute. Couldn't I just cook it for 600 degrees for 20 minutes? That's not quite how this works, I'm afraid. But the math checks out. What's going on? Oh, good morning, Torapan. How do you do? I'm teaching Tara the pa- Proper way to prepare a pot roast. So far, I'd say it's going pretty well. Tara will be the one to prepare lunch today, instead of me. Tara turned one of the dials on the stove as far as it would go to the right. And the student has surpassed the master. Cat down. Hey, hey, sir. Sir, cat. Oh. Down, please, sir. Down. <clears throat> One second thought. Perhaps I'll prepare an alternate course. One moment, please. Oh ye of, oh ye of little faith. Time for the moment of truth. Lunch is served. <laughs> That's. Tara was nervously clasping her hands tight. Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! It's delicious! I did it, oh my gosh. Tara did a little dance in celebration and gave Violet a high five. Should I become a flood, flood flava? Mm -hmm. Should I become a food vlogger? I'm a cooking savant. This talent shouldn't be wasted. Psst. Hey Violet. 
What is it, Torapon? Is this what you cooked, or is this what Taro cooked? Violet smiled and winked at me. I don't know what you're talking about. She sipped on her soup contently. I can't help but smile back at her. Damn, this is the best meal I've ever had. Granted, my memory only goes back about four days, but still, it counts for something. So true. Morning, Toriapon. Congrats, you made it to the fourth day. And you've become the first person to have not one, not two, but three soulmate candidates. Who would have thought? Granted, soulmate candidates don't really exist, but hey, we'll edit that part out. You should be really, really proud of yourself. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. I'll leave that to you to guess. Anyway, between your three <coughs> lucky romantic interests, who do you want to spend today with? I honestly want to spend it again with Violet, who is the person we dated last out of the three. Nice. I kind of had a feeling you would. I think Violet's somewhere around the mansion. Lead the way. I found Violet taking a walk outside the mansion. Hey, Violet. What's up? Hello there, Tower Upon. I just thought I'd take a nice afternoon walk. This place truly does bring back memories of home. You lived on your own personal island? Nothing quite that bourgeoisie. Anyway, I've got a surprise for you. Wanna see? For me? Hi. I motion for her to follow me into the mansion. I asked Kat to pull a few of the strings and... Well... We have everything we need to bake whatever we want now. Oh my. Violet looked at me with childlike wonder in her eyes. Let's get right into it then, why don't we? She was practically shaking with excitement. Her smile and laughter was positively infectious. We decided to make a chocolate cake. It was her favorite flavor, and I don't remember mine. That said, I also don't remember a thing about how to make cakes. But with Violet, that wasn't a problem. She got me up to speed with a soft and steady hand, and before long, we had the cake in the oven, baking away. I wish it took longer to make. Seeing Violet do what she loved most was a treat. When she pulled the cake out of the oven, she looked like a kid on Christmas Day. Now, just for the finishing touches, a little more here, a little more there. She was in her own world, humming away as she danced around the cake, decorating it as she went along. I couldn't help but smile and watch her in adoration. She has pure happiness right now. I wish I could take this moment and just freeze it in time for safekeeping. Well, lucky for you, MC. This is a CG. I can't wait to share this with the others. But first, Torepon, would you mind tasting it? Testing it? You don't have to ask, believe me. I'm first in line to try it out. Thank you. I just... I'm not sure if what I make is worth eating or not. Why is that? My family's caretaker, Shirley, was the one who taught me to bake. Besides my sister, Shirley was the only one who ever bothered to try what I made. Sometimes, I worry they told me it's delicious just to make me feel better. I took a little top of the cake with my finger and link it off. It's delicious, Violet. You better believe it. Would you want to help me a little longer? I'm having far too much fun to just stop now. I just started making some cookies. And I find I quite enjoy your company and help, Torapon. I'd love to. Let me know how I can help. Violet passed me a bowl full of cookie dough, then a tray. All you need to do is make little cookie-shaped pieces out of this dough, then put them on the tray. Do try to put, do try not to put any of them too close together on the tray. I'll become something of a mutant cookie in the oven. Got it. No mutant cookies here. I ripped off a piece of dough from the bowl, then rolled it into the size and shape of a cookie. Perfect. You're natural. Thanks, Violet. I... Wow. In the time it took me to make one, Violet had made six perfect cookies. She moved with mechanical efficiency as she needed balls of dough into perfectly shaped cookies. Wow, I thought you were great before, but you're really incredible. How long have you been doing this? Perhaps... Since I was about, say, five to this day, it remains the only thing I could best my sister at. 
I finished making another cookie as Violet finished three more. She held up one of the cookies and raised it to her face. You got in quite skilled at this sort of fun. I just wanted to say again, thank you for arranging this. I'm on top of the world right now. It was my pleasure, Violet. Gosh, she's adorable when she smiles. For a few seconds, we kept working on the cookies in amul amiable silence, our eyes locked on each other's. You said you had a sister? Why, yes indeed. Viola Valentine. First twins in the family. She... Oh, I'm out of room on my tray. She flashed a devious smile in my direction, right before she lightly threw a dough ball at my face. What's with that cheeky... Before I could react, it splattered against and stuck to my face. She burst into childlike laughter. A nice catch, Torepan. Perhaps you might try using your hands next time? Oh, it's on. I couldn't stop myself from smiling as I grabbed some ammo from my own cookie tray and threw them at her. She dodged them with ease and laughed. It's quite humorous how an old caretaker managed to do what you're struggling to do now. I erupted her gloating with another dough ball flow. Throw. This time, I made a satisfying splat against to her left cheek. Strike! Oh, you are so going down. Her smile turned devilish as she grabbed another dough ball. Oh shit. I have only a second before her next volley. I... Uh, go on the defensive. I ducked behind the kitchen counter. An instant later, a dough ball flew over my head. Ha! Nice! While I was gloating, Violet threw a dough ball that splatted against my forehead. Ah! And then another landed right next to it. Ah, mercy! And then another. I crumbled to the floor in defeat. I declare this. My mission in absolute confidence. She laughed as she pointed at the dough on my face. I took the opportunity to interrupt her speech with another dough ball. It spotted right against her cheek. Oh, you're even more dead now. Forget surviving this crazy TV show. I don't know if I'm surviving the next five minutes. It was uh, like looking a tiger dead in the eye. Violet reloaded her ammo and was winding up for another throw. It was all I could do to reach for one more ball and scream in defiance. Bring it on. Thoughts. Some say you can still hear my screams in that kitchen to this day. We finished cleaning up after an impromptu food fight and brought the desserts that survived the Great War to the porch. <laughs> Amazing. Oops. Her smile and laugh were infectious. Pardon me, but I guess we can rule out you being a baseball player before you had come to this island. <laughs> she put her hand tenderly against my face as she wiped off some remaining dough. He locked eyes yet again. Her eyes were practically magnetic. Things are flying along, Torepon. My... I suppose it's been too long since I've had that much fun. So, thank you for indulging my little whim. It was a lot of fun for me too, Violet. Don't mention it. Besides, I think I got a few good hits in to make it worth it. I'm worried for you. It appears your amnesia is getting even worse. Violet laughed as she picked off some more crumbs off my face and licked them off her finger. Her eyes seemed to linger on mine. I do hope we can spend more time together soon. I quite liked this. I'd like that too, Violet. Had a lot of fun with you too. You're full of surprises, you know? Just wait and see. There's more where that came from. We spent the rest of the day talking and eating little desserts together on the porch. The Violet seemed quite distant when I first met her. I learned that the real Violet was nothing like that at all, and full of surprises. She could be unexpectedly shy one moment, the mischievous as a child another. One thing's for sure. Being around her makes my heart skip a beat, and the time fly. Before I realized how much time had passed, it was already pitch black outside. Meow. I was feeling a bit restless after day's date. Okay, so this is the same. Looks like someone had the same idea I did. Kev was relaxing on the sofa with a bottle of red wine in hand. Hey there, Torapon. Care for a glass or five? Oh, boy. 
Um. Fuck it, sure. Sure, I'd love a glass. Now that's what I'm talking about. She handed me a glass and poured until it was full. Whoa, maybe a little too much. What's life without a few risks? Long. Much like your remaining lifespan. Kat filled her glass to the brim and downed it in one go. She laughed and lightly jabbed me. I felt like I was finally getting to see her real smile. Hang on. Okay, seems like I got the wrong type of cable that I need for my camera. I'll have to look into that after. After I'm done with this. So I guess uh, the violin and crochet streams will be IOUs. Unless a lot more time gets added to the timer. Um, anyways. Kat started chugging down the bottle. Uh... Huh... You okay? I work on a TV show that kills innocent people for shits and giggles. How okay do you think I could be? You... Might want to stop drinking that. You're more of a buzzkill than Damien. And I don't even know how that's possible. He's killed people with buzz saws. Sorry, Tarapan. I didn't mean that. It's okay, Kat. No worries. Now that you mention it, how do you end up working here anyway? No, well, you know, the whole career fair down the block. She lay down on the sofa. If you're here for the daily interview where I ask you about your day, I already have enough footage for today. As strange as it might sound, Kat, I'm here because I'm worried about you. Woman, indeed. Hello, Hifumichu. Took you long enough to get your butt in here. I tease. But took you long enough. <laughs> Just kidding. Um. Now, why is that? People who chug a whole bottle of wine in one night usually aren't in the best place. You were in the bathroom. Shameful. Just kidding. Worry about yourself, Tortapon. If you knew some of the things I'd done to survive, you wouldn't be trying to comfort me. Yeah, a whole bottle. I don't blame her, though. I'll be honest, I don't blame her. Yes, I named the MC Tortapon. I, I just see our son just right there, sitting on my desk, looking so innocently. And I needed a name. I'm just like, yeah, that's the one. So yes, we are named after Tortapon. I knew you would notice immediately. The little man's, yes. He's off here dating girls. He's grown up so fast. <laughs> From what it sounds like, no one really has any choice. You just focus on being a ratings magnet on your dates. I'll be fine. <laughs> this is why we are Tortapon's parents. Because we think the same. Yes. Oh man, something that I've been thinking, Kifumichu, is that whenever I'm free from Subathon, we should definitely go to the arcade, because I want to go to round one again. He is just a little guy, yes. The littlest guy ever. <laughs> Thanks, Tortapon. <laughs> Gameu, yes. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone. Good night, cat. Don't stay up too late. Great, the walking corpse is giving me advice on how to live now. Do I really look that bad right now? Good night, cat. I hurried along. Now hold on, just date. <laughs> if only I could escape this island as easily as I could from a very, very drunk cat. Wait a minute. If cat's drunk, then who's making sure today's episode is good? 
thoughts. Something tells me I'm not going to sleep very well tonight. More dots. The two of us were lying down on a grassy field, watching the world pass us by. Where would you want to go when we're out of here? The countryside. Seems like it'd be the only place nowadays you can get some peace and quiet. Okay. <clears throat> so. We are just a little guy that I have named Tordopan. And at the beginning of this, we are halfway through, I must disclose. Um, we were on a plane, had no memories, you know, the whole normal MC shebang. And we are on a dating show called Find Love or Die Trying. Because if we don't get the girl that we ask out on the last day, to say yes, we die. But the girls don't know that. And we were not allowed to tell them. Because then they'll just kill you. And you can't escape this island either because then they'll kill you. But since the girls don't know about um, Torapon's life being on the line, they just know the name of the show being as just Find Love and for the first set, we were to date two girls as soulmate candidates. I chose Allie and Yui. I still really like Allie the most out of everyone. Um, they're all good girls, but Allie's my favorite. And we were given three dates for each girl and to, for Allie and Yui. So, I was doing a whole back and forth, Allie, then Yui, Allie, then Yui. And on my last date with Yui, we got snatched and everything went black. Then we were all of a sudden in a room with contraptions. And then before we knew it, we were back on the plane. Not remembering anything. And we were going to be in a dating show game called Find Love or Die Trying. And then, after we met the girls, yeah, it looped. After we met the girls, uh, Kat took us aside and was like, you're not allowed to date Ali or Yubi. And now we have three soulmate candidates. So we get to date the rest of the girls. And same thing, three dates for each one. So, I've already gone on dates with the rest of them at least once, and this was my second date with Violet in particular. So yeah, that's where we are now. Congratulations. Um... Yeah. That does sound nice. Why would you come with me? I know it's not for everybody, but it's missing a lot of the... You don't even have to ask love. Of course I'm coming with you. We're a team, right? We're a team. She moved closer. I held her tight in my arms. Mom would have loved you. I wish you'd had a chance to meet her. I know. I'll make sure a kid gets a chance to meet theirs, though. Her face turned bright red. What? Question mark. Say that after we're actually engaged. Let's get how embarrassed she gets. You mean it? Every word. You're sweet. I'm as sweet as you. I think all of these are like past dates with the other girls. Because the last one definitely was Allie. Like the last dream that we had. I think this one was Yui. Hmm. <laughs> yes, women. So Allie is the yellow one with the adorable fit. And then Yui is the one next to her. Violet's in the middle. Tara is the green one. And then Scarlet is the other one. Yep. <clears throat> I walked down to the kitchen where the girls were having breakfast. So how was the date? Yeah, Ali is really cute. Kagaman Rin looking. I know, but like, listen. Yeah, tell us. Tara was furiously scribbling down notes with her title war plans and bolts. It was really quite nice. 
We actually made this cake and the cookies yesterday together. Tora, Pon, and I. I I hope you all enjoy it. <laughs> They're amazing, Violet. Thanks for making it for us. Oh, you know what? Um, so Tara here, she's obviously a gamer girl. And our first date with her, um, we ended up in a VR world. And she turned us into a pigeon. So, uh, had a full boyfriend references. Lots of them on that first date. And then Scarlet turned everyone into zombies. She fixed it, but she turned everyone into zombies. Yeah. Um, so between these three, Violet's my favorite. Um... <laughs> Um, thanks so much. They're so delicious. Tara scribbled, War of Attrition is likely not an option. <laughs> what are you writing there, Tara? Nothing. So how come there's cookie batter everywhere? No matter where I look, I can see batter on every surface of the kitchen. It wasn't just the batter. Violet and I had knocked over quite a few things in our firefight. Uh, that's... You sure it was just baking together? Oh, Aw, oh, I thought it was more than that. I traded as if I was heartbroken. I gotta hand it to you, Violet. I didn't think you had it in you. Hubba bubba. Wait, no, nothing like that happened. <laughs> Allie and I laughed and made finger guns at each other. See, this is why I like Allie the most. <laughs> I don't get it. That's because you're a good person, Yui. Uh, I think what Allie's trying to say that Violet went to a pun. <laughs> Allie stuffed a cookie into Scarlet's mouth before she could finish her sentence. <laughs> the way Allie just kneeled across the screen. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Wow, these cookies are pretty useful. You gotta teach me how to make these sometime, Violet. It would be my pleasure, Ali. Oh, teach me too. Why should Tortapon have all the good stuff? Uh, we spent the rest of the morning fooling around in the kitchen. That was funny. Ugh. Good morning, Kat. I've been looking for you. Ugh, not so loud, please. My head's killing me from all that wine last night. I wonder why. I saw it at our broadcast after that, which didn't help. Somehow this scene feels familiar. This scene feels familiar. Because it's happened before. I'm sorry, Tordapon. This happened last week, too. Something tells me that my chance of surviving goes down for every open bottle of alcohol on this island. Maybe I should spend today reenacting Prohibition instead of going on a date. You don't know how Prohibition ended, right? Anyway, back to the brass track. Tax. Yesterday's second date with Violet went really well. Let's keep striking the Iron Molotar out. Which soulmate candidate will be going on a second date with today? Well, let's get Scarlet out of the way. Scarlet. Huh. If making zombies doesn't count as a red flag, I'd love to see what your dating handbook looks like. Okay, I have to date all of them. You know that. But that's not my business. I think Scarlet's somewhere around the mansion. We'll follow you. Is Scarlet a witch? Uh, no. Science, yes. Mad scientist, you could say that. I found Scarlet out for a stroll outside the mansion. She seemed a little down. Hey, Scarlet, you doing okay? <laughs> ah, jeez. Huh, it's just you, Tortapon. You almost gave me a heart attack. She is cute, but, you know, the zombies thing is a little bit of a turnoff. Sorry, I didn't mean to. It's, uh, not your fault. I was just on the edge after the whole zombie date thing, whatever it was. I guess I'm feeling a little sad about all that. Why? You saved everybody also caused the issue we wouldn't have needed to save anybody if it wasn't for me 
Uh, at least you fixed the situation. Hey, at least we don't have banana zombies running around anymore. Uh, yeah, that's another thing about the zombies. They also wanted bananas. Without your help, they'd still be running rampant. Still, they wouldn't have been running around in the first place if it wasn't for me. Well, that's true. But hey, it makes for great TV. Which, inadvertently, is pretty good for keeping me alive. But I'll keep quiet on that. Besides, you did it because you're trying to help me get my memories back. And that means more to me than I can say. I'm sorry I couldn't do it. If it's okay with you, I'll try again, and I'm sure this time... Let's not worry about that for now. Thanks, though. I appreciate it. For now, I just want to get to know you better, Scarlet. We got... Interrupted last time, to say the least. Care to join me and make me up for some lost time? That would be fantastic. There's somewhere I'd like to go, if it's okay with you. Lead the way. You won't regret it. At least... I think you won't. Should I be worried? Come on, let's go. She got in my hand and pulled me along with her. Who could say no to a girl who could just turn you to a zombie? Behold. Um. Dance floor. Alright. There's a nightclub in the mansion? There is now. I made it myself. Granted, I used it more as a testing ground than a real nightclub, but the staff really wanted something to blow off steam in. And, okay. I cheated a little bit. I made a robot that made the nightclub for me. But it still counts. I think you're probably the first person ever to say something like that. Also, I didn't know you knew how to build robots. <laughs> That's amazing. Hell yeah, it's cool. I got the feeling that building things to make people happier was what I enjoyed the most before I came here. What do you mean by that? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Actually, maybe you're the one person who would. Maybe it's worth a shot. Could she be like me? I... There's so much in my life I can't remember for some reason. I couldn't help but raise an eyebrow. There was a lot of broken people after the war in New Asia. Not just broken bones and missing limbs, but shattered minds. People trapped in their own heads. I was told I had a gift for research. A gift that might help for those people be able to reclaim their lives. So I finished school early and got my PhD. I led a task force dedicated to helping the survivors. We help them forget their most painful, most traumatic memories and move on. It was my life's work, but you know, but now. I can remember what it was, how it worked, if we even got anywhere with our research. To be completely honest, I can't really remember how I got here either. I'm sorry to ask, but how on earth did that happen? If I knew before, I definitely don't know now. Maybe testing got dangerous, and I wasn't willing to test on someone else. Maybe I... I don't know. I don't know. The crazy thing is, I went from that to being on some kind of dating show? What the hell? I guess it does sound pretty weird. And the idea of getting married in one week? Who wrote this? An idiot? I couldn't help but laugh. But what do I even have to lose at this point? I wouldn't look at it that way. I can't remember anything either, but I'm alive. As long as I'm alive, I've got everything to lose and everything to gain. An optimist, huh? That's worth something. I guess you'd understand better than anyone. What do you plan to do after this is all over? Honestly, I don't know. I want my memories back, but if I can't get them back, I'm just trying to make the best of things. That's some plan. That's some plan. Still working the details out. Give me a break. Unless you remember some things. I'm gonna even remember my name at first. You got me beat there. We talked for hours about how we both felt about our situations. 
the good things, the bad things, about forgetting who you are. We laughed about forgetting the embarrassing moments that probably plagued others for a lifetime. We lamented the moments that truly made life worth living, the moments that made your life unique. It's nice to have someone that understands. You know, I've got a silly idea if you're interested. Let's hear it. Getting engaged in a week is stupid, and a person who agreed to that is even stupider than that. But I, I think I'd say yes if it were you, Torapan. If only to see where life goes with someone like you. That's... Shh, shh, let me finish. Regardless of who you ask on that last day, I'd like to be your friend in the times to come. If you'll be mine, I can't remember the last time I had a friend to just talk to you about how I feel. I think this is the first time that I feel a little better about what happened. I don't want you to feel better about the past too. I don't want you to feel alone in this world. It's sad enough, you know. And maybe I'm just being foolish, but who knows? Maybe if we're still in each other's lives after all this, we'll be able to help each other take back the lives we wanted. What do you say? I was thinking the same thing, Scarlet. I am glad, but uh, how to say... I still prefer it if you pick me. What can I say? I'm a bit competitive. Hot second thought. I'm very competitive. Just saying. But out of all the girls, I am the best educated, had the most illustri illustrious career, won first place at the National New Asian Science Exhibition, and... I laughed out loud as she listed her accomplishments one by one. She made angry faces at me in mock anger. But most of all, I want to have a happy life. And I think someone else might get it wrong. We spent the rest of the evening enjoying each other's company. The laughter and smiles never stopped, and she never let go of my hand during our walk. Oh, something that I just remembered about this game, Hifumichu. We gotta pick our pronouns. And they, them, were one of, was one of the options, so... I felt like that was very worth noting because it got me really excited. Yeah. Representation. Nice night for a walk. Oh, hey, Totopon. What are you doing out here? Does going for a walk care to join me? Sure, why not? I got a few minutes. How about we circle around the mansion grounds? Sounds good to me. So, how did your date with Scarlet go? How did your Scarlet with date go? <laughs> okay, have good foods. Or have good eats. I don't know. Meh, 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 meh. Uh, are we already back to our daily interviews? Did the island run out of wine? That's wholly unrelated. But yes. Anyway, my day with Scarlet today was... Um... I'd say it was awesome. Amazing. I feel like I really got to know the real Scarlet today. And for the first time, I feel like I've truly been understood. I'm glad to hear that, Toriopon, really. Scarlet puts on her front that's nothing like how she really is. I'm glad you can see behind it. She must really trust you. I'm glad I'm, she does. I'm glad, I'm glad she does, believe me. More importantly, though, Scarlet's fanbase has been ravenous for new content. From what I saw, I'd say you delivered. I'm a solid 85% sure you won't wake up in a torture chamber tomorrow morning. Good job, Torapod. Thanks. Keep it up with what you're doing. Our ratings have only been climbing, climbing, climbing higher and higher every day. But it's not time to celebrate just yet. I know, don't worry. I'm sticking to the plan. That's good to hear. Seriously, if you got yourself killed by not following the plan at this point, you deserve it. Looks like we finished our walk. Now I got... Gotta get back to work. It was a nice break. Night, Tordabon. Night, Kit. Mm -mm. How long have I been recording this game? It's already been three hours. Wow. I want to see less time than I thought it's been. Time to get some, should I? The scent is something delicious being freshly baked, wafted through the kitchen. It's just the two of us. Looks like this batch didn't turn out well either, she frowned. Hey, hum the bright side. I can at least tell it's bread this time. Uh oh, that wasn't the right thing to say. It's has been a while since I've done this. Sorry, Totopon. I I wanted to have something good. Reach for one of the pieces of bread. Wait, I'm sure it's 
I took one bite, then wolfed the whole bread down like it was the last of its kind. It's delicious. I reached for another, to prove my point. You really mean it? I took a moment to wolf down the second piece. Crossed my heart. You're just saying that. She smiled, huh? That's the moment I've been waiting for. She hugged me with all her might. But I love that about you, you know? I love you, Tordipon. I held her tight. I love you too. For a moment, the whole world was just me and her. And that was all that mattered. But I wouldn't give to have you back like this. <clears throat> the next day, I woke to the sound of an explosion outside. I got outside as fast as I could. What the? The first thing I saw was Scarlet, black smoke emanating from the ground to near her. Oh, hey there you are. Oh, hey there, Toriphon. Nice weather we're having, huh? Hey, Scarlet. You okay? I'm pretty good, all things considered. I've been experimenting again on trying to bring back people's memories. Without the whole mon monkey zombie bit. That's a good thing to not include, yes. <clears throat> I figure if you and I will well, ever, well, you know, I don't want us to know everything about each other. No secrets. I like that, Scarlet. Thanks. I'll let you know if I make any progress with that. Ugh, I gotta clean this up. Give me a minute, and then we can head to the forest. I've been meaning to spend some time there since I got to this island. Sounds good by me. We walk together through the forest, hand in hand. Talking about things we do after we got off this island. Talking about everything and anything. After we're off this island, whatever happens, do you maybe want to catch a movie together? Sure, but why a movie? You can laugh, but there's a part of me that wants to be a regular girl for a day. That's something I could never forget. And I like it. Well, well, well. And I like it if I could be that way with you. What do you say? I'd like that. Yay. Scarlet did a little dance of happiness. We spent the rest of the morning together in the woods, enjoying each other's company. It might be a little more than that. Somehow, in the middle of it all, I forgot what kind of show I was on in the first place. It was just me and her. In this moment, more than ever, I was glad to be alive. <clears throat> Morning, Todoban. How'd you sleep? Pretty well, considering how you added the footage that keeps me alive. Drunk. And that sounds like a win-win to me, if you ask me. Can you believe it? We're already on the sixth day of the show. Is it already? Time sure goes by fast. No kidding. Anyway, it's time to wrap up date for the wrap up phase two. So let me go on a second date with your last soulmate candidate. Shouldn't be too hard, no? Please don't jinx me. Break a leg. Seriously, actually breaking a leg would be a lot better for you than messing up today's date. Not helping cat. Time to get today's date started with none other than my third soulmate candidate, Tara. Let's go. <laughs> I knocked on the door to the games room. Hey, Torepon, what's up? I thought I'd check in and see how you're doing with your game. Let me show you what I'm working on then. Tara handed me her game device. Not all the art's ready yet, but I'm hoping it'll be done soon. Cat, down, please. It's a farming game. I had to ditch the pigeon dating idea after, well, finding out it was already done. Stop, down. That's really a shame for the whole world, really. Listen, Huddleful Boyfriend is beautiful. But in this game, you gotta live in a village out in the country, make friends, raise crops, and... Testimate all the invaders with your giant mecha pigeon death machine. Okay, now I want that to actually be a game. Down. Oh my god, cat. <clears throat> I 
and there's one million possible weapon combinations and... That sounds cool. I'd love to play it. I'm curious, how can you decide to make a farming game? Um, good question. They just got a special place in my heart. I used to play just... To just play these, morning till night, every day. You can probably tell, I'm not really a go out and party kind of person. Cat. Not a toy. Come here. To be honest, I don't know enough people to go to parties anyway. But whatever. Then this is more fun to just do your own thing. It could be more fun to stay indoors and just do what you enjoy. That's how I feel about it. And let's talk. Try playing it. I want to see how you feel about it. Alright, here we go. The title screen displayed with a click. Star Blue Valley. I was a mecha pilot who got tired of life in the mecha core and decided to move out of the to the country and become a farmer. I was a pretty good one at that. Every season, I learned to plant water and harvest new kinds of crops. Tara would give me advice for farming in every season. Her face was so close to mine. She watched my every move with a pensive expression. Farming and fishing felt great, but fishing was almost impossible to do at first. The mecha parts of the game felt incredible. You could uh, even get to know the villagers and have relationships with them too. There's just one thing that was a bit weird. First, wow. What you have so far is incredible, Tara. You think so? Yeah, really. It's incredible. I never thought you could combine farming and being a mecha pilot in the same game, but you did it just fine. Thanks, Tartapon. That's nice of you to say. There's just one thing I think that was a little off. What's that? Any feedback would be great. I feel like the relationships with the townspeople were a little weird. The dating aspects didn't really feel right. Uh, I knew you'd notice that. It's kind of embarrassing, but... I never actually dated before. I have no idea what it's really like. And to be honest, I never really had a real friend either. If it's not too much to ask. Her voice suddenly reduced to a whisper. Maybe you and I could be friends. I'd be honored to be your friend. That said, please don't trap me in a video game again. Sorry, what? Anyway, watching you play gave me some ideas. Wanna help me testing them? Sure, I'd be happy to help however I can. Cat, hello. We both suggest ideas, she'd implement it, and we test it together, and repeat. It just kept getting better and better. Tara's smile and enthusiasm was contagious. I couldn't help but be excited for her head in all of her drive. We spent the rest of the day working on her game, but it only felt like minutes. I'm just glad it wasn't another virtual reality game. Playing a little bit of the late night munchies, guess I'll go head down the stairs. I walked to the kitchen and opened the fridge. Sweet. There's some leftover cookies that Violet and I had made together. I grabbed a few and wolfed them down. Delicious. Mmm. Got a case of the midnight munchies. I figured I'd do my civil duty and help finish the cookies Violet and I made. Right. Only a good Samaritan would finish all the cookies, so no one else would have uh, to make the sacrifice. I'm just too good of a person, I know. It gets me in trouble sometimes. Anyway, I've been meaning to talk with you. What's up? How'd your date with Tara today go? I'd say it was good, awesome. It was great, I have to admit. Tara's very different from my initial impression of her. I feel like I'm seeing the real her now, and I like what I see. I like the sound of that. Who would have thought you'd say something like this after your unique first date, huh? Life sure is funny. Well, that should be enough footage for today. Thanks, Torapan. You'll be happy to know that phase two of the plan was a smashing success. <clears throat> That's great to hear. No kidding. No kidding. The love square. It's got viewers on the edge of their seats. You've actually broken the record for ratings on the killer dating game show. It's not as niche as it sounds. 
Do I get a plaque for that? This has got to count for something somewhere. We don't have it printed yet, but I prepared your tombstone in advance if you're looking for a souvenir. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Cat. Let it never be said that I'm anything but supportive. Anyway, we're on to phase three. It's pretty much the same as phase two, except with third dates this time. And one caveat. What's that, Cat? I'm sure you got a favorite in mind between the three girls you're dating now. If you want to maximize your chances of getting out of here alive, save the best for last. It gives audiences something to look forward to. Ah, uh, I see you. Sounds good to you? Makes sense to me. Good. That's all for today. I'll see you later. Night, Torepan. Good night, cat. And thanks for the help till now, cat. I realized I'd probably be screwed without you. Don't take me yet. I guess I'll call it a night. I walked back to my room. Time to get some shut eye. So what's this supposed to do? It's only a prototype, but technical details aside, you can think of it as a memory rewriter. So it rewrites memories? Pretty much. Think of it like a surgeon's scalpel. With it, you can make someone forget things as big as who they are or something as small as a specific conversation. So if you use this on someone, anything's fair game. You could erase anything you wanted. Exactly. Well, maybe it's not really a scalpel since it comes with a reset button. It's sad though. This was supposed to help people after the war. I was supposed to help people after the war. I'm sorry, Scarlet. Don't worry about it. I may not be able to help them, but... It doesn't mean I can't help you and your partner escape from this madness. Thank you, really. Thank you so much. I know you're taking an incredible risk for us. That honestly, most people would never. Don't mention it, Torepan. It's what I do. If they manage to chase it back to me, then I'll accept whatever comes. It'd be the first time I helped someone in quite some time. Scarlet. The boat is just past the woods, behind the rocky enclave near the beach. It won't be there forever, so act quickly. It'd be suicide to go for it during the day, so I recommend heading there near midnight. Thank you, Scarlet. I'm sure you don't want to come with us. Someone has to stay here to help the people that fall in the spider's web. You don't have to be so noble. You don't have to be here, you know, to get to leave this place with you. But someone needs to stay here to do what's right. Thoughts. The girls and I kicked off our morning by testing out Tara's game together. It was multiplayer now, so we could all play together in the same world. This came with its own fair share of consequences. I said, cover me, or you'll have to finish making dinner yourself. I'm trying, I'm trying. There's just too many mutant vegetables attacking. Yui, I need you to cover me. Where are you? I'm sorry, it's the mayor's birthday. I can't decide which fairy to give him. It can wait. But then I won't get bonus points. Come to think of it, I think we're running low on tomatoes and carrots. Do you need any, Violet? We have enough to survive the winter, but more supplies are always welcome. I'm on it. Well, the game's definitely gotten more exciting. I wanted for them to test the relationships, but maybe they'll have to wait a bit. I guess we'll see next time. Yeah, next time. I can't wait. We spent the rest of the morning playing Terra's game. Mm. Morning, Torapan. Let's kick off phase three. Hopefully you can wrap this up quickly and you'll be back to your old life soon. I better be. As nice as this island is, it's a gilded cage. You'll be able to go back to your old life soon. That's a promise. Well, unless you make a mess out of your next three dates. I can't help you there. But assuming you do, you'll get to leave here with one of the three girls who you're dating now. But first, it's time to pick which of them you'll be going on a third or date with today. Uh, Scarlet, since I'm told to save the best for last. Can't say I'm surprised there. You're two birds of a feather. Here's to hoping you both have a day you remember for a change. It's funnier when you're not an amnesiac.
I found Scarlet in the same place I met her. She was engrossed in a book, with a pile of books next to her. They looked worn, as if they'd been read over and over through the years. Hey there, Scarlet. What you reading? Hi, Totifan. Just an old fairy tale. Really? I was surprised you read something that throws silence, science out the window. I'm a woman of very tastes. I quite like these stories, especially this one. Which one are you reading? It's called The Princess of Oranda. Really? It's silly. I doubt you'd be interested in. Try me. I smiled at her. She smiled back at me in kind. Okay, I don't see why not. There's a young girl, Nada, who was the princess of the kingdom of Avaranda, which was far, far away from civilization. Unlike other princesses before her, she had no time for politicking or parties. She spent all her time building all sorts of gadgets for her family and her friends. Like a robot dog that would eat the vegetables they didn't want to eat. Oh, I gotta try my hand at this sometime. Scarlet giggled like a child. Nana has a blissfully happy childhood. She even falls in love with a commoner named Aloria. Though her kingdom would never approve of the relationship, Nara and Aloria would never fail to see each other in secret every night by the crooked trees in the western forests. But those days don't last. One day, her mother, the queen, is taken by a witch, never to be seen again, and Nara is forced to become queen at the age of 16. In her mother's absence, Nara does her best to lead the kingdom, and for years it, it prospers. She has no other leader they've had before. But secretly, she wants to leave. As queen, she has no more time for the things or people that she loved with all her heart. She cries every night, alone. But she knows she can't. Too much responsibility falls on her. Then one day, Nara is cursed by the same witch that took her mother and forgets everything. Her name, her family, her kingdom. Sorry, I wanted to check something. <laughs> Everything except for Aloria and the desire to leave. And so she leaves, and no one in the village ever sees her again. I won't bore you with the rest of the story, but thanks for listening till now. Aw, oh, come on. Leave me, Scarlet. I want to hear this to the end. Especially because you like it so much. I looked deep in her eyes, and I could tell just how much she loved this story. Well, there's really not much left, but... Well, Nara and Aloria live a wonderful life in a neighboring kingdom for many years. One day, she remembers everything and rushes home, worrying for her people. When she gets there, she sees her people have been ruled by the very same witch who took her memory, and that the, her people no longer prosper the way they did under her rule. In anger, Nara confronts the witch on the border of Aurondo. The witch takes off her cowl, revealing herself to be Nara's mother, the lost queen. Nara's mother gives her an ultimatum. She can return to ruling the kingdom, but she can never leave again, or she can leave now and never come back. And that's where the story ends. You never get to know what choice Nara makes. That's quite the cliffhanger. I want to know what happens next. Believe me, me too. I'm curious, what would you do when Nara's shoes? Hmm... I'd leave. I think I'd leave, and never come back. Interesting, why is that? There's no point living without love. Even if it's better for the kingdom for Nera to stay, we would guarantee her love could never be realized. And that's just too sad. I think the same way. I've loved the story ever since I lost my memories. I'm sure I don't have a kingdom or anything, but sometimes you wonder, you know? Yeah, I got the same feeling too. That's just life, you know? You have to keep moving forward. Yeah, you're right. I'm really happy you're the one I get to move forward with, Torapon. Me too, Scarlet. There's no one else I'd rather be with. Right here. Right now. And speaking of right now, there's something I want to bring you. 
Where's that? I'll give you a hint. I've been thinking about this place ever since you mentioned that you loved fairy tales. Oh my gosh, there's turtles down here. Turtles! She was practically dancing around the room, taking in all the sights. Is it possible not to smile? I figured the Ocean Palace just might be your thing. Scarlet practically jumped onto me and squeezed the life out of me in a deathly bear hug. This is wonderful, Tortapon. Thank you so much. You made everything so special in ways I honestly couldn't believe. But you did it. Now this is just the beginning, Scarlet. We're in this together. I held Scarlet and kissed her on the lips. It was like an explosion of passion had set me on fire as she kissed me back and wrapped her arms around me. Always. We spent the rest of the night enjoying a lovely dinner in a place straight out of a fairy tale with nothing but love in our hearts and laughter and smiles on our faces. I can't wait to leave this island with you, Torapan. I've never been this excited, this happy since ever. You make me feel like I'm living in a fairy tale. You know, I've got an idea of how we could spend tonight, if you're interested. Then what's that? I'll show you why fairy tales were written by adults. Okay. And just like that, that's my last date with Scarlet. Time sure goes by quickly. I thought I'd find you here. Why's that? You tend to come out here when you're lost in thought, is all. And you're thinking about how the show's almost over, am I right? How'd you know? Lucky guess. Well, it's not over yet, so don't let up just yet. Speaking of which, how was your date with Scarlet today? I'd say it was awesome. It was the best. My connection with Scarlet's one of a kind, and there's no way I'd rather have beside me than her. Um, being married to her would be like a dream come true. Well, aren't you a romantic toward upon? But I'm happy to hear that. If it's you, I'm sure whatever you two pace out there. We'll be fine as long as you stick together. You know she keeps stop turning people into zombies. Yeah, that's the conversation we have to have. Don't forget that in the prenup. Anyway, I'd ask you how if you're thinking of chasing her at the end. But I'd rather wait and see how it plays out. You gonna stay out here for long? Nah, I'll probably be going back inside soon. I'll keep you company till then. I figure you might want to have a conversation with someone that won't get you killed if it's not TV worthy. Thanks, Kat. Don't mention it. You know, I'm curious, Kat. What's up? Let's say I knew I was screwed. That there's no way of me getting out of here alive. That's the, that the only way left for me to survive was just to run. Would you let me escape? Of course, Tordepan. Thanks, Kat. That means a lot. It's no big deal. We stayed out for a little longer before we called it a night. I'm lucky I have someone I can trust on my side. Mm. I woke up with Scarlet in my arms. After talking with Kat last night, I asked Scarlet to join me for one more midnight walk. I ended up talking for hours. Morning, Scarlet. Oh, you're awake. Hi there, Tordepan. She was clearly half asleep. I want to invent something that puts this moment into a bottle forever. Then I'd repurpose the factory and mass produce it. Mwah. Love you. Oh boy. She dozed off as she embraced me in her arms and held me tight. We must have stayed there together for over an hour, but I wish it didn't pass by so fast. I'm so happy, you know? Mm. Why's that? No matter how this show ends, we won't be alone. What more could I ask for? I was terrified before, but now I know everything will be alright. Couldn't say it better myself, Scarlet. Anyway, can't want you to go on a date with someone else by now, right? Yeah, sorry about that. Don't worry about it. I got an invention to deal with them later. Sorry, what was that? Oh, nothing. See you later, Torapon. Oh boy. <clears throat> Morning, Torapon. I love you. How would you know your third date with Scarlet yesterday was pretty well received? Not the highest rate we've had so far, but enough to give us more room to keep going. Sounds good enough to me. For your next date, make sure you pick someone who you think the audience will respond well to. 
though at this point, I think you're in a good spot either way. Calling for Terra, saving Violet for last. Man, if I know you're just gonna spend all your dates with Terra and Doris, I would've just booked the mansion. But sometimes the best things in life aren't the most expensive ones, so who knew? Just kidding. You ever seen a depressed person who owns an island? Go get her, tiger. I found Terra sleeping on the sofa in the games room. She looked so peaceful. Maybe I'll come back later. Zombies everywhere, ha! Ah. She bolted up suddenly. Crazy dream? No kidding. I dreamed that we all got turned into zombies. Luckily, there's no way that could ever happen. Did you go to bed late? Hell yeah. I spent all night working on the game. And I've finished it too. Care to join me in testing it out? I, uh... Added some new features I'd like you to try. Sure, I'd love to. I'd look at the same game I had played before. What am I looking for? You'll see. I started up the game. Moments later, I saw Terra's avatar run up to me. He made it just in time. The new event's about to start. What's the new event? As if on cue, giant robotic pigeons flew from the sky and started to attack her avatars. Ah! Uh, fight the pigeons. I ran toward the pigeons, preparing for the fight of a lifetime. Don't worry, I gotcha. Tara pulled out a giant can of pigeon repellent and started blasting away. Well, I think something's bugged. It's not working at all. I gotta fix that. <laughs> While Tara was laughing at her own mistake, I was being lifted to the sky by the pigeons. Uh, I think I'm screwed. Where are these pigeons taking me? I tried to move my avatar, but there was no way to resist the death grip of the, the robo-pigeon. Don't worry, they're about to fly into the territory of Maple Syrup Dragon. The... what? Uh-oh. The screen lit up with a blast of flying maple syrup. Never thought I'd ever say something like that, but here we are. The maple syrup slammed into the pigeons and forcefully stuck their wings together. As a consequence, they started to fall to the ground at breakneck speed. Ah, save me, I haven't saved yet. Ah, I knew I forgot something. I forgot the ability to save. I'll have to write that down. As Tara took notes, I rapidly fell to my doom. I am happy for you, but if you could for a minute. An avatar, my avatar smacked into the ground, pigeon first, and instantly died on impact. Well, oh man, I had so much stuff. Is there at least a respawn mechanic? I've never died before in this game. Of course. Just hit the retry button. I pressed the button and watched the world around me reset to the village. Sans the giant beast of death. Except now. The village seemed ten times bigger than before. Wait, when did the village get so big? And then it dawned on me. Wait, it's not that the village it's not the village that got big. I got small. I took a more careful look at my avatar. I was a pigeon again. I sighed deeply. At the same time, Tara was giggling like a child. We spent a few more hours testing out the rest of the game's new features. Thankfully, there were more, no more pigeon easter eggs. Yes, again. Don't worry about it. And there's a, one last thing I want to test out if that's okay. Will it end with me getting turned into a pigeon? No. Just come with me. I followed her avatar to the cabin we shared in the woods. When we got there, she turned around, walked up to me, and held in an item I'd never seen before. She walked up to me and gave me an item called Ring of You're Pretty Cool. Hifumichu. Shameful. And what's this? Um, let me try to explain. I came onto the show with no idea what it was about. Personally, I thought it was stupid at first. But hanging out with you has been so much fun. I've never really got to work on my hobbies with anybody. It's only met you. Honestly, I never had someone to share all my crazy shit with. But you, you're different. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, you're pretty cool. And I hope we can keep doing this, even after the show is over. 
Uh, sounds like a plan, Tara. I gotta say, you caught me off guard with this. Why is that? You're giving this ring to me. It, uh, well, it could be a little misleading. You're not making any sense. We laughed together, then walked back to the mansion with a spring in our step. We played the day away without a care in the world. Well, that's enough gaming today for today. You up for a movie date? Sure, what do you want to watch? It's a Hitchcock film. I've always wanted to see it. What's it called? The Birds. I felt a blood vessel in my head pop. This woman is bad for my heart. Unless she never fails to put a smile on my face. Fucking birds. After my date with Tara, I waited around outside till the time I expect to see Kat, but she never showed up. I guess she already has enough footage for today. Might as well try to find her. No one's here. Looks like the snacks from before are gone too. I'm not here either. Ah. Kat was at a table, writing something down at a frantic pace with one hand against her head. Hey Kat, what's up? What's Question mark. Oh, hey Tadapon, I didn't see you there. How are you doing? That depends on what you're ominously writing. You look to just like someone who had realized I was dead meat. Oh, this. Don't worry about it. Someone's dead meat, but it's not you. Yay? I'm just kidding. I'm just fixing up some of the balance sheets too was working on. Being an accountant was really never the cards for them despite what they say. Sit down. I'll be stuck here a while anyway. Sure. Sounds good. I sat next to Kat at the table. So how's today's date with Tara go? It was good. Oh, there was an alright option. Oh well. We didn't do anything too crazy, but it didn't have to be. I could tell. It was uh, cute watching you guys. Though to be honest, I wish your relationship would move along a little faster. This just not getting any longer, you know? That said, I feel like you two can make a pretty good team in the long run. Anyway, you've got done great till now. I don't know if you've said what you've said to each of the girls really is true, but don't stop now. You just have to get through one more day. You'll finally be able to leave this place. And you'll tell me what my old life was like? Of course. I mean, if we didn't, where would you even go? Fair point. Thoughts. You lucky you got something on your mind. Uh, I'm just thinking about tomorrow. You've been getting the best ratings I've ever seen. I just hope it's enough. The rating requirements for the last date and the last day are the highest. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Don't worry. I've made it this far. Nothing's going to stop me from making it to the end. I hope so. For your sake, Torapan. So when I'm out of here, what are you going to do? Are you going to move on to the next killer dating show? I don't- I didn't know you were my career coach. You want to know my five-year plan too? I get the feeling that five years from now you'd rather not be here. There is no plan. I'm just taking it one day at a time. That's really all anyone could do in the crazy world. Anyway, I gotta get back to work. Good luck, Tordapon. You'll need it. Thanks, Kat. I'll see you later. Night. Tomorrow's gonna be the last date. I will need all the rest I can get. Guess I'll call it a night. The performance is coming to a close. The actors and actresses come out, one by one, ready to take their bows. I would clap, but I'm waiting for you, and only you. I woke up on the floor of the games room. Tara was sleeping on the sofa, with one hand still on her gaming console. We had spent all night playing games and watching movies like it was our own little sleepover. Pitching zombies everywhere, ah! And then she was up. Let's hope this insane show never gets to the point where Tara's dreams make sense. Oh man, my head's pounding, but... I've got no regrets. Me neither. We've got to do this again sometime soon, Torap, huh? You bet. Is it time for you to go on your date with somebody else now? Yeah, that's just how it is. Alright, have fun. Save some time for gaming with me later, okay? Sounds like a plan. Awesome.
You're running out of time, Kit Kats. It's going to be just fine. You watch. Just watch. I can read. Good morning, Cat. Morning, Chodapan. How'd you sleep? Pretty well, thanks. You bet you did. That bet is worth more than your life. Ha, <laughs> that reminds me. Why can't the staff have the same kind of bed that Tordapon has? Do I look like I'm made of money? Yes. You literally own this island. If I give the staff beds, the next thing they'd ask for is minimum wage. No thanks. He walked away. So how about that five-year plan, huh? Maybe the brothers are onto something with this whole accounting thing. Anyway, it's time for your last date with your last soulmate candidate, Violet. You ready? It's time to make a break. I'm as ready as I'll ever be, Cat. Then, without further ado, lights, camera, don't get yourself killed. I found Violet in the same place I met her. She was taking out a fresh batch of cookies from the oven. Morning, Violet. I slid next to her and grabbed one of the cookies in one smooth motion. Ow, hot. I flung the cookie into my mouth anyway. Worth the pain. Damn, that was delicious. Wait a moment, you silly goose. You never fail to make me laugh toward a fun. I quite admire that. I did a mocking bow with my arms behind my back and put on my best fancy accent. The pleasure's on mine, my lady. Stop you. I wolfed down another cookie. Hell yeah. You do know those were for sharing with everyone, right? I'm part of everyone. What's the problem here? We laughed together at the bit we were performing. Huh, that reminds me. Torapan. What's up, Violet? It's come to my attention that this show will be ending quite soon. Yeah, it is. Oh, do cheer up, please. I don't intend to feel sorry for myself. Instead, I want to use the time we have left here to do something I've always longed to do. And what's that? What I want is to go on a date. The kind that normal people go on. The kind I've only read about. Having a picnic, watching a movie at the theater, long night, long walks on the beach, something, even something crazy like a paint night. And then we could watch the sunset go down together. And it'd be so romantic. Her enthusiasm was adorable. She was practically bouncing around the room like a ping pong ball. I think we can make that happen. Can we now? Which one? Why not all of them? She's got the most beautiful smile. Damn. Really? You've got to be kidding me. You can count on me, Violet. I'll make it happen. Yay. She did a little cheer and dance. Gosh, I can't stop smiling looking at her. That said, I have no idea what to do. Guess they'll be touch and go. It wouldn't be fair if you figured out everything. Let me handle the picnic. She pulled out a basket from behind her. Here to join me in the lovely outdoors. I wouldn't miss it for the world, Violet. We walked outside for a while. Then settled in a lovely spot with a nice mix of shade and sunlight for our picnic. The way her silver hair caught the sunlight, it was enough to make you believe in angels. She was so beautiful. Again, I've brought plenty. Please don't hold yourself back. I've got to be the luckiest person alive. Save that talk for after you try this. I'm letting you have the first bite. Should I be worried? I smiled as she mock pouted. Just kidding. She smiled and laughed as she spoon fed me a delicious egg roll. Called it. I'm the luckiest person alive. Not just because the food's delicious, but because you're here next to me, Violet. You've made this week so special. I feel the same way, Torapon. And there's more where that came from. You're absolutely right. I've got something prepared for the two of us next. You owe me one, Torapon. Question mark. We enjoyed the delicious food and conversation over the rest of the afternoon. We all looked back to the mansion hand in hand, smiling all the while. Next stop, the only movie theater on the island. I didn't know we had a room like this in the mansion. I'm not surprised. Tara's pretty territorial about this room, from what I've seen and heard. But right now, it's our own private movie theater. I did a little jazz hands at the TV. Violet clapped as if uh, I had just put on a performance of a lifetime. I made a dramatic bow and then took a look at what movies we had in store. 
let's see, we have rom-coms, fantasy, new medieval movies, war movies, a few superhero movies, and last but not least, a horror movie. I'll put on a rom-com. From what Violet was saying earlier, this would definitely be her favorite. I started the movie, then went back and sat next to Violet with my arm around her. The story is about a girl who moved to a place called New York to become a writer, falls in love with a boy she meets there, and eventually realizes her dream and love. It wasn't anything special, but Violet thoroughly entranced for the whole was thoroughly entranced for the whole movie. I can speak and read. Me. I was more entranced by her. After the credits rolled, Violet practically burst into tears. This is the best movie I've ever seen in my whole life. My whole life. And then how about I take a scene you liked from the movie? I turn it into a painting. Oh my gosh, you didn't. Just wait right here for a second. Okay. I had no idea where to find art supplies, but I knew if anyone knew who could, it was Cat. Cat, you know the sitch. You got some nerve putting all this together at last minute, but I like that about you. Four, set up everything they need for a paint night in the main hall of the mansion. Stat. Oh man, I just finished my shift. Even better, you got free time for this. And so we started painting on canvases in the main hall. I think I'll paint a picture of Violin and I watching the movie together. This counts, right? What are you painting, Tordapan? I'm painting a picture of us watching the movie together. It's the most beautiful scene from the movie, you know? It'd be a shame not to capture it. You're quite the flirt, you know that. But I like that about you. Your smile could melt the coldest heart. So what scene are you painting, Violet? I'm drawing the scene where the girl runs out to the rain to tell the boy that she loves him. It was just so romantic. She said like a love-struck teenager. I could tell she was putting her whole heart into her painting. She captured the scene perfectly. As for me, let's just say I was more focused on making the people have the right number of heads and was working from there. An hour or so later, we finished and compared her final artworks. She's an incredibly talented artist. Me, not so much. That was embarrassing, but man, it was worth it just to see her smile and break into laughter. My laughter was interrupted by a gurgle from her stomach. Mother would punish me for sure if she heard me make that sound, but who cares now? Violet was unstoppable at this point. Is it time for dinner? I do believe it is. I volunteered to cook, but she wanted to go back to the restaurant that we went to on her first date, so we did. Apparently, she was trying too hard to be prim and proper back then, and didn't actually get to eat as much as she wanted. She ate up a storm. Almost literally. Almost. We spent dinner wolfing down delicious food without a care in the world, and without laughing and laughing about scenes in the movie and our little artsy adventure. And then finally, we went for a long-awaited walk on the beach. We held hands as we walked along the ocean. The waves of the ocean seemed to play music for us as we skirted by. At times, we talked without end. At other times, we enjoyed each other's company in warmth and silence. Either way, we were as happy as can be. We talked about how the past, the present, and future were so different than before because of each other. You know, Torapan, if you asked me to marry you right now, without a doubt, I'd accept. I know it sounds quite crazy to say that in such a short period of time, but I just know. She kissed me passionately with everything she had. We fell together onto the soft sand of the beach. Will you marry me, Violet? I looked at her and saw the most beautiful smile from the most beautiful girl there was. I know the final ceremony is tomorrow, but I want you to know how I feel. A moment passed. I felt like my heart was trapped in my throat. Of course, I know what I said to upon. And then I saw something I'd never seen before and would never see again. Here we go. The sky outside rapidly turned from bright blue to black, and if it were water being drowned in the darkest ink. And the bright sky and the sun went out like a candle in the wind, and as the warmth of the beach sand disappeared in an instant. Please collect the cast. The experiment is complete. The last thing I saw was Violet screaming as shadowy figures grabbed her from behind. 
A second later, and I couldn't even see my hands reaching for violets, desperately trying to pull her back to me. Then I felt someone grab me from behind. No, not somebody. There must have been several people. See, this is what happened earlier, I told you. They forced me to the ground and caught me behind my back. Exact same text. Screamed, there was no sound, couldn't hear anything, nothing but the sound of waves, tried to fight, but there's no way out. Screamed, violated, and heard to run as far as she could, but you heard no response. Then, nothing. And we're gonna be in the weird room again, right? Yep. I woke up on the operating table this time. You see a nightmare. First thing to do was get up, but couldn't because metal braces. Tried to force, but the braces didn't move. Morning toad upon. W what's going on, cat? Get me out of here. I'm free. Can't see that. And honestly, I'm getting tired of explaining why. Let's just feed this along, shall we? W what are you talking about? I get it now. Placed a helmet. Couldn't move away. Don't do this. Can't hear the hum of the massive generator turning on. Raise your hand, releasing the trigger switch and a single red button. See ya soon. She pressed it. The curtain closes. You're taking your bow. And when you lift your head, I could see you clearly for the first time. It's you. The one I've been waiting all this time to see. The one who made me dream of a life together far from this island. You've been right by me all this time. Tomorrow's the day, Torapan. You nervous? Who wouldn't be? You got a point. She reached for my hand and held it tightly. You okay? You sure we should be doing this? I... I don't want you to be punished just because I want to get out of here. Hey, Cat. We've always been a team. You and me. No matter what, we're in this together. Thanks, Torapon. How did things come to this? The escape failed. I've been surrounded, beaten, shot, betrayed. The love of my life. She shot me. I'm bleeding out rapidly. I try my best to slow the bleeding, but it's no use. What did you do to her? I choke out every last word. I didn't do anything. You were too busy making hard eyes at Cat here to see where her true loyalties lied. I'm sorry, Torepon, but it's true. I... I don't understand. Why don't you tell him, dear? Damien is my father. I knew you were planning something the moment you came to this island. But you didn't trust me enough to tell me what exactly it was. So I became close to you and told you just what you wanted to hear. And then you told me everything I needed to know. As soon as you told me your plan, there was no way you were ever going to escape from this island. Why are you saying this? Now that's my girl. You really are my daughter. Why? I love that look on your face, Torban. You know, you got an expression that would be perfect for my next show. And it just so happens, we got an opening just for you. It's no use. I've lost too much blood. The world turned dark. This is the end. Keep him alive, Torapan. You might think I'm showing you mercy, but believe me, by the end of this, I'm going to wish that I just let Cat kill you. That's why? Why, Cat? Why would you? I barely have time to breathe before the waves pull me under once more. Thoughts. Where am I? I am underwater. It's so dark and cold. I try to move, but I'm so tired. It takes all my strength to reach my hand out forward. Feels like glass. I'm trapped in some kind of tank. I I want to sleep for just a day. Thoughts. Lots of dots. Is someone there? I can feel somebody's presence. I open my eyes and I can see. Allie! Hang on just a little longer, Torapon. Who are you? The one in front of me looked at me with pity. I. Hitting the glass would probably startle her, and I'd rather not. I try to speak, but it's no use. My mouth won't speak the words I want them to. You're awake! I'm so glad, but... You're gonna wish you were asleep for the next bit, trust me. And sorry in advance. Question mark. She moved towards some kind of terminal next to my tank and pressed a button. As if on cue, 
It was as if every nerve in my body was set on fire. I screamed and thrashed around, but I did nothing to alleviate the pain. Oh, well, you look at that. Looks like our little hero's got some life left in him. You know, Torapon, you're in luck. Usually I just kill you for this, but a new opportunity's just opened up, and I think you'd be the perfect fit. I'm sorry, Torapon, but it's true. I, I don't understand. Why didn't you tell? Why don't you tell him, dear? Damien is my father. Always the hero, aren't you, Torapan? You should be more worried about yourself. You knew the rules. If you escape the island, you die. It didn't have to be like this, but you. I'm done talking. Goodbye, Torapan. Hold on a little longer, Torapan. She looked away from me as if she heard something. What? I couldn't tell. Shit, they're almost here. We're running out of time. I'm sorry, Tordapon. I won't be able to give you back all your memories, but this will have to be enough. She pressed on another button on the terminal. I've got to run back to my tank or they'll know something's up. She pressed her hand against the glass. Hold on just a little longer, okay? I'll get us out of here. The pain. It stopped. I... The world turned dark. Question mark. I've been here before. I... I'm torn upon. I'm on some kind of dating show. Find love or die trying. Allie, she helped me. I've got to find her. I... You're up early. Most people around here usually need a little more time to wake them up. Cat, I remember now. I tried to escape this island with her. She pretended to be my lover. She betrayed me and shot me too. She's the reason I'm trapped here. It's only fragments I can remember, but I remember enough to know that that she's bad news. You've done this song and dance over and over, more times than I can count by now. I've been in love with and chosen Ali, Scarlet, Terra, Violet, and Yubi, each of them countless times. Am I a bad person? Come to think of it. I can't remember what happened before the show started either. I need to find Allie, but first for the problem at hand. If I want to get out of here, I can't let Kat know that I remember what's happened before. Uh, Where am I? I've got to play dumb. I know this sounds weird, but do you know where we are? Will she buy it? Walk with me. There's a lot to get you up to speed on. The name's Kat. I'm the producer for a new show, Find Love or Die Trying. And what's your name? I... I don't remember. Looks like it's the same beginning as usual, learning about the killer dating show's rules. Meet the girls before the show starts. Yui, I don't remember meeting you before the show, but I'm glad that I got to meet you again. It's impossible not to feel happier when I see your smile. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, she finds Bunui. So Bunui Adventures. Um... You'd think the staff would have learned to cook better by now. There's so much more to you than the show than you showed the world, Violet, I can read. Scarlet, you're still hiding that you're reading that magazine with another book. It brings a smile to my face every time. I think I'd like to know what happened to you now. You still have no idea what you got into Tara. Killer dating show or not. Love to see the way you see the world. And finally, Allie. You never gave up on getting us out of here, even after all this time. Howdy, Torapan. I hear you're the suitor. Care to join me for a jog? There's a place in the forest I love to go for a run around with you. It'd be my pleasure. We went for a jog, exchanging banter like we always done when we met each other. The second we got to the unrecorded area of the forest, her smile faded. I'm glad you got the hint toward upon. You haven't given yourself away to anyone yet, right? No, I haven't. As far as Kat knows, I don't remember anything as usual. Sweet. I knew I was right to help you first. Really? Thank you so much. I can't thank you enough. I've got to ask. How do you escape the tank in the first place? Honestly, I got lucky. Usually, the tank knocks me out right away. But that last time, I think something must have bugged out. 
I saw my chance and took it. Anything's better than being stuck here forever. I'm sorry I couldn't get all your memories back. Don't worry about it, Allie. All I could ask for is a fighting chance. You gave that to me. Don't... don't mention it. I mean, duh. I'm hands on the MVP. Anyway, it's time I tell you the truth, Torapan. I'm from the Resistance. You can think of it as a covert group of concerned citizens who have a few bones to pick with the world's current management. Oh, and those bones are their necks. Joking aside, we're fighting a war here. That war will be won with information. Information that lives on this island and only here. There was no way that we could ever find this place, not by conventional means. But then we found out about the show, and so they sent you here. Actually, I volunteered. Oh, that was toward upon. Um, anyways. Believe me, the others didn't want me to, but I knew I had to. I was the one with the least to lose. Allie. It was pretty easy getting in, all things considered. All I had to do was write a report that labeled me as suspicious of conspiring against the government, take a few cute selfies, and boom, I was flown here. Didn't go so too great since then, though. But that was so when I was a lone wolf. I've got you now. And we'll get out of here together. Sound good to you? Sounds like a plan. I haven't even told you the plan yet. But since you're so excited, let's get right into it. There's two things we need to do. One, we need to bring the other girls' memories back. We won't be able to get their trust or work with them till we do. And we'll need their help for part two. And what's that? Two, we need to get the fuck out of here. Sounds about right. Easier said than done, though. It's gonna take a hell of a lot of setup and coordination. There's a small army of armed and trained staff at tasked with keeping us here, not to mention us needing a way off the island. I'll figure it out as we go, but for now. How about you go on a date with Scarlet today? I can do that, but how does that relate to us getting out of here? I tell you, I thought you could be a better actor. Believe me, you'll know why later. Anyway, let's head back to the mansion. We don't want Kat to start looking for us. Sounds good to me. You're really something, you know? That's putting it lightly. Thoughts. Thought upon, there you are. Yes, there I am. I'm gonna stand again though because I need to stand. Yes, standing was a good idea. Fuck, sitting too long again. Gotta stretch out them legs. Ugh, good thing I have a standing desk though. Mm. Man, how long have I been at this for? Let me see. Let me see my recording. I've been recording for a little over four hours. Okay. So, according to how long to be, that means there's only about an hour left of a game. Hopefully, I can get, well, less than an hour. And eh, we'll see what happens. Because it was like approximately like five hours to complete. We'll see what happens though. Toad Pond, there you are. Sorry, I got carried away exploring the island. I've got to be careful around Cat. I know what she's capable of firsthand. Is that so? Well, it's no harm, but you'll have a whole week to explore, you know. You get one day with each of the girls for the first five days. A little something special for day six. And then the final ceremony, where you propose to one of the girls. Interesting. That sounds like the perfect amount of time to figure out if we're meant together. You'd be surprised. Anyway, let's get the show on the road. Who do you want to spend today's date with? Scarlet. There's just some... Oops. There's just something about her, you know? Thoughts. I found Scarlet inside the library, the place I'd most often meet her for the first time. She always looked so happy when she was reading. It did the heart good to try to make her smile in the same way when I talked with her. We became fast friends again. The similarity of our situations might have played a part in that. Still, I'm not sure why Allie insisted on me going on a date with Scarlet today. Sure, getting her memories back will be a huge win, but... Hey, Scarlet, Tordapon. I'm glad you're safe. Things are going crazy out there. 
and what's happening. I know it sounds crazy, but there's a horde of zombies outside. Scarlet. Their brother's five, and a lot of behind the scenes help went crazy, and... Scarlet, you did this, didn't you? Wait, what? I I've been here the whole time with Torrepon. I couldn't have. I never heard of anything like this. Wait, what? Question mark. It's true. I can vouch for her. We've both been here since our date started. Well, either way, I bet you can create a cure for it. No. I mean, I probably could, but I need my equipment. I'm not sure why, but I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> Follow me. You can use our lab. Exclamation mark. We followed Kat to the games room. Kat put her hand against the wall of the games room, revealing a hidden trap door. She walked in and beckoned us for us to follow. We walked to down spiraling stairs for who know how long. I lost track more than a few times. I remember this place. You should have everything you need in this room to make a cure. Just don't go snooping around. This lab belongs to R&D. And we could all get in trouble if you do. Actually, this place doesn't have everything I need. What else do you need? To build a cure, I'm going to need a sample of whatever this is. I need a live specimen. Thoughts. I'm sure you can help with that, Tortapon. I've got a... Uh, so imagining that needs my attention. You got this. And just like that, she was gone. If it makes you feel better, I'll help you catch somebody. You sure? If you're the only one who can make the cure, then it might be better for you to stay back. No thanks. There's no way I'm letting you out there alone. I don't want you to think I'm weird, but I just got this feeling that I'd be pretty good at collecting unwilling zombie specimens. That is weird, but in this case, she's absolutely correct. Some memories must be intact, even if they're kept below the surface. Well, let's get on with this. Wild. We went back up to the surface. Everywhere we looked was overrun by zombies. We wouldn't stand a chance against a group, so we spent the day trying to split them up, as well as researching for as well as searching for lone wolves. Brains. Bananas. We're in luck. We finally got an isolated sample. How are we supposed to bring him in though? One bite and we're finished. I've got just the thing. Scarlet pulled out a pair of brass knuckles. Oh, where did you even get that? Is that really important right now? Am I looking the other way for a second? It's embarrassing. Sure, Scarlet. I turned around. Brains. Bananas. I hope your health insurance covers this. Thwack. Blay. Once more with feeling. Thwack. Are we the bad guys? We dragged him back to the mansion, paying careful attention to not run into any more of the zombies of running amok. Scarlet opened the hidden trap by a door in the games room, and I pulled Four's unconscious body in. Oh fu- My hand slipped, causing Four's body to tumble down the stairs. Bonk bonk bonk. He just kept going and going. I- I know, I know, I'll get him. Better get him quick, or we're not going to have a live specimen. Luckily, I managed to catch him pretty quickly. We put him on the operating table for Scarlet to analyze. Interesting. What's up, Scarlet? This virus. It's pretty clear it's man-made. Even more interesting is that it looks like something I would make. Or, not that I ever made zombie viruses, Tortafon. <laughs> yes, you have. It's kind of cute how you try to hide it. Cat, you there? Weird, I thought Cat was supposed to be able to hear us from anywhere on the island. Maybe there's no microphones all the way down here? I guess so. I was going to tell her we got the cure now. Sweet, great work, Scarlet. You bet I did. We administered the cure to four, then we went back upstairs together. Cat? You there? What's up, Scarlet? I've been waiting hours for you guys. You two done yet? We got the cure now. We'll need your people's help to help administer it. 
We'll be right on it. Lie low for now. We're coming to get you. In the meantime, Torapon, how about you tell me about yourself? It'd be my pleasure. With Kat's help, we managed to quell the zombie plague, with just enough time left in the day for a lovely dinner with Scarlet. After that, I went for a night walk with Ali to somewhere safe for prying eyes. You should buy a girl dinner first before you murder her in the woods, you know. I think I found the way to bring the other's memories back. You found their lab, didn't you? Pretty much. Sweet. I wasn't sure how to get back there after they shipped us out of there. So that's a huge win. So where is it? There's a secret trapdoor in the games room. You just have to press a hidden panel in the wall. That said, how are you supposed to get in without being seen? There's cameras everywhere, and Scarlet and I were only allowed to enter because of the whole pandemic. Don't you worry about that. I've gone in inside, man. Horace going to be helping us override a few cameras and microphones in the mansion with old recordings. Or That way, we can get in and stay inside a long enough for to get to their memories back without raising any sort of fuss. Their brother that we KO'd today down the stairs? What's that look for? I'm surprised he's still standing after today, to be honest. I wouldn't work with people who go down that easy. Was four always working with you? Nope, never till now. But we can't afford to refuse his help. I had him prove his trustworthy. Don't worry, he can count on him. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, we have everything we need for the first part of the plan. Up for a trip down memory lane? Up for a trip down memory lane together? Sounds like a plan. Thoughts? You guys have to see this. Trust me. Ali put her hand against the secret panel. A second later, the wall parted to reveal the winding staircase for it became immediately and repeatedly familiar with. Did Ali prove Force Trust before? Or after his little trip on the stairs? Whoa. You guys found my secret spot already? I'm sorry, what? I found this place this morning. I sat near the top of the stairs and played for a while. It was uh, more fun to play in the dark. Hold me back, Tordapon. Thoughts. Ali explained the situation as we walked down the stairs. Sure enough, they were skeptical. Except for Scarlet. Okay, your story makes a little more sense when you come down here. We walked towards the machines in a mixture of awe and fear. The markings on this machine. My father's company made these. Why? They didn't. Not my baby. And I'm sorry, everyone. I wish that I, what I had to say wasn't true, but it is. I don't know why we're being kept here, but they filmed the show over and over. But I know that if we don't escape and fast, they're going to kill us sooner or later. So Dupon and I are going to do our very best to make sure all of us get out of here alive. But to do that, I need you to trust me. Trust you with what? I need you to trust me enough to step back into the tanks they kept you in. For us to escape, we need all of us to have our memories back. Otherwise, you won't trust us enough. I'd have to be quite foolish to just step into this tank because someone said so. Violet, you can trust her. Excuse me? I know she's telling the truth about this machine. Because I built this. Allie. Question mark. This isn't the first time we've met, is it? No, it isn't. We've gotten to know each other quite well a few times by now. It's a strange feeling. On one hand, this is horrible. On the other, I'm glad that the machine works. Maybe one day, we'll put it to use the way it should be. Alright, I'll trust you. Can we just walk back into the machine? We just walk back into the machine? I can read. Thank you, Violet. I know it must be difficult to trust me, so I appreciate it. There's a machine that should have your name on it. Go into it, and the Tordapon and I will start the reversal process. I do hope this works. It should, but it might hurt a bit. Do you spare me from the details, please. Scarlet and Violet walk to their respective machines. I don't really get it, but I trust you, Tordapon. And besides, I got a thing for big things made out of metal. They're like mecha. 
I guess. Is this going to hurt? It is. It is. I'm sorry, Yui. Don't be Totafon. I'm happy you wouldn't lie to me. It makes me even more sure to trust you. Here we go, Yui. Let's do this. Alright, they're in their tanks. Let's do this, Totafon. On it. Dots. Even if it was necessary for all of us, their screams from the reversal process were almost more than I could take. Ali and I covered our ears as Violet, Scarlet, Yui, and Tedder remembered years of memories in a matter of minutes. After doing all this, we better be getting out of here. Thoughts. Violet, Scarlet, Yui, and Tara stepped out of their tanks after what must have felt like hours to them. Guys, you okay? This probably isn't the time to mention it, but I made a bet with four about what would happen when they got their memories back. What did you bet? I'm gonna watch from a safer distance, if you don't mind. Question mark. If looks could kill, the girls that had just gone and out of the tanks would have killed me several times over. They ran to me yelling and screaming. You five-timing little cheater! Wait, I can explain. I... Too late. They were on me like hyenas. Ah... Well, poor Tortapon. Now that we've all calmed down, how about we go over the escape plan? It better be good, Allie. For your sake, Tortapon. Out with it, then. Alright, listen up. Over the next hour, where Allie explained her plan from start to finish. Trust me, it's the best we got. If oh, this is our plan, we're doomed. Congrats, Tortapon. You made it to day two. You really gave our audience a run for their money yesterday with Scarlet. And that's before we got the zombies involved, believe it or not. I'm glad to hear that. You think he'll choose Scarlet at the end of this? Too early to say. I figure it's best to make things seem uncertain as possible and not get too focused on any one girl. Cut said that getting low ratings during the show could end up with them shutting it down early. If that happened this time, then game over. The only reason why we're able to make these moves right now is because Ali's machine glitched out. Who knows if that would ever happen again. There's no room for error. Too early to say right now, but she's definitely up there, Kat. Wrong voice, but that's okay. I like the sound of that. But you do know what I like even more? Drama. And what better way to start that fire than a full day date with another woman? If it ain't broke. So who's it gonna be? Thoughts. Have you ever noticed that there's only one room in the mansion that's locked? Nope. Not even a bit. Really? It's right by the games room. It's not... And it's not the hidden one. I was trying to understand why you've been stuck here all this time. I was snooping around at night looking for snacks when I saw Kat open it using a black key that she kept on a key ring in her pocket. It's definitely a master key. I've seen her use the same key both on the mansion as well as on other buildings. Sounds like it'd be pretty good to get our hands on that. Exactly. If you get me that key for even a minute, I can make a mold of it that we can use as a duplicate key. I'm betting that would be pretty helpful for helping us get out of here to put it lightly. That's awesome. But wouldn't Kat notice her master key going missing? You're absolutely right. Especially if you or I try to take it. I'm feeling a butt coming. But it won't be you or I taking it. Question mark. Tomorrow, ask to take Yui on a date. Well, let me go get Yui. By the end of tonight, we'll both understand why it has to be yeah, you two. I'd say it sounds like a plan, but we have no idea what's going on. Okay. Trust me, Tortapon. When have I ever been wrong? I could list every single date we've been on as evidence. Those don't count. Yui. There's just something about her, you know? We'll make it happen. Thoughts. It was the first date since getting all the girls' memories back. We went for a walk out in the woods, the same day that we had when we truly had met again for the first time. 
It was a little awkward at first, figuring out how not to give away what we knew on camera, but figured it out pretty quick. It's so nice to, to see you again, Torepon. I feel the same way, Yui. After all this time, it's gotta be fate, hasn't it? It must be. To be honest, I feel like things are going a little over my head. This show, meeting you again, everything, it's, it's just moving so fast. Sometimes I feel like everything's just moving too fast for me to keep up. But with you, everything feels alright. Like, I know it's gonna be okay. But it'd be okay if we just spent today this way. She leaned in closer and put her arms around me. I wouldn't have it any other way, Yui. Wait a minute, what about getting the master key? Huh, I can tell from your face what you're thinking about. Don't worry, I've got that covered. Bun bun bun. The bunny. Look. Look at the bunny. Look at those little buzzies. He's so fluffy. Please appreciate the bunny. And it's glorious name, bun bun bun. Best part of the game, hands down, not gonna lie. Yes, the little fuzzies. Oh, well, well. Bun 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 darted out of a nearby bush and ran to Yui's side. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. She picked him up and hugged him tight. It was impossible not to smile. Almost forgot. Bun Bun Bun. Hunt. Bun 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 leapt out of her arms, then dashed towards the mansion. And with that out of the way, how about we walk for a little longer? What just happened? She reached for my hand, then held it tight. I'd like that. We walked and talked for hours. When we took breaks, whoops. When we took breaks, we laid next to each other on the grass, talking about anything and everything. Yui's a lovely girl. At times I remember how dire the situation we were in, and I couldn't help but freeze up. But with Yui, I'm never afraid to face those fears. She makes me braver with just a smile. Even when she couldn't ask directly about what was on my mind, she found ways to comfort me despite that. And in turn, to make her smile made me feel lighter than air. A life with her could be wonderful. Would be wonderful, I can read. I've got to make sure to get us uh, all out of here safe. Torepan? Yeah? I love you, Torepan. I hope we can spend another day together just like this soon. Hey, if you meet you, could you do me a favor? I've been dying to know how many endings there are to this game, but I don't want to spoil myself. So could you possibly look that up for me and tell me how many endings there are? Because I know you're really, really good about not t giving me spoilers when I don't want them. Like, Steins Gate. Please and thank you. Many heart twos. I'll keep reading while I wait. Uh, I like that. Me too, Yui. Thank you, many love. We walked back to the mansion together, hand in hand, then went our separate ways. Torepon, you would not believe what happened to me today. What happened, Kat? I got attacked by some kind of forest monster. It was at least ten feet tall and monstrous teeth and... There was at least five of them. It took everything I had to not laugh. Luckily, I managed to fight them off without any permanent injury. I made sure that Ford deleted the footage. That shit was both embarrassing and traumatic. That's good to know. This is the worst run yet, man. What do you mean by that? Oh, nothing. I just had a long day. It was Bun Bun, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure. I'll bet. You should get some rest while you have the chance. Five forest beasts is nothing to sniff at. There are seven endings. Good to know. Good to know. You're making fun of me, aren't you? Not at all, cat. Forest beasts affect to one in ten people. It could happen to you. Right, right. I'll see you later, Torapon. Good night, Torapon. Wait. Yeah. Good night, Torapon, says Torapon. No acknowledgement of that. Okay. That must have been an error. That's funny, though. 
Mission success. I can't believe that worked. How did you train your pet bunny to do all that? It's all thanks to her special training last night. I may have made a few contracts with a few devils from the forest, but... I'm sorry, what? I'm half kidding. Don't worry about it. Half kidding? Like, a few contracts. So if you're half kidding, you made one and a half contracts? UE? Which half? Are the keys ready to use? Not yet, which sucks. It's gonna take a little longer for the makeshift plaster to set. Where did she get the plaster from anyway, by the way? Believe me, knowing more about how we got it will not make you any happier as a person. I'm cool with not knowing. Anyway, the case will probably be usable by tomorrow morning, but you'll have to have your next date by then. I'll test them out as soon as it's uh, t night tomorrow. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Awesome. Let's go, team. How about you let the rest of the girls know, Torapan? Forrest disabled the audio recordings in the house that night, so we should be good to talk back up there. I'll let them know. I walked back up the staircase, back to the mansion. Where are they? Ah, oh, I can hear some sounds from the kitchen. I'll make my way over. Thoughts. Hey, Violet. How are you? Question mark. <laughs> Goodness. Apologies. Sorry, Torapon. I didn't see you there. You seem pretty deep in thought. What's on your mind? Besides the, say, five hundreds of different versions of memories of the same week? I'm worried for the people back home. Yubi has her sisters to worry about, though she tries not to burden anyone with that feeling. Oops. Everyone has family out there, and who knows what happened to them in the last, well, however long we've been trapped here. I've never gotten along with my parents that well, but even so, they must be worried sick. Dots. I'm sure they're doing fine, Violet. And they're going to be so happy to see you again. You're right, Torapon. There's no way you can know that for sure. Could you? I guess so, but we've got to believe, right? I suppose you're right. Once again, Torapon. When we finally escape this dreadful place, I'm going to hold them so tight. That's kind of funny. What is Violet? I told you I had a twin sister, right? Yeah, you did. Her name was Viola? I would be her. She was always my parents' favorite. You know the type. She came first in just about everything, while I did not. Even so, we got along just fine. I was proud to call her my sister. Then there was the accident. She... She saw the car before I did. She moved to protect me before I could, and in the end, she was hit before I was. She died for it. I'm so sorry, Violet. I... Before then, I had no problem being second place to her. But for her sake, just that one time, I wish I had come in first. I'm over sharing her and I. I apologize. I... It's been a... It's okay, Violet. Just say what you're feeling. You're kind, what upon. It's something I adore about you, you know? After Viola died, I did my very best to live up to the standard she set for my parents. You can probably guess how well that went. I wasn't as good as running the business or appearing prim and proper or even things like finding a partner. It's a little embarrassing, really. That's the whole reason why I came here. My parents saw an ad for the show and thought it might help me. Or perhaps they just wanted to kick me out of the house to make more room for my new baby brother. I couldn't resist the chance for them to support me for once. At times, I feel like I can't do anything right. Look at how this show is developed. This is a nightmare in every regard. Violet. Yes? I held her in my arms tightly. Question mark. You're an incredible woman, and believe me, there's nothing you can't do. I seen you put the fear of God into the Brothers Five, and make delicious meals that some people would probably kill for. Even if this is a nightmare, it's one we're going to get out of together, and we wouldn't be able to do it without you. 
thoughts. You're too kind. But thank you for the... I appreciate it. But enough about me. Have you remembered anything about why you came here? Unfortunately, I haven't. But I'm hoping that the Master Key we pilfered will help with that. I hope so, for your sake. But my event word does not provide any answers. My previous offer stands about help, about finding your you help outside of here to get your memories back. Stands. Thank you, Violet. I appreciate that. It's the least I could do. I still fancy you quite a bit, you know. I know it's not the time or place, but maybe when we get out of here, perhaps you'll join me for, say, a lovely cruise around what's left of the world. And I'm looking forward to that day. As am I. We talked for a few moments longer before retiring for the night. For once, I lay in my bed not worrying about being killed. For once, I was excited for what tomorrow would bring. It's only up from here. I... Torapan. Hallie, what are you? Never mind that. Never mind that. You've got to come to the lab. What is it? We found something. And I know you'll want to see it. She reached for my hand and pulled me as we ran. Thoughts. Before we find out, I'm going to do a quick save in case things go stupid. But I'm going to go piss. I got to go pee. Uh, I'll be right back though.
Okay, hi, hello, I'm back. My bladder is relieved. Um, I should sit back down. <laughs> Very good. I love Iron Mouse. That's actually one of the ideas I have for animated emo slots. The little pop. The pop. Poppity pop. I have so many emote slots, oh my god. I'll probably talk to you about ideas, honestly. Because I have more ideas than... Well... I have more emotes than I have ideas for. Although, a couple of the slots were for, like, chat to say, so I'm probably gonna have to set up a new forum for that. Um... We... Okay, anyways, back. Back to this. Oh. This is going on for a lot longer. Like... It's going on for as long as how long to beat said it would, but it still has been feeling like a lot longer than I was expecting at the same time. I'm not sure I'm gonna have the energy for nap, but we'll see what happens. Oh, I guess speaking of energy, um... Oh shit, it's already 7, what the fuck? Okay, um... Anyways... Any whoozles? <laughs> Last time I was aware of the time was like two hours ago, if I can be honest. Like, if I can be wholly honest. Um. Anyways, I was. Yeah, now. now I, okay, I definitely got a message. Um. Spookster to get me Red Bull. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna send him a cryptic text. Like I did with Nigiri yesterday when we got Miku. Hopefully he'll understand. Because I asked him about it earlier today, so... Uh, Daijabu? No. How much time is left on the timer? Actually, hang on. 12 hours. Still more closer to 13 hours than 12, but... I don't... Uh, could you guys... Would you guys increase the timer so the timer doesn't end at 7 a.m.? Please. Please. I, I, can I have time to sleep? Can I have time to eat tonight? Please. That is all I ask for. <laughs> I don't even ask to reach the next goal. I just ask to eat. I want sufficient time to eat. But if the timer ends at 7 a.m., almost 8 a.m., I'm not gonna have time to eat. Plus, spare my soul. <laughs> and spare my very broken soul. Uh, I have fun info for you, Hifumichu. If you have the money to drop three more gift subs, you'll get the green present box instead of your purple one. Just throwing that info out there because you've gifted two subs, so you're three subs away from the five. So, Queen, Queen gift box next to your name for the badges. You just throwing out that, just throwing that information out there, mainly because you're the only active chatter right now. You're being targeted. <laughs> but you like the Orple, hmm? But the greens are pretty green. Like if you. Click on the all-time chatter so you can see the green. Yes, you are being targeted. But hey, at least you're being targeted for your wallet and not being jump scared like I did to Glass earlier today. <laughs> but anyways. <laughs> yeah, so what happened with Glass is that like I went to my lunch, like at my food for lunch, and then when I came back, I startled Glass, and then I purposefully startled Glass by doing the OnStars um, redeem, but I didn't use channel points. I went to sound alert, so that way they didn't know what was coming before, like had no chance, and I got them again, and only them, no one else that was active in chat actually got got by the sound alert, so. I'm such a nice person. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway. Like I said, do what you will with that information. <clears throat> I 
I do target another person, but it's okay. Because if you may choose my favorite person to go to target with. Anyways, the other girls were already there, crowded around a table with a pile of folders on top of it. You're scared. Don't be scared. <laughs> do not be afraid. <clears throat> Wait, what do you say that you love? Like, what's happening right now? Or... Or do you love me? It's okay to say you love me, because I love you too, Hifumichu. I don't know what's going on. Oh. The being targeted equals favorite person goes to target with. Ah, yes. Yes, I mean, I had to. I had to. Anyways. What's going on? I was just looking around the lab when I stumbled across these. I am very clever. Thank you. At least whenever I have the brain cell. Which is very rare. And there are files. I don't read anyone's but my own, but I have to warn you. Caution was the last thing on all our minds. Most of us scramble to find our own file. Except for Yui, who was already holding hers. And Allie. Weird. There's no file for me here. I double checked, but there was nothing for me. Guess I'm not getting any answers today. Allie slowly walked to the pile, found her own, and opened it in one fluid motion. Interesting. What is it? Allie Major, sent to an island for being suspected of committing treason against the government. Selected for the experimental show for fitting the sporty girl archetype. We needed one of those. <laughs> it's good to know the whole getup was a good idea. Did you know I actually fucking hate sports? I've never seen Allie look so angry. Let's see. They got all the fake information I gave. That sounds about right. Exclamation mark. What is it? They've been taking extremely detailed notes on me for every single run of the show for the past two years. What I've done, things I've said in private or with others, they got notes down here to how... Oh, and when I brush my teeth. How I react differently when they change the show or tell me different things or... Or nothing but lab rats to them. It's true, and it's my fault. What do you mean? If I hadn't invented this machine in the first place, none of this would have ever happened. It's not your fault, Scarlet. You never... You really wanted to help people, and that was a great thing. Whoever used to your invention for this is to blame, not you. If you say so, Totopon. Blame the person, not the tool. My file says that they wiped my memories and put me on the show to make sure that... No one else could build this technology? I can't even begin to understand how that could even be a reason for causing all of this. I'm not sure we'd even want to understand the people who run this place. The room fell silent. I wanted to crack a joke to ease the tension, but it was impossible. Thank goodness. Wait, what? I'm surprised to hear you say that, Yui, all things considered. Huh, sorry, I, I know that must have sounded. Uh, sorry guys. Mine's the same as Ali's. They tracked, measured, and commented on so many things about us. So many times. It feels so violating. But it's not all bad. Did I ever tell you why I came on this show, Torapon? No. Why is that? <sighs> I forgot. I wasn't allowed to tell you. That was one of the conditions. Question mark. To be completely transparent. The reason was money, and nothing but that. It was hard enough to take care of myself without my parents, alone two sisters and a whole farm. I remember now. It was Kat who reached out to me. She told me that if I came onto the show, my sisters in the farm would be taken care of for life. I know this is so horrifying, but I'm just glad she held up her end of the deal. Even if I might die here and never see them again. That's too depressing to think, Yui. You're going to get out of here and see your sisters again. Together. Thanks, Horapon. I'd like that. I'm curious, Yui. What kind of archetype did they list you as? 
uh, the girl next door. Damn it. That sounds a lot better than gaming gremlin. <laughs> Yubi, Scarlet, Arlet, Allie, and I laughed. In times like these, having a mood lifter like Tara round was cr critical. I looked at Violet, who had been silent the whole time. She was trembling. Violet, are you... Please, God, don't let this be true. Violet fell to her knees and sobbed with her hands against her face. I rushed to her side. Are you okay, Violet? Violet threw her folder against the floor, causing the papers inside to scatter through the room. Nothing is okay, Torapon. It doesn't matter if I get off this island or not. I'm not like you. I have nothing to go back to. No one to stand by me. There's nothing left for me either way. Violet, wait. She ran to the stairs, her sobs extra through the staircase and went through the lab. I moved to follow her, but Yui stopped me. I think she might some I think she might need some time alone toward a pond. I didn't mean to look, but after her scatters after her scatters papered around the room, I maybe you should just read it. Yui handed me the papers that were in Violet's file. Violet Valentine is a special case. Otherwise unremarkable, but she's the daughter of Edgar and Fayyan Valentine, one of our primary investors. It is my understanding that they may have recently had a son and want for him to be the next heir after Viola passed. Edgar and Viant Vane sent the remaining daughter, Violet, to us, full well knowing what the show would entail. They paid us an incredible sum to make sure that she does not return from the show. Even for me, this is too cruel. It was too hard to keep reading. I closed the folder and just stared open mouth at Yui. There were no words. I knocked on Violet's door later that night, but it was no use. Please, just leave me alone, Dora Plan. I'm here if you want to talk, Violet. Even if she opened the door, I would have no idea what I was supposed to say. What could anyone say? And I was wrong. It's not only up from here. There's a long way down. Mm. It's hardly a surprise, but I didn't sleep well last night. Who could, after what happened? And just like that, we're on to day three! I gotta thank you, Torapon. You're making my job easy. I actually get to spend my nights doing productive things now. I'm happy to help with that, however that works. You alright? You don't seem to have your usual energy. Careful, Torapon. One slip up with Cat and this is all over. I'm good. Thanks, Cat. I just didn't sleep too well. Happens to the best of us. Anyway, you guys without saying that Yui's definitely a contender for the final ceremony, hmm? We'll see. I'm not so sure just yet. Oh, really? That's a surprise. Well, not my problem. Anyway, who stays unlucky, girl? So, who should I be asking on a date tomorrow? Honestly, joking aside, I think you should ask Violet. Really? I don't think she's in any shape to be put on a good show. I mean, we need all of us to be able to work together. Well, to get out of here, right? I don't think Violet would be able to until she's feeling better. And what better way to do that than for a date to make you feel special? Tara does have a great point. I always make great points. Hmm. <laughs> Like seeing if I could arm wrestle one of the zombies Scarlet made. That went great. Did it? Oh, I remember that. Wait, I was the zombie. That was not a good idea at all. Can I take my vote back? What do you think, Torapon? I like the idea. We could kill two birds with one stone. I'm sure there's something that we could do to help us escape. That we could only do on a date with Violet. Hmm. I've got it. Tomorrow, you'll be going on a date with Violet. Here's what you gotta do. Violet. Oop. 
I've always wanted to spend more time with her, and there's no time like the present. We'll make it happen. I do have one small request, though. What's that? And will it give me ratings? I think it will. Then let's hear it. I noticed Violet being a little down lately, so I wanted to cheer her up. I heard that she really likes cooking, especially in groups. Would you mind if we cooked with the staff at new? I don't see why not. Let's hope it goes better than the last time. Thoughts? Well, hi, Torapon. Why did you bring me here? I'm in a bit of a predicament. You see, I may have made an irresponsible bet. I did not take you for a gambler. Well, I'm not, but the thing is, I heard the cooks bragging that they were the best chefs on the island. But hey, I try the food you've made before. I know nobody else could come close to how good you are. So I may have challenged them all to a competition in your name. Thoughts. You are ridiculous, Torathon. Violet laughed out loud. What is that smile I like so much? It was nice to see it again. Are you being serious? Dead serious. In a few hours, hundreds of staff are going to come here. Some of them as the challenging cooks, some of them as judges, the rest of them looking for lunch. All of them hungry. Think you're up for the challenge? I'm ready to crush the opposition. They will rue the day they challenged me. And that's the violet I like to see. Anyway, what is the theme of this contest? I can't tell you just yet. It'll be announced when it's cooking time. I do like a challenge. Would you care to stay with me as I prepare for the festivities? Of course, Violet. Thank you, Torapon. I know why we're doing this, and I... I appreciate it. I'm not ready to talk about it just yet, but... I feel happier already, knowing you're looking out for me. I'm good. I'm always gonna be here for you, Violet. And I for you as well, Torapon. We spent the time before the contest just talking about pleasant things completely unrelated to the show. Completely unrelated to anything of consequence. Sometimes, when bad things happen, what you need most is just a semblance of normalcy. And here they are. By the time noon rolled out, hundreds of staff members were filing up the kitchen. I don't want to face you, Violet, but I will if I must. Oh, you're challenging me? Like a snail challenging the mighty eagle. You have my respect. Yep. Is it too late to change sides? You're going down, Violet. We are the Brothers Five, the best chefs on the island. What's that, too? What I mean to say is, wow, you really are the best chef on the island. That's right. Damn it, bros. You can't let her intimidate you like this. If we do, she's already won. Say something for her. We will meet on the culinary battlefield, Violet. You may have my brothers running for the hills, but not me and five. Come at me. Let us brandish our forks against each other. Five, do you have anything to say? Wait, what's happening? I do hope you'll entertain me, brothers. Violet raised a pan towards them. Let us begin. It's time for the cook-off to end all cook-offs. Each cook will cook their own version of a mystery dish. Dish that I will soon reveal for the first time ever. The judges will be... Everyone who is not a contestant. Exclamation mark. You must be joking. There's hundreds of people here. How could we ever feed everybody? That's not my problem. And I definitely didn't come up with the rules for this tournament on the spot. Liar. Violet laughed once more. That was enough to keep this charade going. The mystery dish will be spaghetti and meatballs. Like taking candy from a baby. Not this again. Oh god, I think I'm gonna faint. One collapse on the full ground. <laughs> god damn. One down, four to go. Bro. I knew we should have been accountants. Why are we fooling ourselves? You each have one hour. No late submissions will be accepted. Let the games begin. The contestants, that were still conscious, rushed off to gather ingredients. How are they gonna make that much food? I'm sure we'll figure something out. Watched each of them cook furiously at breakneck speed. 
Violet was hard at work, sweat streaming down her face with the biggest smile I've ever seen her have all day. I couldn't help but smile as well. At the same time, Poor was trying to cook his spaghetti with only a microwave. I'm not sure this will be too much of a contest. One minute left. Violet filled hundreds of laid out bowls with spaghetti and meatballs in a matter of moments. If you blinked, you'd miss her, miss her finish your whole holes. Each looked both delicious and artistic. You would have thought a cook have spent much longer than an hour putting each of them together. Five settled on making about four and a half bowls. I guess everyone has their own pace. Time's up. It's time to judge. The crowd cheered as they stampede to the laid out bowls. They were practically salivating. After everybody wobbled down bowls from each of the contestants, they submitted their vote. The people have spoken. And with a resounding majority, one, our first ever winner of the best chef on the island, the middle of nowhere award is Violet. The crowd cheered, myself included. I did it, me, I did it. Violet jumped up and down with joy. No, I felt like a kid in a candy store just from one look at her. You won fair and square. You should be proud of yourself. Yeah, your food was the best I'd ever had. Though if you consider our living standards, that doesn't mean too much. Hey, I just had an idea. What if we get Violet to cook for the stun for the staff at lunch instead of us? Seriously, it's been years since we had real food. What's that supposed to mean? Honestly, I think it's a great idea. I know I hide it well, but I really have no idea what I'm doing in the kitchen. No way, bro. Violet and I took a look at each other and couldn't help but laugh. I would love to, you guys. The crowd's enthusiasm reached a level of glorious applause. Violet, 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 Violet. Oh goodness, I, you're all too kind. I put my arm around her and smiled. Guess you got a new job now, Violet. I guess I do. I. Violet leaned in to kiss me on the lips. For a moment, time stood still. The only thing you could hear was the crowd's cheer getting even louder. Violet, Violet, Violet. We laughed together. I've had so much fun today, Torapon, thanks to you. Care to join me by the beach after we clean this place up? What a mess up for a thing. Or for the world. <laughs> the world wouldn't pale like in comparison. Thoughts. Hey. She reached her hand out to mine, and I held hers tight in return. Hey, Violet. You really gave them a great show today, you know? I couldn't have done that without my ever-so-charming television host. We walked along the beach, our feet bare in the inviting water of the ocean. Really, I... I'm so grateful to you, Torapon. Last night, I finally got what my parents did. I... That was the lowest point I'd ever been to. I held her hand even tighter. Honestly, I... I didn't see a way out. Escaping the island or not. Everything seemed like a dead end. But today, you helped me remember that even without them, I've still got me. And I like me quite a bit. You really are incredible, Violet. That was all you. I'm with you. Violet mumbled something under her breath. Sorry, what was that? Ugh, sorry, let me try again. I know I'd be fine on my own, but I'd never like me better if I was with you. When we get out of here, I do hope you join me for that cruise. She kissed me again. I felt like magic. Violet, I... She put her finger against my lips. Shh, I know it's not quite time for this conversation yet. But please do remember what I've said when this is all over. Do you mind if we walk for just a little longer? I... I don't want this to end. I'd like that. We walked together till the dead of night. It was nothing less than magical. Thoughts. Just after we came back, a huge storm hit outside. We just missed it, damn. Hope you two enjoyed your date today. I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's time we get the show on the road. Ali took out the master key from her pockets, banded around her ring with the 
her finger, then put it in the locked door. And we're in. She turned the lock, then pulled the door open. Whoa, the door's a little heavier than I thought it would be. Must be soundproof or something. Whatever, let's go. Oh man, not another staircase. They would have saved so much money if they just put this on the main floor. But it wouldn't be very secret then, would it? Secret shmecret. It's behind a locked door. I guess you have a point. Though there was another staircase, it wasn't nearly as long as the one to the lamb. We'd been walking down the steps for only a few moments when we saw where they led. This has to be it. What's it? A while back, Kat told me that all the information on this island was stored in books. They didn't use anything digital or with the internet. I think I remember that too. Well, that's bullshit. They're an evil corporation, intent on world domination through fear and control. Of course they have the internet. And I think we just found a way into the into their closets, skeletons and all. Sounds like a pretty big deal. That's an understatement. The information in here could change the tide of the war. It could give the resistance a real fighting chance, I think. But there's more than that too. What do you mean? My dad, mom, and my brother got taken by these guys a long time ago. I, I don't even know if they're still alive. I was too young to really understand what was happening. If there's anything that could help me find them again, or at least find out what happened to them, it's in this computer. That was the real reason I came here. The whole reason I risked everything. I... What if it doesn't have fit what I'm looking for? What if... Ellie. Yui ran to Ellie's side and hugged her tightly. It's gonna be okay. You believe in me, right? She took deep breaths. I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm okay now. Thanks, Yui. I didn't do anything. Are you ready? Let's do this. I looked to Violet as Ali prepared me prepared to turn the computer on. She looked as concerned as I did, but we couldn't let it show. The screen lit up with a single message. Password required. Well, I did think it was going a little too smoothly. I'm not giving up just yet, though. She tried a few different passwords on the keyboard, but none of them worked. Damn it. I bet only Damien or Cat know this. There's no way we could just ask them. Silence fell upon the room. It can't end like this. It just can't. Now I've got an idea. It's not gonna insolve the huh. Let's try that again. It's not gonna involve wrestling zombies again, is it? Hey, I've had better ideas than that. What I mean to say is I I think I have a way to crack the code. I'm a programmer. I can make something that could try all the possibilities for the password. It would take some time, especially if it locks me out after too many attempts, but eventually I'd get the password. Though there's no guarantee we'd get the answer before the show was over. Dots. And that's a lot better of a shot than I thought we'd had. Ellie ran over to Tara and hugged her tightly. Thank you, you little awesome little you. I added to my littles, but she is little. Uh, this is nice. Feel free to compliment me more. In the meantime, the rest of us can try to figure out to what the password would be as well. That reminds me, I need to tell you guys something important. What's that? That's... I have our escape plan. She took out the master key and held it out for us to see. There's a hidden hangar I found by the beach, just a little further from where I first found the plane. Now that we have this key, and we know that it works, we can use it to disable the hangar security, command deer a plane, then fly the hell out of here. He practically jumped for joy. I can't believe it. We're almost out of here. It's been a long time coming. Well, soon, but not just yet. With the storm raging, there's no way we're getting anywhere tonight. At least of all off the ground. But there's clear skies tomorrow night. That's where we'll be. What about the computer? Don't you need to crack it before we go? Yeah, what about your family? Well, that'd be the ideal case. But honestly, I've gotten to know you guys and care about you guys, and I... 
and decide that's more important to save the people I care about that are right in front of me than chase a pipe dream. No, I won't accept it. If I were in your shoes and I was looking for my sisters and I just gave up looking for them, I'd regret it forever. And I know you would too. But I can't ask you guys to stay here any longer. We're in danger if we stay here. Yui speaks for us too. To have family that you really care about and that cares about you too. You can't give up on that. We're not going anywhere till we crack that code. Even it takes till the last day. You guys... No, I can't allow it. I won't take that chance with your lives. I'm not backing down on this. What do you think, Twitterpon? <sighs> um... Man, what do I think? Like, I think we should, like, at least try until the next day. Like, see if we get it by tomorrow night, and if we don't get it by tomorrow, leave. I don't think it's worth the risk trying to stay until the last day. But if I say we can't take this risk, does that mean they won't even try that much? Yeah, there's no real in-between option. Mm. Goddamn. I've been pretty good about not really feeling a need to, like... I'll do a quick save. Um... I don't know. What's your insight, Fumichu? I'll have you help me decide. I'm genuinely not sure what what's the better option here. Because I do want to romance Ali by the end of it, but I don't know if disagreeing with her here would help us get that. Personally, you wouldn't take the risk because she can just use the internet when she's out, right? Um, I mean, I guess she wouldn't necessarily be able to find the answer on the internet because, like, like, I think her thinking is that the information is on the computer, like this computer specifically, rather than just on the internet in general. But... I'll go with what you said. We can't take this risk. Like, she might be able to find more information on the internet regardless, even if it's not the most solid answer, if that makes sense, too. So. Yeah. I don't... Guys, guys, take a chill pill for a second. Question mark. I am a programming god. Best of the best. I'm gonna have that code cracked by tomorrow, and that's a promise. Okay, I think what I picked might have... Hang on, I'm really curious, hang on. I'll do not a quick save here. I want to see what would have happened if we picked the other one. 
Then I won't. Yeah, that's fine. You're gonna take this chance. I'll let you think you need this. I. Okay, either way, it was gonna end up being this. Okay, that's fine. Um. I still rather go back to, like, this option. I don't know if... There we go. Anyways. So don't worry, okay? I love you guys. Thank you so much. Really. Why are you thanking all of us? I'm the one who asked to write the code and shit. <laughs> we left together. Something that I thought might have been impossible after the initial bad news. We're in this together. And we're getting out together. No one gets left behind. After we called it a night, I laid in bed, deep in thought. Who would have thought I could have ended today feeling inspired after everything that happened last night? You got this. We... Tarapan, one more thing before we turn in for the night. What's up, Tara? I got caught up in the heat of the moment earlier and... Oh no. I got no idea. No, 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 no. I do not like where this is going. How to do this cuz... I remember that I'm, uh, all I know about hacking are videos of people typing really fast and saying, I'm in and, yeah. I practically flew out of bed. Thank God it was just a nightmare. What does it take to have a good night's sleep while on a killer dating show? Come on. What are you smiling about? Yesterday's date with Violet. It feels like things are going my way lately. Yesterday's date with Violet still has me feeling as giddy as a little kid. It's almost like there are perks to being on a killer dating show. Well, don't get too comfortable. You still got a few days left, and then it's back to the regular. I'm looking forward to that. I bet. Better sooner than later. You cost too much to keep around. Anyway, the million dollar question. Who's today's lucky girl? That'd be... Time for flashback to find out what they agreed on. So, tomorrow. It's gonna be either Tara or Allie. Hmm, it's probably best if we go with Tara. But doesn't Tara need time to crack the code? Nah, I already finished making the code breaker. Let's try and get every password as we speak. No guarantee I'll finish before we're both done our dates, but it's worth a shot. Thank you, Tara. Don't worry about it. Besides, I think it's uh, better if we save your date for last. Why is that? I don't know. You're some super spy from su super secret organization. You're definitely got bigger heist potential than I do. I don't know about that, but sounds good to me. I'll use the time to prepare some cut the contingency plans. Scarlet, Violet, Yui, I'm gonna need you guys for this. I'm happy to provide assistance. You bet. I'll help however I can. Sweet. Alright. Uh, right. Torapon. What's up? I don't just build a code. Didn't just build a code breaker. I built a game that works with it too. What do you mean? She handed me her console. I just whipped it up real quick. It looks like a code breaking game, but really, it works directly with the computer we found. If you get the password right in the game, we'll have access to the computer. Makes sense? Amazing. I can't believe you whipped up something so fast. It wasn't hard. It was just a big middle finger to my mom who thought all my screen time was a waste of time. Anyway, I figure we can play this game here and during our date, try whatever passwords come to mind. Obviously, not for the whole date, because ratings and all, but as much as we can. It sounds like a plan. It's pretty solid, honestly. <laughs> I'm a genius, Torapan. Chicago man, I clean. You are. I'd like to spend today with Tara. Is that so? Well, we'll make it happen. Trying to spend all of it playing games, though. Believe it or not, that isn't what viewers want in the prime time slot. No promises, but I'll try my best. It ain't much, but I'll take that. Sorry, cat. That's pretty much the plan. Hey Totapon, you up to play some games? I'd love to, but Kat wants us to do some other games it is, sweet. There's no stopping Tara when she puts her mind to something. 
We started playing together in the games room while making pleasant conversation. Normal enough to seem like a regular conversation, cryptic enough to disguise what we were trying to do. Even if Tara and I never went on crazy adventures like I did with Allie, it didn't make it moments with her any less special. If I forget that we're going to hack into some confidential database, this really is like a day at home with your partner. How about Tara is the best? It's worth a shot. Nope, doesn't work. The nerve of them. Terra rules? Well, that's a miss. Was the T capitalized? Maybe add 0123 at the end of it. Thank goodness we have the code breaker running in the background. Time to switch gears. Let's give Kat some footage to work with to keep us alive. Good god, Torapan. Why the sun? <laughs> Go on without me. Okay, maybe this wasn't the best idea. Some way or another, we always end up back inside the mansion, huh? And there's nothing wrong with that. I guess you're right. Over a few more rounds of the game we just played? Sure. How about Damien Black sucks? Nope, doesn't work. Cat Black sucks. Not that either. How about Tortafan? Oh, come on, now you're just guessing. Like it wasn't before? Well, I'll try it. Ding ding! The two of us looked at each other like deer in the high headlights. What? We cheered as if our favorite team just won at a sporting event. Wait a minute, why would the password be your name? That doesn't make any sense. My guess is as good as yours. Maybe we'll find out tonight. I hope so. I think I've had enough of games for today. I never thought I'd hear you say that, Taro. I'm full of surprises. We can spread the good news after. How about we try something new today? Something outside? Sounds like a plan to me. Awesome, let's go. We ended up going back inside a minute later, but the rest of the day with Tara was still a lot of fun. Thoughts? And we're in. The pastor prompt closed with a satisfying ding ding. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff in here. Why would there be a folder called Homework? Whoa, that is definitely a porn folder name. Tara was about to open it until Ali intervenes. <laughs> Do you mind if I take a look? Ah, I forgot why we were here for a second. Sure. Question mark. Let's see. Ali started going through folders, databases, reports, anything that could be useful. At the same time, Tara started downloading all of the files to her console. Doesn't look like there's anything here about why the name was the password. Why my mom, huh, mom, why my name was the password. All the rest of us could do was give Ali and Tara the space they needed. Seems like it's only going to be up from here, team. I was worried for Ali, especially if we couldn't get into the computer, but it looks like we got it after all. It's way too soon to say anything, but I hope you're right. Let's not jinx it. So what about the first thing you're going to do when we're out of here? I thought we weren't going to jinx it. I'm going to get straight back to helping people the way I know best. Nothing's changed in that regard. That's a lovely aspiration. Do me a favor and make sure your inventions don't get used on yourself again, okay? I mean, it's not like I was trying to. I admire how you can be so sure. As excited as I am to leave this place, I'm not quite sure what I'll be doing after. That's totally okay, Violet. That's part of the fun of life. Just figuring it out as you go. I... I suppose so. Violet looked at me and smiled. And that's pretty much my plan at this point, too. Guess he's back, bit. What Tara wants to say is, we did it. I've got everything I need to help the tide of the war end. I know where my family is. <laughs> They're alive. i never seen Allie so happy. She jumped towards me and hugged me. Oof. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's such a relief. I'm so happy for you, Allie. Good job, Tara. You cracked the code. 
Not all at once now. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Thank you so much. We didn't have to wait this long to leave. But you guys did it for me and my family. I can't ever thank you enough. She pulled out the master key from her back pocket and swirled it around in her right hand. You guys ready to get out of here? Actually, I was thinking of staying here for the rest of my life. Not having internet is the best thing ever. I couldn't agree more. Er... Well, let's get out of here. After you, Allie. We followed Ali out of the mansion, through the forest into the hangar. Whoa, I did not see this. Granted, I don't go outside. I don't blame you, it's pretty out of the way. Not that we have to worry about it now. Ali pulled out the master key and swirled it around her right hand. She walked to the door of the hangar and put the key into its lock. Question mark. She tried to turn it, but it didn't work. She tried a few more times, but the lock refused to budge. I... I don't understand. I've seen Kat use this key everywhere, including here. They must have changed the locks. Does that mean we're stuck here? I don't... It was rare that Allie tripped over her words, but it's hurt to see her so defeated. I don't know. Dots. An uncomfortable silence fell over us. Am I going to die here? Or all of us? I... No. We're not out of this just yet. I refuse to give up again. But we can't get into the hangar. There's no way to break in without triggering the alarms. For now, yes. But getting in later is a different story. If I remember correctly, when you went on a third date with Torepon, you would fly in a plane together. Well, I'm assuming the plane was you two. It just felt like good you to try something crazy and drag in Torepan. And I can't refute that. That was definitely us. How we never dive on those plane rides? I'll never know. That means the staff don't mind if you take the plane during the date, which means we should be able to ask for the key temporarily. You'd be able to get the plane. It just has to be during tomorrow's date. There'd be way more staff around than usual, but we still have a chance. Exactly. The rest of us can be relatively close by, perhaps at the beach, to avoid suspicion. Then, when you get the plane, you run over, you pick us up, and we're out of here. This could work. It's way better than how my plan turned out anyway. I was worried for a second there, but it was for nothing. We've got this. We'd be in a tight spot without you. It's a team effort. Without each of us here, we'd be stuck here. With no chance of escape, I'm sure. <clears throat> Speak for yourself. I'm sure I could get out of here on my own. You never went outside. You would shut yourself down the second you reached the beach, Tara. On second thought, maybe dream work teamwork makes the dream work. We laughed together. The mood was infinitely better than it was just a few moments ago. We spent the rest of the night talking through the details of the plan, including what we'd do if the unexpected happened. One thing was for sure though, we aren't giving up on getting out of here. It all ends tomorrow. What do you know, Toreban? You actually made it to the last one-on-one -on -one date. How are you feeling? Pretty good. Honestly, pretty good. I'm excited to see how a date with Ali will be. I read that with Kat's voice. No, you got a real surprise in store. She has all of us in the crew working extra hard to prepare a special date for you. And by all of us in the crew, I mean the brothers five. How about you go find her, spend some time together while we set things up for you? Sounds like a plan, Cat. Let's see. Oh, looks like she's by the beach. Guess that's where I'm headed. Don't do anything we can't air. Murder is okay, but God forbid someone takes their top off. I waved to Cat as I went on my way. Just as Kat said, Allie was by the beach. She was looking out at the ocean. Morning, Allie. Torefan, it's always nice to see you. The difference between Allie's voice during the day and night was like day and night. I guess we have to worry about the cameras, but still. 
It takes some getting used to. I know it's going to be tough to top your previous dates with all the other girls, but I think I have a good shot. I'm looking forward to it, Ali. You better be. We've been saving the best for last. She reached out my hand. Walk with me. I reached to, for her outstretched hand. It'd be my pleasure. The two of us walked around the beach for a while, getting to know each other. So what will you be doing when the show is over? First thing I'm gonna do is say hey to my family again and make them a nice dinner. I'm sure they've gone sick with worry in the week I've been gone. I wonder what they're thinking now. It's been at least two years since then. Kat was right. Sometimes not remembering is a blessing. Allie doesn't have that luxury. Anyway, I got a surprise for you. Come on. She'll pull me along by the hand into the forest. I have to say, Allie's really impressed me. Of course, it was her deliberate plan to come into the forest and get to the hangar, but she made it seem so spontaneous. You're going to love it. I saw it the same moment she did. It was all we could do was stand and watch. I can read. No. She staggered and almost fell. And who could blame her? The hangar was engulfed in the roaring flames. The heat was incredible. There was no way either of us could take another step toward the hangar without being burned alive. The scent of burning oil assaulted me without mercy. We were at a loss for words. And in front of all those flames was her, walking away from the flames. Somehow I just know it was her. Sorry, Allie, tore up on. There's been a small change of plans. I'm sure you can tell, but we hit a few snags at the hangar. How about you two spend your day on the ground instead? I want to scream. I want to attack her with every bone in my body. Uh, this calls for a save. Um, Let's attack her, because fuck it. As soon as I took one step towards her, I could feel a hand pulling me back. It's Allie. One look from her says everything. I can't do this. And she's right. I can't afford to put everyone in danger. I told myself back from giving away that what this plane meant to me took all the strength I had. I need to calm down. Can I might be able to read my face and see that? Sounds fine to me, Kat. I'm just glad you're safe. What happened? We're still looking into it. Well, either way, there's nothing we can do about that. How about we go somewhere else, Tordapon? She reached for my hand and held it tight. How could she smile like this at me? What? Of course, Allie. For the rest of the day, Allie Knight put on the performance of a lifetime. Though her faces were all smiles and laughter, we knew, now more than ever, that we were trapped in Cat's Macrobe pu Puppet Show. And uh, Cat loved to make us dance. She must have known we were trying to escape, but how? Did we make a mistake? Did Four give us away? Should we ever have trusted him in the first place? Who can I trust now? Time is ticking, and the end of the show looms closer and closer. It's time I'm supposed to meet with the group, but what would we even do? There's no way we can escape. The last chance died with the hangar. Should I just make a break for it? No, I never make it. And the others so would suffer from my mistake. What do I do? You don't look so good, Torepan. I've been better, Cat. It hasn't exactly been sunshine and rainbows today. You really aren't much for acting, are you, Torepan? Look, I already know about you and your plan to escape. My blood ran cold. You know, take the plane, fly away from here. It wasn't hard to figure out. I tried to say something in my defense, but my voice wouldn't come out. It was all I could do to stand wide-eyed. I know you and the others found the lab, got your memories back. Well, at least the others did. And I know that every night you were all work together to find a way out. I mean, of course I'd know. I'm the reason why you got this far. What do you mean? Just follow me. It'll save all of us time. 
We walked to the locked room near the games room. She took out the master key and spanned it around. You never really thought a bunny could take a key from me, right? Honestly, I don't know what to believe anymore. She opened the door. The others were inside, looking as surprised as I was. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't kill you right now, cat. How about two? First, your inside man was never four. It was me. I mean, come on. He wouldn't be smart enough for something like this. Hello, Hades. Welcome on in. Second, you only ever had a chance at escaping this island because of me. Newsflash Alley. Those tanks never just bug out. You're the one who let me out of my tank? The one and only. Ollie was at a loss for words, and I was no different. What do you want, cat? Honestly, the same thing as you guys. I want off this crazy train. I want out. I want you guys to include me in your little escape plan. What? Do I have something on my face? As hard as it is to believe, the list of people who want to stay on this island is pretty short. Hell no, we can't trust you. I... I'm not sure how, but I remember... I remember I tried to escape with you before. I trusted you. I even fell for you. Even five girls isn't enough. Unbelievable. And then you betrayed me and shot me. There's no way we could ever trust you. You're just gonna stab us in the back. Is that true, Cat? I'm ashamed to say it is. But I didn't have a choice. You know how it is with Damien. It doesn't matter if you share the same blood. He'll take the people you love hostage and use them to force you to dance to his tune. I'm sorry I betrayed you, Totterpon. I really am. But if I had to do it again, I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Because there was someone I needed to save. I know I must look like the villain to you, but believe me, I have people I care about too. If you're so compassionate, how come you burned up our only way out of here? You're lucky I did, Totterpon. If you'd actually flown as planned, you'd be at the bottom of the ocean right now. What do you mean? It's a cruel trick of Damien's. He knew there was a chance that people on this show would recover their memories and try to escape. So he made us build the hangar and the plane. It's the only one place anyone trying to escape would go. Exactly. I've told you in the past, Allie. Never fly that plane or take the boat out of sight of this island. I- How is Bunui? I am hungry. I need to eat, uh, dinner, but when we're done with this, I'll eat dinner. I know we're close to the end, so. But yes, how is everyone else doing? How are you doing, Katie's? If you did, you'd have blown up like fireworks. Yeah, you had pets. That Allie and I were in that plane, which was little more than a flying death trap sent a chill, chill down my spine. Look, the simple reality is you need me to escape. Without me, you won't even make it past the barrier. What barrier? Exactly. And though I hate it, I need you guys to help me and my... us escape. She reached her hand towards me for a handshake. Allies? Let's discuss first. Cat leaned against a wall while the rest of us debated what to do. Ooh, nice. What kind of pizza do you have with you? Can we really trust her? This might be another trap. It's not like I'd be the first to buy her... It's not like it'd be the first by her you fall into, Torapon. Three meat pizza? Nice. You're right. That said, it's not like we have much to lose at this point. Even if she'd done terrible things to us in the past, we still need her to escape. You all right, Allie? I'm fine. I'm just angry at myself. 
Don't beat yourself up about it. Crystal alive. That's what counts. She's right, you know? I'm I'm not sure how I'm feeling right now either, but we're alive. That counts for something. You're right, Totopon. And as much as I hate to say it, I think we need Kat's help. Just worthy or not. If we want to stay that way. Hello, Catman. Um... Uh, yeah, I guess her name is Cat, huh? I guess so. Yeah, we need your help, Catman. Uh, we have to trust her. Sure. I'll be keeping an eye on her, though. We can't afford to blindly trust anyone who says they can help us. Alright, Cat. If you want our help, you're gonna need to answer a few questions. Um, sit there and look pretty. That's what you gotta do, Catman. Ask away. You're already shirtless, goddamn dune. What the hell is this sick show for? And why have you been forcing us to repeat it over and over? As for someone from the Resistance, it should be obvious to you. This is just one of hundreds of killing shows we air. Shows that keep people scared. That keep people from organizing against the government. Okay, Catman. That's exciting for you. You want to paralyze people with fear? You broadcast exactly what will happen to you if you rise up. You're monsters. You know that. I don't disagree with you, but we're not in charge here. Some of us have families to lose, Ali. Continue. How goes Subathon? Um, pretty good. Kind of surprised that the timer hasn't gone up too much today. It's only gone up once with Dawn's resub. But that's kind of it. Which makes me a little sad because the timer is slated to end at like 7 a.m., almost 8. Which is like, oh. I don't want it to end early in the day. If it's gonna end like that, you know? <laughs> I want sleep. <clears throat> Continue. Before we air each show, we test them internally on tests to audiences to see what kind of ratings they bring for the fortunate and what kind of despair they bring for the less fortunate. You're not off to Marcy won't be there for the ending? Oh no! Sad days. Assuming timer doesn't change, yeah. Hopefully someone feels ballsy enough to change the timer though. There's always a chance it will. Definitely, definitely. There is always a chance that it will. If they tested well enough, we'd air it, but it wasn't efficient. But we couldn't just film a killing show over and over again to see which version of it rated best. You can't bring people back from the dead. It was the same for the test audiences. You can just make them watch multiple versions of a show as they'd remember previous versions that would influence their opinions. There was no way to test multiple versions of a show without losing the feeling that lives were really in danger. But my... The memory writer would have changed that. It did. We were able to reuse everybody. Our volunteer actors, the test audiences. You're saving your money now so you can't raise it much? That's fine. <laughs> it's okay, Hades. You've contributed a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. So, definitely no pressure on you at all, whatsoever. <clears throat> Since so we could just make people forget what happened, we could film run after run of the show where everyone was as if it were the first time to all of you and that's exactly what we've been doing here for the last two years it was a lot to hear i had a feeling but to know that people looked at us like we were nothing but lab rats well, i was genuinely 
Well, I genuinely was afraid for my life. It's sickening. You were silent for a while. You've been testing the show this long. Then what? when's the real thing? There is no real thing. It's only what version tests the best. That said, there's only so much time Damien is willing to spend on this show, and that time is almost up. This is the last run of the show. If you don't escape before the end, you're all as good as dead. I know Damien, and I've said that we to let you and your chosen partner go if you achieve good enough ratings, but... It's a lie, isn't it? Yeah. I'm sorry I've waited this long to try to help you guys. I've been too scared to risk it all, but I have nothing left to lose now. She extended her hands to me for a handshake. Allies, at least till we're out of here? I don't really have a choice this time either, huh? If you wanted to, you could report us right now. That's true, and my word would count for more than all of yours. But that wouldn't save the person I need to. Like it or not, we have to work together. Then it's a deal. Ali shook the cat's hand. Cat, are you sure you don't want to? I'm fine, Scarlet. It's not important anymore. And we don't have any time to waste. And if you say so... Anyway, the only time we can escape is the last day of the show, between midnight and just before the sun goes up. That's when the boat comes, to welcome the newly engaged couple, and that's the only way off this island alive. It also doubles as a supply ship. We use it to replenish between each run of the show. Are there no other planes on the island? A boat would be far slower. Unfortunately, it's not so easy. There's a protective shell around the island, which performs two functions. First, it renders us invisible to satellite. It's the reason why your people couldn't find us, Allie. Second, if anything bigger than a human being tries to get in or outside of the barrier, it will get fried, unless it's emitting a compatible IFF signal. The only way off the island that will have that signal is the boat. And I'm betting it will be heavily guarded. Well, yes. But not from people on it. The ship itself will be run by a skeleton crew. There's a staff on the island who we'll have to watch out for. That still leaves the question of how we'll deal with them. Last time I checked, there's hundreds of them, and not even ten of us. Actually, it might not be so hard after all. I got a plan that just might work. Though I have to admit, it's a little crazy. I like the sound of that. If it, inso uh, if it involves zombies again, I'm out. You explained her plan to us with a renewed confidence that could inspire anyone to believe. Luckily, we still have tomorrow, so we might have just amount of just the amount of time we need. This just might work, Yubi. You're a mad genius. Let's just say I've been holding back my creativity till now. It's crazier than anything I'd imagine, and crazy enough to work. Let's get to work. Do I want to see something silly? You know what? Sure. Let's see Let's see what you have for us, Hades. What's your silly little thing? Get boop. Boop. Very good. And that's a very good. I mean, I do have lots of emote slots, so maybe I could make a boop emote. That would be funny. I guess not. Funny is not the word, but it would be a good idea. We'll see what happens, though. Oh. Let's get to work. Wait, were we even listening to the same plan? The others went their separate ways, to help prepare for Yui's plan. The cat stayed. Our business wasn't finished just yet. What's up? And what's your game? I want to trust you, Cat. I really do. But you're up to something, aren't you? 
just like every other time I trusted you. I can't blame you for feeling that way, and I can't take back what I've done before. The only thing I can say to make you trust me is that we both have people we care about to upon. And that if you don't escape, then the person I care about will go down with you. I'm not asking you to put your neck out for me. You'll never have to. I'm asking for you to help somebody that you've never met, and you never will. Somebody innocent. It's strange. This woman has put me through hell, treated me like a lab rat and moron, yet... Somehow I still think she's telling the truth. Honestly, it doesn't really matter if you do trust me. I'll say tomorrow that I'm going along with Yui's plan either way. I'll trust you, Kat. I'm sorry for yelling at you earlier. <laughs> Don't be. I literally shot you. I think that earns you the right to be angry and more, no? We've... Well, I've gotten to know you over these past years. Not for more than a couple weeks straight, but I got to know you. And I think you're rude and manipulative and have no problem lying to my face. Hey, can we skip to the part where you compliment me? You're also incredibly crass. You keep secrets from everybody and... You finished? But I don't think you're a bad person. Every time the show ran, you always talked to me to make me feel like I wasn't alone. And you made sure I never lost hope. I know that was never part of the job. You didn't have to do that. Yet you did it, over and over. It must have been so tiring to do that, over and over, for well knowing that we were doomed. I don't know why you're doing all this, but I believe that you do care about helping people. I'm flattered, Tordova, but you've got me wrong. What do you mean? Everything I've ever done for you, the others, it's been for my own selfish reasons. It just happens to line up nicely. Though I appreciate the compliment. Unlike before, I couldn't tell if she was telling the truth. We went our separate ways shortly after. I spent the rest of the night helping the others with preparing for the plan. I was exhausted when I went back to my room, but I still couldn't fall asleep for several hours. It's as if something's on the tip of my tongue, but I just barely can't grasp it. Yet somehow... I know I'm closer than I've ever been. Kat was true to her word. Instead of having another date on the sixth of the sh sixth day of the show, she planned a huge party for the staff and said, uh, thank you for all your hard work party. As soon as she told the staff that Violet would be cooking for the event, all of them dropped everything and helped prepare for it. While the staff prepared the party grounds during the day, each of us were hard at work, making sure other parts of it went well. Violet cooked mountains of food as if her life depended on it. In truth, it did. You always playing games with the staff outside, and it didn't take long for her to become a fast favorite for them. I'm pretty sure half the staff were playing the game so just so they could get to her to notice them, and she knew it. You have to admit, I'm pretty impressed by Yui. Her plan is really coming together. Tara and Scarlet joined forces to make sure all the staff joined the festivities. Tara used Kat's producer room to find any stragglers who hadn't joined the festivities. As Tara found them one by one, Scarlet turned on the charm and made sure that they came with her to the party. And then it was time for Scarlet to switch to, to her other mission. Allie took over. Though, I'm told she employed more force than charm. Meanwhile, I ran around like a chicken with its head cut off, trying to make sure every part of our plan was going smoothly. And for once, it did. A few hours later, we had every staff member on the island partying their lights out. Everybody's here? You bet. You should have uh, seen the ones that try to run. I wish sure everyone who came stayed too. Perfect. Has it everybody eaten? As they should have. It is fine food. Looks like it's all going according to plan. I'm just gonna going to ahead and go up to the fun part. Yeah, I'm just going to ahead and get to the fun part. Very good English. No worries, Dawn. I have good sleeps. Thank you so much for popping in. I appreciate it. 
Sleep well. <laughs> Scarlet pulled out a remote from her pocket and pressed a button on it. A few seconds later, fireworks were shooting into the night sky above the party grounds. The cheers of the staff were like thunder. And with that, the plan is going as smoothly as can be. Great job, team. Mio you one, Yui. Right back at you, Allie. We cheered as firework after firework lit up the night sky. Whoa, are the fireworks supposed to be this bright? Come to think of it, these fireworks are practically blinding. Oh, thank you so much for the follow Leaf Plays games. I hope you've been enjoying stream. I have to say, I did a pretty good job with these fireworks. Though there might be some side effects to watching them from so close, though. Mm. Let's worry about that later. The fireworks were the signal to those trying to escape, but there was nothing left to do except wait. Dog. God damn. Dog go burr. I guess not burr, he go boof, boof, boof. God. It's gonna be a long night. I know what we said before, but it'd be such a shame to spend tonight just knowing over what the the nah? Let's try that again. I know what we said before, but it'd be such a shame to spend tonight just worrying over what may happen tomorrow. We might live, we might die, same as any other day. How about instead, we just dance the night away? You know what? That sounds great. That sounds lovely. Let's do it. Come on, let's dance like there's no tomorrow. Yuck. Don't be like that, Tara. It'd be good for us to blow off some steam. Dancing sounds like exercise and exercise. Ollie picked up Tara over her shoulder. And away we go. <laughs> come on, come on. Scarlet grabbed my hand and pulled me with her to where people were dancing. The others followed closely behind. They sure are carefree. <laughs> they sure are carefree, huh? Some things never change. Maybe we'll get out of here tomorrow. Maybe we won't. I hope we do, though. I like to think that one day, we'll look back and remember this day. It was the most fun night I've ever had, out of the nights that I can remember. It looked like there was no tomorrow. And now, we'll find out if there is a tomorrow for us. We. We waited in the darkness for hours, waiting for the boat to come. The plan was simple, yet had no room for error. First, we need to make sure the boat really is coming. It's later than normal. You think they're on to us? No, it'll just be a little longer. It's cold. There's no point worrying at this point. If they're on to us now, we're already dead. All we can do is wait. Dots. We waited for an hour more, then another. Then another. We were losing hope. Thoughts. I guess we're... It's here! Cat pointed toward the ocean. We all looked in unison. Just as she said, the boat was coming. It looked huge, despite how far it was. It must be massive from up close. Alright, it's only gonna be a few minutes until it reaches the shore. Let's book it back to the mansion. Second, we need to get back to the mansion before the boat reaches the shore. From what Kat told us, the staff will physically inspect the mansion to make sure we're there. We can't rely on overriding the feeds. If we're not there, they'll sound the alarm, and our chance of escaping will go from slim to nil. According to Kat, it's uh, how I got Kat last time. We made it back to the mansion and rushed to our respective rooms. I turned off the light, then jumped onto the bed and pretended to be asleep. A few moments later, I heard the sound of somebody opening a door. It must be them. There was a mechanical rhythm to it. Footsteps, a door would open. More footsteps, a short pause. Footsteps again, a door would close, repeat. Over and over, closer and closer, till I got to my room. I try my best to make my breathing sound natural. Dots, dots, dots. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Footsteps, a second later, my door opens. I can tell there's probably about five people. Breathe in. They're walking closer to me. Breathe out. 
You can tell two of them are in front of me. They're muttering somewhere under their breath. You have to pity her. Come on, she could do better. Rude. Breathe in. Hey, something's wrong. It feels like my heart stopped. Breathe out. They're moving closer to me, step by step. What's that? Breathe in. I think. It takes everything I have not to move when every nerve in my body screams to run. Dots. This is it. They're on to me. I can't help but ball up the fist of my hand. I... Never mind. We're done for the night. Let's head out. Sounds good to me. I heard them walk further away from me than outside the room. Finally, they closed the door. I breathed out like never before. On to the next part of the plan. We grouped downstairs. That wasn't so difficult, was it? Like taking candy from a baby. Wait, where's Tara? I'll go check on her. As if on cue, Tara came running down the stairs. I'm good, don't worry about it. And I definitely didn't fall asleep just now. I didn't buy it, and the rest of us didn't either. Alright, back to the problem at hand. We may have avoided detection for now, but now there's going to be the upwards of a hundred guards on patrol between here and the boat. There's little to no chance we can all make it in there without being seen, but it's a chance we'll have to take. Actually, we had just the thing for that. Courtesy of Scarlet and I. What's that? Well, we went through all the trouble of preparing such a big party for all the staff. It would be a shame if we didn't give them a little extra shoe on, no? You didn't. Oh, she did. I figured that's where that was, like, all the food. Personally made by Violet, like, I thought that was gonna be a thing. It was like an absurd scene from an art house movie gone mad. Brains. Ah, they're zombies again. Bananas. Brains and bananas. Grr. Grr. Brains accounting should have. Hundred of zombies littered the field. You know, I can't believe we ever let you make shit, Scarlet. You better be glad that you did. Now that I think about it, can we have just put a sleeping agent or something like that in? Yeah, that's what I was thinking is what you did, not made the zombies again. Where's the fun in that? Well, we still have to go past them to get to the boat, right? Don't worry about it. I got a fair share of experience of taking down zombies. Yeah? Something about that rubs me the wrong way. Don't worry about it. Let's be on our way. We managed to sneak out of the mansion without much of a fuss. As soon as we got into the forest, it was smooth sailing. There were just a few zombies in there. To be honest, how much Scarlet enjoyed herself taking them down was more concerning. I'll worry about that when we got off this island. For now, I'll focus on getting out of here. A few moments later, we made it to the beach. The boat was clear in sight. Wow, it's huge. Let's not be wasting any time. We rushed onto the ship and ran straight for the captain's deck. You guys wait here. It's practically guaranteed that the engine's been tampered with and I need to fix it. If I know my father, he'll do it just the way it was last time. You know what, Totopan? Come with me just in case. Maybe that's where the crew members are. Lead the way. It was pitch black inside. Cat had to shine a light to see anything. Strange. Where are they? Well, let's not look a gift horse in the mouth. Found it. Chalk it up to my dad outsourcing everything to the grunts. It's this child's play to me now. Cat got to work uh, fixing the engine. Watch my back. We still don't know if we're in the clear. This is gonna take a minute. Got it. I turned around and kept a lookout. It was almost impossible to see anything though. Since when were you a mechanic? Honestly, this is my first failed escape. I have to teach myself. There isn't exactly a trade school on this island. If I hadn't, I'd never be able to help anybody escape this island. I'm sorry I didn't trust you before, Kat. I... I get it now. Why you did what you had to do. Keep talking like that and you'll raise the death flag for the both of us. Jeez. 
We can talk more later, if you'd like. In the meantime, this boat is fixed. Nice. Let's tell the others and get the hell out of here. We ran back to the others and told them the good news. At the same time, Kat revved up the engine of the boat. We were good to go. We literally jumped for joy as the boat started to move. We, oh gosh, I, I can't believe it. We're really doing this. We're finally getting out of here. Is it hard to believe? But this, it is hard to believe, but it is true. We did it. I can read so good. Now, now, you don't have to thank me all at once. We really did it. Thank you, Kat. You really saved us. You did. We wouldn't have been able to get to this point if it weren't for you. There's no need to thank me. I actually should apologize, but I didn't do any of this sooner. I... The intercom rang out. Kat turned white as a sheet when we heard a voice that was all too familiar. No. Damn it. Damien. Ding, ding, ding. I guess you learned at least something in school, cats. Not enough, clearly. But hey, it's something. That's got to win a participation ribbon somewhere. You knew what I was planning. Of course I did, dearie. I made you. I know exactly how you think. And I have to thank you. Your mother would be proud at the show you've given us these last two years. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I forget to tell you? While you were busy filming Toto Pan and those other bitches, my team was filming your brave attempts to save these idiots. Gives the audience a little more reason why they should stay in line, you know? After all, if I do this to my own daughter, Imagine what I'd do to someone who wasn't. You're a monster. Flattery will get you nowhere, Kit Kat. Well, it doesn't matter now. Do whatever the hell you want. We're getting out of here. We fixed the boat, and there's nothing you can do to stop us now. We're getting out of here. Saying garbage like that is playing with fire, love. The earth started to shake even though we were on the boat. I could tell the island was rumbling. In the distance, a metal barrier slowly rose out of the ocean, all around the island. It climbed higher and higher till it cast a shadow over the boat. Higher and higher till the only daylight we could see was just from a circle above us. We were trapped. How about we play a game, little rats? Jamie spoke down to us from some kind of holographic screen on the walls. He gestured to some kind of machine behind him in what looked like a strange kind of stadium. I've got myself a little switch here that controls the barrier. One push of this, and you'd be free to go. It'd be easier for you to waltz on in and flip it you have gotten rid of all of our security. But this switch is only going to work if you have two people's handprints with producer level clearance. Sure, you've got cat. But you'll never be able to get mine. He pulled out the same gun I've been shot with before. No, don't let that stop you from trying. The hologram disappeared with a click, leaving us in an uneasy silence. Our hands are tied. We have no choice but to go back. Hello? He's got a gun. He'd take us all down before we even have a chance to grab him. We got no choice, though. If we wait here, it's only a matter of time before they can send people after us. I guess we'll have to head back to the beach. Let's turn this around. We got an ass to kick. No, that's exactly what Damien wants you to do. The turning around part or the ass kicking? I'll leave that to your imagination. Damien has a script that he wants to see play out. People try to revolt fail and get killed. I guarantee you, if you do just that, he has a plan for it. He'll find some kind of way to turn us against each other, and that none of us will be making it out of here alive. Even so, we can't just stay here and wait till we're out of time. Tartapon and I will go flip the switch. 
Besides, we're the only two people here who can do anything about it. Question mark. What do you mean by that? I thought only you and Damien. I'll explain on the way. There's no time. Toadapon, are you ready to run? I won't allow it. There is no way we're letting Toadapon go back there without us. Without us. He said it, sister. I'm not letting you all lose your one chance of getting out of here. Scarlet, please. You know exactly what Damien is capable of. I don't like this cat. I know. Let them go. Believe me. I hate this. I hate this to my core, but cat's right. Dots. Dots. Cat didn't waste a moment. She reached up for my hand. Before I knew what I was doing, we ran off the boat together and back to the mansion as fast as we could. I was running on I was running on pure instinct, like my body had done this before, countless times. I looked back to the boat just once, but I couldn't help but linger for a moment. I could tell from their faces that they wanted to be running with me, not waiting for us to come back. I was gonna make Damien pay for making them suffer like this. We went back to running. I followed Kat's lead. It's earlier than I planned, but there's no time like the present for exposition about your past. It would be good to know why I'm running with you, yes. Can't imagine why. I would happen- would I happen to be resistant to bullets? That is- that is a good option, yes. Unlikely, but a good option. It was worth the try, if nothing else, you know? We'll find out if you are together. Though if you look at your history, I'd say no. Hey, I survived the time you shot me. I'm pretty resistant. Touche. Before you came onto this show, you were a producer, just like me. We... We used to work together. We were... Partners. In more ways than one, though. That was forever ago. Living and working on this island was the only life I'd ever known. It sounds awful, but I didn't have a problem with running these shows. There was nothing different to compare it to. But then I met you. I've got no idea what would bring someone like you to this island, but you... I think you changed me. She's been like I've never seen before. You made me see that there was a world out there that was beautiful. You made me hope that I could be part of that world one day. And you helped me realize that we needed to shut this place down if we wanted there to be a world out there at all. For years, we worked together to free as many people as we could from these death trap shows. We shipped them away to safety, faked their deaths, everything. And we did just that for a time. Then Damien started to suspect something was up. Each day, he got closer and closer to figuring it out, until I knew we couldn't stay any longer. But it was too late by then. Damien caught us. You mean, you betrayed me. I can't remember much, but I remember you and I. We were together. And then you sold me out, ran right when we were trying to escape. Why? It's like I said before, I didn't have a choice. And I still don't. I know you have no reason to trust me anymore, and I don't expect you to. But we need each other's help to get off this island now. Since both of us are technically still producers, we can activate the switch if we work together. We don't have to take Damien down, though I doubt he'd let us use it that easily. Can you trust me enough for that? Honestly, I don't know. A part of me wants to trust Kat, the same part that unconsciously remembers that I did for years and years. How can I forget that betrayal? Even if she had her reasons. Sure. I'll keep an eye on her. When we got back to the mansion, Kat made a beeline for the lab. I ran with her as fast as I could. Her footsteps on the winding metal staircase echoed like a thundering drum. You're about to see the real reason why the show is on this island. Kat took out her master key and slid it into the hidden socket in the wall behind one of the tanks. Click. Don't say I didn't warn you. The same wall split into two doors, slowly revealing another hidden staircase. Think you guys could get an elevator instead? I said the same thing. 
As soon as I look one step down the staircase, I could tell something was different. Something was telling me that I shouldn't go down there. Come on, we don't have time to waste. I've got nothing to lose. With each step down, it grew darker and darker. Eventually, I couldn't even see my hand in front of my face. Um, light. Blinding light and... Applause? Welcome, welcome! You finally made it! Damien's face was plastered over countless screens in a stadium that could fill tens of thousands of people. Countless cameras littered the seats, all focused on a center stage, a battleground sprawling with maze-like walls and wall shapes and sizes and littered with guns. Thanks to the walls, we couldn't see Damien directly, but we knew he was here from all the screens. We wouldn't have a show with you idiots, so I'm glad you actually came back. Oh man, you couldn't even bring back the others. You're no fun. You really just gotta make me work, huh? Anyway, congrats on making it this far, etc, etc. I gotta say, I'm proud of you for making it here, daughter of mine. I'm impressed that you remembered your old haunt from just a few seconds of video. No thanks to you, you dirtbag. Is that any way to thank someone who gives you room and board? You gave Tortapon a way nicer room than I ever got. Blame your mom for that one, kid. Anyway, how about you be a deer and explain the game we've got going on here? The switch we're looking for is somewhere in here. The problem is, so is Damien, and he's got a gun and more ammunition than he needs to kill both of us. What about the weapons on the ground? Maybe there's something we could use to level the playing field. It's all we can do, but the odds aren't in our favor. Most of the weapons lying around are useless. They are meant to make people lose hope, but hope that they could fight back. Most is better than all of them, at least. Well, yes and no. There's no hope to lose if they knew all of them were fake. That's Damien's M.O. He'll give the people trapped on his shows just enough hope for escape, and he'll use that to trap you. Real guns among the fakes, boats and planes when you're trapped on an island. If we're going to make it through this, you can't fall for his game, understand? Loud and clear. Then let's go, there's no time to waste. We ran from wall to wall, taking cover between each time. Whenever we had the chance, we'd pick up what looked like a gun to see if it was real. We only had seconds to check for each one. Damien was hot on our trail. A gunshot rang out, blowing a hole through the wall Khan and I were hiding behind. What's the matter? You're like two rats in a lab. He fired again. Shrapnel from the wall scraped- Shrapnel from the wall scraped my arm. Fuck. It was like my arm had been lit on fire. Totepon, you okay? I'll live, don't worry. We need to find a weapon. We, and we need to find the switch. We ran behind another wall, nearly dodging another shot from Damien. It dawned on me that he wasn't even trying to hit us. He was trying to make us scared. And it was working. But why? He's reloading. Come on. We dashed out from behind a wall and ran past Damien, looking desperately for the switch and for any weapons we could find. We managed to pick up two pistols. Cat did the same. Damn. Looks like they're fake too. How's yours looking? I took a look at the first one. Upon further inspection, it was clear it was no more than a plastic toy. But the second one... Carrot realized at the same second I did. It was real, with a single bullet loaded. Alright, that's good, let's... Another shot rang out, blowing a hole in the wall right next to where my head was a second ago. Fuck. How come he gets a fucking hand cannon? The blood has gotta go somewhere, I guess. Anyway, we got the gun. It's probably the only real one in the stadium. We need to find the switch now, even with a gun we're no match for him. Sounds good to me. We ran through the stadium, opposite the entrance, until we were square in the middle of the stadium. And there it was. The switch. You'd think they've hit it better. Hit it better. Damien's laughter echoed through the arena as he reappeared on the screens above the arena. Congrats, you found the switch. It's a damn shame. I forgot to mention something about this switch here. It won't do jack shit, even if you both have access, as long as I've got a heartbeat. 
And I plan on sticking around. But I'm not heartless. In fact, I think I'm a pretty decent guy for what I'm about to do. Cat looked like she had just seen a ghost. Cat, Twitter upon. I've got an offer you can't refuse. But only one of you can claim it. They found a Nintendo Switch. They did not find a Nintendo Switch. Welcome back though, Catman. If either of you kills the other one, I'll let the one left standing go. We'll forget this ever happened and call it a wrap on find love or die trying. I'll even let the survivor leave the island. I can't even guarantee I'm telling the truth because this is airing live to the world right now. People bow down and get in line because I tell them the truth because they know I keep my word. They wouldn't believe me for a second if I ever went back on it, you know? Not a bad deal, huh? Especially for considering that if no one takes that offer, I'll just kill both of you. I'm giving you five minutes to decide that I'm coming for you. The screen shut off. Ken and I look at each other, a mix of horror and fear on her face, and there's no doubt that mine mirrored hers. Tordapon, I can't imagine what's racing through your head now. You probably think I'm gonna betray you again, right? I was at a loss for words. You don't have to say anything. Look, I can't blame you for doubting me. And honestly, if you just shot me right now, I'd be okay with it. Because then, you'd be free to go. I know Damien will keep his word. But if there's even the slightest chance that you want me to be able to escape from here too, then I need to ask you something that I know sounds insane. What's that? I need you to give me the gun. The only real one we've got. Look. I'm not stupid enough to know how that sounds. The simple reality is, I've known you for so long now, and the only thing I know about you is that you're a terrible shot. <laughs> Me? I'm as good as you can get on the island. I think I'm our best bet to on taking him down. But I can understand completely if you're not willing to trust me. If you think I'm lying, I... I get it. And if you don't trust me, she closed her eyes and pressed her finger against her forehead. Then please, just make it quick. The gun in my hand has never felt so heavy. On one hand, I guarantee I can't make it out of here alive. On the other, trusting Kat. Can I trust Kat after all that she's done to me? Can I really believe her words when the memories that can prove or deny them were lost to me? I got no time. I have to choose. Trust her. I trust you, Kat. I held up the gun to her. You... You do? After everything I've done? After everything you've done, yes, I still trust you. I know you've been forced to do some awful things to people that didn't deserve it. But I know there's good in you, and I believe in that good. Take it. Thank you, Twitterpon. She took the gun from my hands. I won't let you down. Well, if you do, it's not like I'd be around for long enough to regret it. Facts. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Let's do this. We decided to seek Damien out and get the drop on him rather than waiting for him at the switch. My heart was practically beating out of my chest. I couldn't tell if Kat was as nervous as I was. If she was, she hit it with the same poker face she always had. We dashed to another wall for cover, looked around and repeated. How much time has passed? It feels like we've been looking for him for hours with the pressure, though I know it can't be more than a few minutes. As the minutes passed by, I could tell Kat was growing more and more impatient. She drained her gun wherever she looked, her trigger finger ready to shoot our only bullet at any time. Left, right, I glanced around, then looked to her and back again. Her hands were shaking. Look left, look right. We've only got one shot to make it or break it. I look back to Kat. So checking a corner ahead of us. She looks left, she looks right. Takes everything I have to stay focused. Don't think about dying, not even the possibility. She turns to look back at me. Oh no. Damien's walking closer and closer from behind her, with his gun resting g on his shoulder. He can't be more than 10 meters away. She, he, slowly lifts the gun off from its resting position. Before I know it, I'm running towards her with everything I have. Something is making me run, something I've forgotten, something I'm just starting to remember. 
It's just the two of us at the beach. I can see it now. How many hours has it been? We made it to the ship, but it wasn't enough. The alarms were deafening. Security was going to be here any minute. And our only saving grace, our ship wouldn't start. That's... that's it then. I never heard Cat sound, ever sound so desperate. Well, at least we tried, right? Who else can say that? She lowered her head and leaned on me. No, we're not giving up just yet. There's nothing we can do, Totopon. The engine's broken and the guards will be here any minute. We've got at least some weapons. It's not over yet. I grabbed the precious few firearms we had and split them between us. There's two of us and hundreds of them. There's no point. Not to mention, you're a terrible shot. You're right. Taking them head on would be suicide. But that's not what you'll be doing. Me, I'm just some nobody. But you, you're the big man's daughter after all. Your word means a lot to them. She was horrified. I would be too if I weren't her shoes right now. No, I I won't let you do this, Toyotapan. You don't have a choice. Look around. Look, I'm not happy either, but us both dying here would be worthless. But if you live, you get a second chance to make it out of here. A second chance to see the other side. I know, but what's the point if it's not with you? You'll have to find that out yourself. They're almost here. Come on, we're running out of time. Her hands were shaking. It looked like she was going to drop her gun at any second. I hate you for this, you know. I know, and I'm sorry. She slowly raised her arms, then trained the gun sights directly at me. And now, we wait. Can you do me a favor? What's that? Don't shoot the face, please. I'm rather proud of it. I don't know what I'd do without my supernaturally good looks. She laughed through the tears. I would have still loved you even without them. Right back at you, Kat. She kissed me for the last time. I love you, Totopan. I love you too. Sorry, but it's gonna be the face. Let me just take off the safety. Wait, I didn't sign up for this. I heard my favorite sound one last time. I can hear the guards coming now. We have only seconds left. On the bright side, I won't owe you ten bucks. Our bet? She laughed. I think it's pretty clear who won the bet. I'll go see the guards now. My time is up. What makes you say... You did it. Question mark. I am alive? Everything hurts so bad. I almost wish I wasn't. The shock must have knocked me out cold. I coughed off blood as my vision flashed in and out rapidly. Too fast to tell if I'd been fatally shot. It was all I could do to try to stay conscious. It's as you said, Father. Anyone who breaks her law must be punished. I could just barely make out her voice, but it brought comfort to me. You really do take after me. You made your old man very, very proud. Oh, well, you look at that. Looks like our little hero's got some life left. You know, Tadaba, you're in luck. See, the whole escaping thing. I'm afraid I'm going to have to fire you. No severance. I tried to make a witty comeback, but the only thing that came out of my mouth was coughed up blood. But you're in luck. A new opportunity's just opened up, and I think... He kicked me in the stomach, then rolled me over with his foot. You'd be the perfect fit. He laughed as he crushed my palm under his foot. You think I'm going... You might think I'm going soft on you by not killing you outright. He looked down at me, then back at her. But mark my words, you'll both wish I had. Do whatever you want. I don't care about Tortopon anymore. He laughed maniacally. I never did like Tortopon much anyway. My vision's fading. His words turned to vapor as I could feel myself crumble into nothing. The last thing I saw was her face. She was holding good the river back with everything she had. Who are you going to fool with a poker face like that? Cat. I love you. Always have. Always will. I'm so sorry for what I forced you to do. Even more so. I'm so sorry that you'll be alone now. But I hope one day you'll understand. Flashback to reality. I've almost reached Cat. I pushed myself to run faster and faster. Worse than I ever had and ran in my life. Cat doesn't see him, but she sees the alarm going off in my eyes. 
Damien points the gun at his daughter. He's preparing to take the shot. Cat starts to turn around, but there's no time. Damien's finger pulls back on the trigger. What am I doing? I see the world turn to slow motion. Why am I throwing away my life for Cat? These memories, they're mine, yet not at the same time. Who could say if I'm the same person as before who loved her so much? Who could say if these memories form a completely different me compared to what I am now? There's no time for answers. Even if I've forgotten you over and over, somehow I remember you and I know that I would do anything for you. I run past Kat throw myself in front of her because I love her. A gunshot rings out. It's like my body is struck by lightning instead of flame. He fires a gun and a gun. Indescribable pain ripples across my body as shot after shot rips through me. It's not like the movies, where someone can stand dead after being shot over and over. The firing stops, and my vision starts to fade. I can barely hear him reloading over the sound of my body screaming in agony. My knees buckle. I start to fall. As I fall, I can see Cat with her gun trained on Damien. There's no fear in her eyes. Her hands aren't shaking, which is biting her lips so hard that I can see it bleeding. The last thing I see before the dark takes me is her finger pressing down on the trigger. Damien fires back. Dots. Dots. Wake up, Torepan. Dots. Please, please don't die. You swear you think beating Dark Souls unlocks nothing in you? That's fair. Yes, you are the Dark Soul now, Hades. What's happening? Um, I alive? I never heard her sound so desperate. Please, just wake up. I can't lose you again. Not again. I took everything I had just to open my eyes and breathe. Kat was cradling me in her arms, with tears streaming down her face. Thank God. Don't pass out again. You almost gave me a heart attack. S sorry, Cat. I... I coughed up blood. Save your strength. Did you get him? We did. That's great. The switch? We should be able to get it now, but you're in no shape to walk. And to be honest, I'm not in the best shape either. I looked uh, up at her and felt my heart drop. You've been shot. She laughed. Yeah, now I know what it feels like. We were more sorry for shooting you back then on the beach. There's nothing else you could have done, Cat. That doesn't stop me from regretting it every second of these two past years. That day, I made a promise to myself. It didn't matter how many people I'd have to hurt, or how much I would have to hurt. I would get you off this island alive and well, even if it was the last thing I did. Even if I had to see you fall in love with somebody else a hundred times. Even if I knew it meant I could never be with you again. I made a promise back then, and I'll keep it even if it kills me. Slowly, Kat tried to lift me off for the ground and onto her back. She screamed and coughed up blood as she tried to lift me up. Stop. You're gonna get yourself killed. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Wait. Then that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay. She lifted me onto her back and took one step back towards the switch. I told myself back then. She stepped forward again, her legs were trembling. That if you weren't leaving this island alive, neither would I. Another step closer. Because I love you, you know? One more step. I know you don't remember most of our time together. Her breath was getting ragged. She takes several steps, then have to pause for breath. Honestly, I'm glad you even remembered bits and pieces. I'm grateful for whatever I can get. The switch is in sight. It may be, the you I fell in love with doesn't even exist anymore. We're so close to it, yet so far. But I like to believe it's still you, Torapan. That you're still the same Torapan I fell in love with. And we're just steps away from the switch. That I'm still the one you love. She laughed bitterly. I wish that... It's just wishful thinking, I know. We're here. We made it. You just... She coughed up blood again. Need to put your hand on the scanner. Can you do that? Got it. I used the last of my strength to reach my hand forward. 
With every inch I drew closer to it, my vision grew darker. I pushed harder and harder with everything I had. Got it. My turn. Done. All that's left is to pull the switch. Sorry, Torepan. I'm gonna have to put you down for a second. No problem. Kai gently rested me on the ground. Fuck, I can barely stand now. She tumbled toward the switch. She managed to catch it with her hands and used it to keep herself upright. Here we go. The moment we had all been waiting for. She pulled it with the last of her strength. A second later, she fell to the ground by my side. The cacophony of machinery filled the stadium. That must be the barrier opening. Wait. Tumbled. I get tumbled, stumbled. I think they're similar enough. I'm sorry, Torepan. Tumbled makes you think of somersaults. Shrugs. Whatever. Uh, I don't... I think tumbled and stumbled are both applicable in this case, but... Maybe I don't know enough of the difference between tumble and stumble. Whatever. I'm up for. I, I don't think we're getting out of here after all. I, I can't even move. It's okay. We had a good run, you know. I guess you could say that. At least the girls will be able to get out of here. They deserve better than to die here. Ray? Hello? Thank you for the extra time on the timer. Congratulations on your third gift sub. Beautiful. I will update the thingies after I finish this game. Because we're running really close to the 48 hours. So I'm really hoping I finish this before so I can restart stream. So Twitch doesn't kick my ass. Okay, anyways. um, They deserve better than to die here. Yeah. I, I love you, Torepon. Always have and always will. For these last two years, I I dreamed of us starting a new life together. Somewhere far from here. But I guess life's not like the movies. Dreams don't come true. I wish we could have met in a different place, a different time. Maybe, just maybe then to what upon we... Cat? Cat? Her eyes were closed. Streams of tears ran down from both her eyes. My vision blurred even more as tears welled up in my eyes. If we could have met in a different place, a different time, I'm sure our story would have been so different. I wish we could have, Kat. I tried to move closer to her, but my body refused. It was all I could do to move my head around. I looked around in futility for some kind of miracle that could save us both. This is too sad and ending. I looked at Kat. I looked to the heavens which had all but abandoned us. I looked behind us. And I saw what could only be described as angels. I tried to speak, but no words would come out. I must be dreaming. I must be. I... The world turned to black. Am I dead? If I keep asking myself that, it's bound to be right sooner or later. But Emma, I think there's more to come in my story. And I know there's uh, one person that I want to spend the rest of it with. I love you. After all that shit, it's gonna be Cat. I'm sorry. Ali was my favorite, but like after all that shit, it has to be Cat. Wait, I'm gonna. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna make a save here. So, like, if I ever change my mind, I can do whatever. But, like, for our intents and purposes, we're ending with Cat. Which is really funny because the second I saw Cat when starting this game, it's like, oh, can we romance you? Anyways. I woke up in an unfamiliar room. Is the room shaking? I tried to get up. How oh, fuck. I looked down to my body. I've been bandaged up enough to look like a mummy. But I'm still alive. Tadapan, you're up. Hey, Yui. Where are we? I'm on the boat. We're miles away from the island by now. Did I say I am or we're? Uh, that's okay. That's a relief. Everyone's okay. I'll let you be the judge of that. Yui ran off and came back a few moments later. You had us worried, Tordipan. I'm so glad to see you're alright. You didn't make it easy to save you either. 
Oh, and if you find yourself craving brains or bananas, that's entirely unrelated to how I treated you. I'm just thankful it worked. It's so good to see you're safe and sound, Totopon. If you died after we've been through, I'd kill you. But I'm really happy that you're here for me to say that, too. You did great, Tortopa. The Resistance could use someone like you. Besides, it doesn't look like you have a real job anymore, huh? Thanks, guys. You really still cut your neck to save Khan and I, and I can never thank you enough. It's what you would do for us, Tortopa. Indeed, we ran after you two just moments after you'd left. There was no point in us escaping if it wasn't with you, Tarapan. Yeah, I know Kat said not to, but hey. I didn't remember that at the time, so it's all good. We managed to save the five brothers, too. I couldn't just let them be stranded after... Well, after all we've been through together. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> There's no way we could have escaped without them. I nervously looked around the room. Is Kat... Kat's doing well, too. She's resting in the room next door. She... Think you wanted... She didn't think you wanted to see her. I see. Thanks for letting me know, Yui. I should be thanking you. None of us would have made it off this island if it wasn't for you and Kat. It's true. Despite whatever you may hear Tara say. I'm just saying. I have a pretty mean right hook. It's so good to see you all. I've got no idea what the world ahead of has for each of us, but whatever it has in store, we'll face it together. You bet. I'm surprised you can say that with a straight face, but yes. I wouldn't have it any other way. I really could use you as a PR person for the resistance toward upon. You've got a thing for speeches. Wait a minute, if everyone's here in Cat's next door, who's driving the boat? Everyone looked at Tara. And that's a series exit for Terra Bite. She ran off like a cartoon character. We laughed together. I feel like it's been so long since we could just laugh. No cameras, no fear. Just friends fooling around. Anyway, it's so good to see you're okay. That said, team, we need to give Tortopon some time to rest. Once again, I'm not trying to quarantine you because we didn't use the zombie virus's unique properties to save you. Thanks, Scarlet. And thank you everybody for coming to see me. Don't mention it. We're all in this together and all that, right? See you later, Tortopon. Alright, alright. Enough with the cheese. Get out of here before Tortopon turns. I mean, before Tortopon needs rest. Yes. And with that, I was alone. Phew, I thought they'd never leave. Hey, Scarlet. What's up? Nothing. I... I just... She was hiding the syringe behind her back. Need to give you a shot for good luck. Right. I push my arm out forward. Oh, well, the doctor knows best. I'm not a doctor. She injected the good luck into my arm. Just wanted to say thanks again. I, my life went off the rails back at the island before the show. Not putting it lightly. She laughed. I know if I stayed there, I never would have been truly happy for the rest of my life. I never would have been able to help people ever again. So, thank you again, Tlodipan. You, you've been out, so there's no way you know, but... Today's the day you, we would have been... Uh, the, uh, today's the day that would have been the last day of the show, the final ceremony where you asked one of the girls to be with you. Now, I'm not saying anyone's rushing for a proposal, but I think everyone wants to hear an answer from you. The kind of decision takes some time to think over, so I figured you need a little space. Thanks, Scarlet. You're right. It's my pleasure. She kissed me on the cheek. Well, I, I'll see you later. See you, Scarlet. And then I was alone in the room. It was a tough choice. But it's the one I have to make. They're all such incredible people. I'd be, hap I'd be lucky to be with any of them. Anyone would. I sat in silence for a time, both resting and contemplating what to do. Is it a life of an excitement with Ali? A life I would discover with Scarlet, a life enjoying the simple things with Yui, a life challenging our limits with Violets, a life of freedom with Tara, and then I just knew. I got up from the bed. I walked to the door of my room and looked for the room next to mine. There. I looked through the window and I just knew. I opened the door. Hey. Bro, they got up. Hey, Torevan. 
You look like hell. You don't look much better. I'm surprised your face is intact. It's survived a lot now, hasn't it? Yeah. You know, the girls are hoping you'll ask one of them out today. They'll get the wrong idea if they see you here. I came here for you, Kat. And only you. You've been there for me, from even before I can remember meeting you. There's no way I could have ever gotten off this island or anyone else could have if it wasn't for you. And I know there, there's so much we have to figure out and so much we don't know in this world. But I know I want to face that world with you, Kat. Tears were streaming down her face. I didn't want to hope for it. I walked next to her and got down on one knee. I tried so hard to convince myself that it would never happen because it was too painful to even hope. You don't have a ring or anything, but I'm sure I can get one later. I don't need a ring. Will you marry me? Yes, yes, yes. I love you, Kat. I love you too, Torepan. More than you could ever know. Wherever life takes you is where I'll go. We held each other close and kissed for the first time in years. Memories flooded back with each passing moment. The day we met, our first kiss, fights in the rain, making up, the joy of just being with a person you love, the day I proposed to her for the first time. And now today, I'm sure there's many more to come. And you're still making new memories together, Kat. I love you. Yay! We did it! Ugh. That is so funny, though, that I literally asked, hey, can I romance her the second I saw her? And then the answer was yes. My stream? Yeah, I know. Wait, what do you mean? Like, do you mean just the time? Yeah, I, I am almost at 48 hours. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We have 10 minutes. We have 10 minutes for me to restart it. I'm sure this credit scene will be less than 10 minutes. All them CGs. Yes, the bun, 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 bun. I love Bun 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 Bun. Bun 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 is so good. Bun 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 contributed so much to the story. 10 out of 10. Map was even hit 48 hours. Twitch will eat me alive. Swallow me whole. And then I'll never be able to stream ever again. without missing a beat. Eh. That's, that's the life I live. That's why I'm so good at rhythm games. Duh, come on. Who do you think I am? That sounds fun. Yeah, you should do your own subathon and find out what it's like. Special thanks, KJ. KJ. You would stay up for all of it, would you? Thank you for playing. Three days straight, no sleep, all games. Um, good luck. You need to ask for a time off work, though. Yeah. And with your support, I can. Yeah, you can. Good job, creators. Thank you, creator. This was a time. See you next time. Freaking cars bouncing off light on the wall from inside the apartment because the sliding glass doors, like, the blinds aren't closed. But then just like the sudden light like showing up like pretty much in front of me startled me so hard. Honestly, as far as visual novels go, that was very unique and fun. Yeah, it was a fun time. I'm just tired, so I don't have much to say. Oh, I will say, whenever they seriously said Torapon that took me out. I love you, Torapon. And I just think of our son. Okay, that's